Alright, hello, welcome, welcome to the stream, hi, this is, <laughs> you can tell it's been a while, well it hasn't, I've done a couple of streams recently, but I mean, it's been, I'm, I'm, I'm still a little bit rusty, but hello, welcome to the stream, I'm Animated AF, every year I like to do a stream dedicated to Sage Expo, or is it Sage, is it Sage, or is it, hmm, is it Sage or is it Sarge? Sarge? Probably, probably not. It, it's, it's probably, it's probably Sage. Sage Expo. So yeah, we're going to play some Sonic fan games. We're going to play some other fan games of other games. We're going to play some indie stuff because there's a lot of amazing looking indie stuff this year because it's coming increasingly that. Welcome to the stream, by the way, uh, Jerry Black. Nice to see ya. <laughs> right, so, as I say, uh, I have about... <sighs> 60 odd games downloaded uh there was a couple i couldn't get working for whatever reason uh like sonic momentum uh the mcdonald's lcd game ports thing i couldn't get that to work for some reason and a couple other things but i have over 60 games to choose from and i have some on a priority list and then i'm gonna see if i have time to squeeze another stream in before the end of sage expo which is i think it's from it's till the 9th so i've got till the 9th i might do a second stream depending on how many games get through tonight but yeah let's uh let's crack on i think a good game to start with will be one that is a remake or a sort of a remaster i suppose like a widescreen kind of a Sort of a Sonic Origins treatment to one of the very first, not the very first, but one of the very first Sonic fan games. And I think it will give you some good context for what, uh, how far Sonic fan games have come, how far the, uh, the scene has come. And I just think this is a really cool idea as well for a project. So I'm just going to resize this a little bit on my screen so I can see it a bit better. So I like how a lot of these games have that cool Sage 22 uh, logo thing come up. So yeah, this is Sonic Robo Blast Remake. It's like an unofficial remake. What mic do you use? It's AMA. AMA. Uh, I use a blue snowball mic. No, this is uh, let me know what the sound levels are like, by the way, because each one of these games is going to be wildly different in uh, sound levels. This game might be a wee bit loud, so if it's a bit too loud, just let me know and I'll turn it down a wee bit. So yeah, um, Sonic Robo Blast is from 1998. 1998, yeah. Game low-key loud. Okay, I can bring that down a wee bit for you. Just a second. I'll bring it down to... Try about there. Let's try about there. See if, see if you think that's all right. So yeah, yeah. This fan game is originally from 1998. Um, just to give you an idea how old I am, I got into this scene about maybe three years after that point. It's sort of like 2001 was when I got into the scene, and I did attempt to make a couple of Sonic fan games myself. Uh, you may have heard of. Oh, hey there, Omega Mario, popping in by briefly to say yo, yo. Go back, go back. Uh, yeah, hi. Um, so yeah, Robo Blast. You've probably heard of the sequel, but this is actually the cancelled 2D version of the sequel. The sequel, Sonic Robo Blast 2, is a game that's been over 20 years in development. I think it finally got finished like last year. It's based on like the Doom Engine and stuff like that. So yeah, this is the very original. But one of the first ever Sonic fan games, it was incredibly simplistic because, you know, that's what we had. That's, that's what we had back then. <laughs> we had the Games Factory and that's what we had. Uh, so this unofficial remake, it's actually got loads of different characters I can pick as, but I'm probably going to stick with Mr. Earless. There he is, the legend, the star. I'm going to turn this down a wee bit on my end as well. But yeah, uh, you can pick all... This is what the sprites were like. Everything in this game was hand... Well, you know, mouse-drawn, I suppose, because I don't think there was really a way to rip the sprites from the original games at this point. So yeah, MS Paint was like... 
the tool of the day. And you can even pick like the old Sonic Robo Blast 2 sprite and the Mega Drive sprites. This is just Sonic 3. This is also the new skin in the game. Uh, yeah. But we're going to stick with the authentic experience, <laughs> I guess. So yeah, uh, I just think this is a really cool idea. This is currently just a demo, but I like the idea of like preserving this old game and giving it some like modern niceties to make it a bit less. <laughs> oh man, this, this really brings me, this really takes me back actually. It's been such a long time since uh, I played this. Yeah, original game February 1st, 1998. I'm just gonna tune this in a little bit. Oh, it's kind of fucking up. It's tiny bit of a time there, but I'm just fine. Hey, Sonico Hedgehog Super Blast! <laughs> I'm not, I, I can't, I'm waiting! <laughs> Alright, I'll get on with it. Alright, we'll start a new game. So basically this is kind of like a Sonic Origins treatment to this game. It controls better than the original. Oh, hello. Welcome to the practice mode. Oh, it's even got tutorials now. That's how modern this version is. Uh, won't die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can jump here by simply... They're <laughs> taking the mick here. Like, the controls are definitely a lot small, smoother than the original. Well, I can't jump here, not even with my speed. I think they're taking the mick out of tutorials in modern games. Uh-oh, a bannock, you can hold down. This was not in the original game, just so you know. Hey there, uh, hey, hey, welcome to the stream, uh, Lord Julius Genie. Nice to see you again. Playing some fan games? I am indeed, uh, because the Sonic Fan Game Expo is currently on for the year. It looks a little hype for me to simply just run up all of that. Right, yeah. <laughs> oh man, they are really. The other made this is definitely taking the mick out of like modern. Time for the real thing! Like modern video game tutorials, like that like, take control away every two seconds and tell you how to do obvious things. But yeah, this is a remake of one of the first ever Sonic fan games called Sonic Robo Blast. You might have heard of the sequel because it literally just got finished like last year or something. It was <laughs> a very, very long in. Ah, here we go. Sonic Team Junior presents. Ah, oh, Sonic Team Junior. A cool place to live. Right, so let's get into the actual game here. With its MIDI music. And... I don't know what song this is. It sounds familiar. Hey, hey there, um, Doubles. Double silly, nice to see you as well. It looks like Sonic's shaking his foot and looking at it as if he's having a dog poop stuck on it that he can't get rid of. <laughs> he kind of does. <laughs> but yeah, uh, there were, a couple of years ago there was actually a... Um, oh, what was it? There was a remake of this game as well, sort of done in a Sonic Mania style. This is like a hidden way, can I... Oh, check out that roll. Uh, <laughs> just slide like a rock. Can I go through there? Is that a secret? Oh, I guess not. But yeah, um, there was a remake. Someone was working on a remake of this game as well, like complete turning it into a proper Mega Drive style, like Sonic Mania style game. But I like this as well. This sort of just preserving exactly as is, just making it a little bit smoother and giving it widescreen support and all that kind of stuff. No spin attack in this game? I mean, I'm jumping, the jump is a spinner. Uh, I guess you mean like the rolling. I, I don't think so. I don't. Th <laughs> this game is so old and simplistic that I don't think even rolling was sussed out yet. But you know, you had to start somewhere. This was literally one of the first ever attempts. So it was made in the game's factory, if I remember rightly. But yeah, I just love that this is just like a as is. Um, preservation of that original game. The graphics are pretty much exactly as they were. The only thing that's really different is it controls a little bit less squirrely and um, when, when you scroll the screen it actually sort of scrolls a bit whereas in the original it would just snap to the next screen sort of Resident Evil style I guess. Or, you know, like a non-scrolling game because again even scrolly wasn't quite sort of sussed out at that point. <laughs> Sonic Electronic! Hey! Hey there, uh, Asher! Good to see you! Good to see you, Asher! The Game Genie! Good to see you! 
I'm, I'm still having to get used to not calling you Asher 4. <laughs> and all you, you I, I know you have a button to become Asher 4, but you know. Uh, yeah, welcome to the stream. I am playing Sonic Robo Blast from the past, which is a very neat thing to see. <laughs> I just think this is cute. I think this is really cute that someone is remaking or porting. Sort of porting, I don't know how. It's been a while. Yeah, I guess it has. I've been in your streams a bit, but it's been a long time since I've streamed. I've been streaming a little bit lately just to try and get back in the swing of things because I knew I wanted to do this stream and I almost like to really prepare for these streams and make sure I've got all the games configured and the controllers, controllers and all that stuff. And yeah, get all the games downloaded and whatnot. Oh, these meaties, man. <laughs> ah, let's see. Have you had a good day? Ah! Oh, did you see how Sonic <laughs> You see how Sonic died? He just sort of like... Spray painted away. <laughs> he didn't feel so good. But yeah, as I mentioned earlier, to give you an idea how long I've been in the Sonic fan game scene, even though I don't really make Sonic fan games or anything, um, I got into the scene in 2001, and this came out in 98, so even at the time it was like, oh, this is like, this is the early beginnings, and look how far we've come. In 2001, the games did actually start to resemble Mega Drive games, kind of. Ouch. <laughs> Sonic 2, boss theme in MIDI, hell yeah. It's a bit slow, isn't it, compared to, like, the actual song. Maybe it's... Ah! <laughs> Not doing a very good job. Let's try that again. Maybe it's like 50 hertz um, speed Sonic 2. Maybe it's like PAL speed. Maybe it's maybe it's UK speed. I want to say the developer of this game was American though, so I don't know. Maybe they just preferred the slower speed, or maybe the MIDI was just was just like that. <laughs> it was just like that. Pop, 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 pop. Yeah, we're going to try and play through as much of this demo as we can. Pretty much everything we're playing tonight is going to be demos. There are some full games at uh, Sage as well, but I might dedicate full streams to those, like Sonic Triple Trouble 16-bit came out a little while ago. Uh, there's also that other one called Sonic Fallen Star. I really want to try that one, but again, I kind of want to give them their own streams at some point. I probably won't be able to do too many streams in the week. I'm hoping to do one more of these. But, uh, yeah, we got through the act. All these default fonts and stuff, I love it. <laughs> Let's get through those trees. Hey, what's with Robotnik this morning? Hello, Sonic, how are you? Robotnik, what the heck are you up to, you crazy mechanical insane person? Sharp listen. You blue, pesky, annoying hedgehog. I'll take over this planet, steal all the rings on my wrist, and use you as a super death I don't know why he's British, but... Triple Trouble 16-bit, I can say it's really great when I'm not accidentally breaking it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I seem to recall you played it at one point. Just wait till I catch you. Oh, he's got all red. He's going Kaioken. <laughs> pew, 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 pew! <laughs> Off he goes. Right, we're next. Oh, Great Forest. I almost thought this was at two, but it's just a like, oh, oh wow, they're actually shooting back at me now. Some green Hill. Green Hill music. Oh, boss already? Wow, that was quick. Ugh. I'm mid boss, I think. This is never a bottom in here. Kind of flamethrower triangle, I don't know what this is. Ow. Oh wow, them rings really do just nap off, don't they? <laughs> they just flew off screen and I can't grab them again. I'm skipping stage this way, so I'm happy to support Animate today. Yay! <laughs> what made you decide to uh, skip stage this year? Did you just not want to go through the hassle <laughs> downloading hundreds of games? Because there are a lot. Ah! Oh, hello. Oh, okay. Oh, that was weird. There was some rings and the bandic before the boss showed up. That was peculiar. Oh, oh, oh god. <laughs> yeah, you really don't get a chance to recover those rings, do you? 
I think it's because of the way it programs, like how you did things in Games Factory. It was like, if hit, then items fly out, but you, you can't really grab them again, really. I'm just gonna wait till he uh, comes back on this side. Till he comes down here. There we go. Meaties, man. One of these days, I have already got like let's plays on YouTube of it, but I I do want to restream, or I want to stream again some of my old Sonic fan games from like 2001 to 2004, because <laughs> some of them are pretty cringe. A couple, most of them didn't get finished, but I did finish like one or two games. I think it was like one game, mate, one main game, and then a few mini games. <laughs> two genies watching this lovely streaming. <laughs> Hey, there we go. Boop. Yeah, I just think this is a really good place. I, I feel like this is a, a cute place to start the stream because it kind of gives you an idea of like the grassroots, uh, the grassroots. I don't know what I'm saying. The origins, the Sonic origins of a uh, fan game, fan game scene, and how it very quickly and very rapidly became a very big scene, which eventually led to. Quite a lot of indie games popping out from it, like Spark the Electric Jester and Freedom Planet. And, you know, games that were initially conceived as Sonic fan games, and then they were like, you know what, we could just reskin these slightly, have original characters instead of Sonic characters, and we can sell them for money. <laughs> I do, <laughs> I do like they could just. <laughs> oh, cool! They don't, they don't. For some reason, they don't get hit by that. But I'm also impervious. Interesting. Oh wow, that's that scrolling is nice and smooth. It's really smooth the way it panned upwards there. Oh, I've lost. Oops, I've got Nick again. He's got spike balls this time. Oh god, they bounce everywhere. Oh boy. Again, because I used to mess around with her, uh, I did make a couple games in uh, the Games Factory. I do remember how these kind of things would be programmed. Sort of like if a thing touches wall, then it will change direction to a random direction and all that kind of stuff. Like if it yeah, touches the sides of the screen, I still remember some of the programming. I wouldn't say language, because it wasn't really language. It was kind of like an easy way of making games. It was basically like, oh, if this does, if this does this, then this does this kind of like stuff. You know, it wasn't like programming and such. You didn't have to know any code to use it. No, there were more advanced things you could do with like the later versions. This probably wasn't even Games Factory. This was probably the one before it called um, Click and Click and Create. I think it was called. Yeah. I didn't even use that one. I used a. Uh, my first uh, game software was Games Factory, and then I got into the later version called Multimedia Fusion. Oh. I don't think I have limited lives either. That might be a new thing for this version, which would make sense. There's no. Uh, I've noticed there's no like coin system though. I think it would have been really cute if they actually called this Robo Blast Origins or something. I'll catch up with the chat in a sec. I'm just uh, fighting this entire intense boss where I've got no rings, so any any little mistake and I'm gonna die. Yeah, there we go. Right, let's catch up with the chat. We had a stage stream yesterday on Roger's channel, but only discussing the games we tried out. Oh yeah, yeah I saw you had a uh, YouTube video with that uh, online. I need to catch up with that soon. Game audio could come down a smidge. Okay, I could bring that down about. Oh, he died <laughs> while I was turning the volume down. Let's pop that down it real quick. Uh, but I imagine audio balance is going to be a midi headache with all the different games. But yes, basically I'm going to need people in the chat to. Uh... Oh, cool! There's actually a bubble stuff now. I wonder if that was in the original game, like the bubble mechanic. I bet it wasn't. Oh wow, I just love the way he just spray paint vanishes <laughs> when he dies. That's cute. I like it. I kinda of wanna hear how the drowning goes. What's quite fun as well is when you drop, you're like automatically rolling. Or 
Oh, do I need to grab a bubble? Right, let me know if the uh, audio is a bit better now. Um, yeah, I'm going to need people to let me know if anything's too loud or too quiet each time I change a game. Oh, hey there! Uh, welcome to the stream! Uh, is that Jafoti Fui? Jafoti Fui? Welcome to the stream! Nice avatar on the stream! Oh, thank you! Oh god, he's drowning! No! I need to find bubbles. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> he died anyway! <laughs> There's a game... Oh, thank you for following as well. Thank you very much. So yeah, if you've just joined, um, I'm playing a uh, unofficial remake of the original... I might turn this down on my headphones as well. Ooh, my headphones as well. It's really loud. Oh wow, I've turned it all the way down on my headphones and it's still really loud. <laughs> um, let's make sure we don't like, potentially drown here. Ah! I, I will keep an eye on the chat in between dying or something. <laughs> I'll try anyway. <laughs> I'm not doing a very good job of uh, playing this game and checking the chat, but I'll try. <laughs> yeah, I do like that you can just roll into a ball and just hide. Just be like hiding. I just like it. Oh, I just noticed the timer in the top corner for how many seconds you've got until you need a bubble. Until you need to get a bubble. Oh no, I did it again. <laughs> what am I doing? It's embarrassing. <laughs> I keep dying over and over. There's a game in here, I think, that I feel will be up your street. Oh, there's been plenty of games up my street. If you're talking, if you're referring to me, <laughs> um, plenty of games. Try not to die in the same spot this time. Break this bubble. Ow! Yeah, let's not jump against that wall because that's what was making me fall down. Right, let's get a bubble. He's about to run out. Yep, there we go. What is that? What is that? Oh god, he's a boss. <laughs> I was wondering what that was. Just like some guy hanging out in the top corner. Yeah. Who, who is that in that? Some kind of robot? I don't know what that is. Can't quite make it out. Oh. Yeah, he gave me some bubbles when he died. That's, that's nice of him. <laughs> but yeah, this is just a demo, but I really hope they, uh, whoever's making this, continues and tries to complete this because it does also include I might check this out in a bit it does also include um, the unfinished Sonic Robo Blast 2 as in when it was originally going to be a 2D game before it became a Doom Wad that I'm pretty sure you all know and love or a lot of people probably have heard of or at least at least heard of if not played at some point because it's as I say it's been in development for about 20 years <laughs> has tons of content and obviously there's so Sonic Robo Blast 2 cart. Uh, oh, oh there is drowning music. Ooh. Oh, Getting intense. Oh, that was a wall. Yeah. Huh. Up here. Oh, is Robotnik again? Oh, we in water, oh boy. So I've still got to get bubbles. I have to get them from the explosions. That's cool. Yeah, this is definitely like... I kind of wish I had the original version of this game at hand so I could uh, compare. But I I probably have it sitting on a hard drive somewhere, maybe. I, I've been going... I've been meaning to at some point, like, go out of my way to try and find all the old Sonic fan games so I can start streaming some of the old ones again. The ones that still work, anyway. Ouch. As long as I've got bubbles, I don't mind. I have no really slow, so I've got to be careful. <laughs> I like how it sounds like, um, almost sounds like a choir singing this. Ah! <laughs> uh, 
heard that Sonic Battle R has a lot of complaints. People saying nothing changed or something like that. I haven't actually got that one downloaded. Um, I don't think I've actually played that one before, so I wouldn't really know either way. I've got quite a few on here, but I have about 30 games downloaded Sonic-wise. And then I've got like 30 odd indie games as well, because I'm really looking forward to showing some of those games. There's some really cool stuff this year. Oh, wow, the explosion got me. Original Sonic Robo Blast delisted from storefronts. <laughs> Yeah, it got deleted from clickandplay.com or something, or Sonic Fan Games HQ. <laughs> I'll have to see if there is any, like, websites that have, like, an archive of all the old Sonic Fan Games. Because I know I've got some old games sitting on, like, CDs and on my hard drive somewhere. On my, like, backup hard drive. Ow. It's a good thing I've got infinite lives, isn't it? <laughs> I keep dying. I keep dying. Because every time I lose a ring, they just kind of naff off screen and I can't grab them again. Ah, no! No, I need a ring! That's the only ring left. No! That was weird, I had one ring and then I lost multiple rings when I got hit. Again, old programming. I should try and actually learn the patterns here, if there are any patterns. Oh god! I remember playing stuff like Sonic Ultra, if you remember that. Oh, it rings a bell. That does ring a bell. The ones that stand out for me from the past are games like Sonic Time Twisted. I don't know if you remember that one. Uh, there was actually a level in that game where my avatar made a cameo in the background. Because, like, they asked for people's uh, avatars on, I think, Moogle MB or Sonic Fan Games HQ. They were like, oh, but... Uh, give us your sprite and we'll put it in this city escape level and yeah, there's a little Gagaman uh, little sprite of me. That's I think an edit of a Tenchi Muyo SNES sprite that's been edited to look like me. <laughs> not not my current avatar, but like me as a person. <laughs> and yeah, that that's in Sonic Time Twisted somewhere. I think it was Sonic Time Twisted. <laughs> I hope that uh, notification noise of us. Sonic is coming through. Sonic! Sonic! <laughs> People are going to be saying the word Sonic a lot, so. I've oh, got all my things again. Let's try and actually beat this thing. That'd be nice. I have to remember that the explosions also hurt. Oh no! I've got no rings again, and I need I need air too. Oh god! No! <laughs> oh god! I'm doing such a bad job. Oh hey there, uh, pocket in there. Sorry, I'm I'm trying to play a game and look at a glance over at chat at the same time, and I'm not doing a very good job. Let's try and actually beat this boss. I've been here for a while. <laughs> I like how his running sprite is smaller than his standing sprite. That was always the case as well. Or like he shrinks a little bit. Or like, like his legs shrink and his body shrinks, but his head's the same size. I think that's cute. That's cute. Yeah, this was before the days of like ripping Sonic sprites from Mega Drive games or ripping sprites from like Sonic and Knuckles pit collection on PC or whatever. And being able to actually use those in fan games. Was, this was before even that. <laughs> uh, I like how the rings are like square as well. As well as adorable. Yeah, we did it. We did it. Woo. I used to play a lot of Neo Sonic Universe. That definitely rings a bell. Yeah, I do recall that one. Um, most of the names have escaped me, but there was quite a few, like, parody games. <laughs> cough, cough. Oh, look at him, uh, Glut, pulling himself up. Oh, it's Knuckles. Hey, thanks for saving my life out there. You know me, I know you. We're one big happy family. Hey, cool entrance. Hi, Sonic. Lucky for you, I was passing by. Yeah, I suppose the you know, Robotnik is taking over, over the planet. Blah, blah, blah. This text is going by a bit too quick for me. Yeah, there is the ice planet. I'll meet you there when you get out of there. See you soon, Nux. Right, we're, 
We're in Green Hill Zone, now it's Blue Edition. Oh my god, the music! Oh hell yeah, this meaty! Is this new to the... This must be new to the... Uh... Oh, mind you. I was about to say, oh, it's hard times, but then I realised this was around the time that Sonic & Knuckles collection would have existed. So this is probably just ripped from uh, Ice Cap Zone from that. Oh, no, no, it's not. No, what am I talking about? Because that game had a different song entirely. This is like a MIDI of the Mega Drive version. That's interesting. It sounds specifically like Hard Times Low rather than Nice Cat. Huh, this must be new to this. What are these? I'm trying to figure out what these things above my head are. It's like some kind of... They look like little gravestones. I do like this smooth scrolling, it really helps... Uh, let's try not to fall into the uh, spikes because they're instant death. My dad had the CD full of old PC games on the internet. All I remember was Neo Sonic Universe and the final beta of uh, Robo Blast 2. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, I think Robo Blast 2 got like it, that. That game went places. Like I think that travelled because it was a Doom mod. Like originally it was a Doom. I don't know if it still is actually. I think it is still technically a Doom mod. A very elaborate Doom mod. Oh, I think I have to delete this panic before the boss shows up. Whoa, Jesus. Whoa! What is that? Oh my god! Green Pumpkin... Is that the first boss from Fancy Zone uh, on the Mega Drive? Uh, Super Fancy Zone? Kind of looks like that. <laughs> yeah, the pumpkin from uh, Super Fancy Zone. Oh wow, I'm supposed to get this guy. Can I hit this? Oh, okay. I have to hit this thing. Maybe bounce it back at him? Ah, okay. Yeah, these bosses are definitely more elaborate than I recall them being in... Uh, Oh, it just came back and hit him by chance. Ah, I died as I hit him. Damn. Oh, hey there. Uh, it's much more. Thanks for thanks for thanks for popping in. Thanks for popping in. And thanks for following earlier on, by the way. I noticed uh, you were asking me if this was my account on uh, Twitter and stuff. Yeah, thanks for popping in and thanks for following. Right now, I can hear him from here. Uh. He's in his sort of pinch phase. Yeah, these bosses have definitely been improved. Oh, I'm gonna miss the um, I'm gonna miss the uh, hard times media unless it's in the next level. I mean, it could be. Oh yeah, it probably is. Unless it's the other music. Let's see. Oh, now it's Ice Cap Zone. Yeah, this is specifically Ice Cap Zone. Mega Drive Ice Cap Zone. Yeah, so there has been some artistic liberties taken with this uh, remake, uh, pool, remaster, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, so this game already has something over... Um... Oh, hello. Got like a little switch thing here. To knock this uh, floor out, that's cool. Oh, I've got to do both bits. Hang on. Like a, almost like a UFO catcher. Ah, oh, there we go. I think I got it. There we go. <laughs> Sonic Robo Bro Origins. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what this is, though. This is basically a. It's kind of a Sonic Origins treatment of. Yeah, 1998. Oh, God. Wait, what's this all about? Oh, hello. Oh, I see. It's something to do with this. Oh, hello. What am I doing here? <laughs> I need to pull this up somehow. Did I mess it up by killing that uh, bandit there? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna die. And I'm gonna... Oh, that's taking me back to the start. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> yeah, this one's got some elaborate puzzles going on. Uh, you know, puzzles. It has some puzzles. I still don't know what these are. What are these? <laughs> are they windows? They look like little gravestones. Ow. But yeah, if I don't get through most of the games that I want to play um, tonight, I'm probably going to do another stream uh, sometime soon. Oh, 
on cheat the cheat the door. Cheat the thing. Oh wow, I've got to sort of time it. Oh there we go. Got it. Right. Ow. Let's try and uh figure this out. Oh, I think you need to get the bullets. Wait. I can kill this bannock, but oh. Oh, it just pops. Oh, okay. I don't know why it's different. I think the cannon on the left-hand side might have uh, shot the target or whatever it is. I presume I can't go in the water. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, God. I'm not even going to be able to beat this demo at this moment. I'm taking ages. <laughs> Try and actually, at the very least, see the end of this demo because it has it unlimited lives anyway. So the only way I'm going to get out of this is if I rage quit. I think. Right, let's do this door again. I remember doing in one of my Sonic fan games had a puzzle kind of like this one where you had to move like a laser around to hit some switches, but it made this really horrible loud noise from Sonic CD. It was like every time it shot a laser, it was really obnoxious. One. It's quite hard to aim. <laughs> to sort of time it. Ah, there we go, got it. Try not to touch any of these spikes because they are. Uh... Oh, yeah, there we go, got it then. If I touch any of the spikes, that's just instant, instant death. Very Mega Man. He's gonna break. Whoa, what the? Some kind of teleporter? What? Well, that was weird. Ow. What's this? Oh, a shield. Nice. Let's try and hold on to that for a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna say this is definitely more involved than the original game. Like, there's more going on than I remember. Especially with the bosses. The bosses have definitely been there. Uh, Enhanced. Well, that's background with the starry night sky and the little moon. The Mac tonight moon in the background there. <laughs> uh, ow. Oh god. He's shooting in all kinds of directions now. I'm scared. Ah! <laughs> Luckily, it checkpoints you here, so that's something. Can you imagine if it took me all the way back? That would, that would have sucked, bum. I would have sucked bum, that's what I said. Uh, hop. Hop. We'll move on to a... What would... What I would call like a... A, a, a more modern... <laughs> like 2D Sonic Mega Drive style game after this one. So you can see how far... Fan games have become, I guess. They're almost indistinguishable from Mega Drive games now, honestly. Like, Mega Drive style of Sonic fan games is pretty much, like, as you can imagine. Even with, like, Sonic Mania coming out, that didn't stop people from being like, oh, we don't need to make fan games anymore because the fans have made an official game. That actually put a fire up everyone's bum to just up their game even more. <laughs> that just made people, like, get even better at making Sonic fan games because now they're like, Maybe I have a chance. If they could do it, then maybe I could do it too. <laughs> you know? Uh, one of the games I would like, I would have loved to have shown you today is like this game called Overjump Rally, which is like a Unreal Engine remake of Sega Rally. It's like one of the levels from Sega Rally. But unfortunately, I, my computer cannot play that game and stream at the same time at all. <laughs> uh, it's way too... Uh, intensive for my old laptop. This this runs perfectly fine though, so you know the computer's alright for something. Um, but yeah, um, the person that's making that said they do actually want to shop it to Sega and see if they're interested <laughs> in like actually making an official like remake with him. Then rather I don't know what yeah, I, do. I just like to say them now because you never know. But yeah, that Sega Rally remake is actually incredibly, like, nice looking. 
but my computer could just about run it. But if I tried to stream it, and I tried recording a video and playing that game, and it ran at about 10 frames per second, and that's with all the settings like turned way down. About as down as they go, anyway. I'll catch up in the chat in a second. Oh wow, he's really bouncing. He's really bouncing. Oh, God. It's like, is it, it's like, I know it's like ice, but it looks like he's shooting off fireworks. Which is appropriate because there's a starry night sky. Uh, ah. I keep losing my rings as I hit him. I've got to be careful the projectiles don't touch me as I'm hitting him. Uh, oh, that was close. Oh, God. Yeah, this is a bit uh, scary. Oh, there we go, there we go. Right into his head. <laughs> There's so many good entries. If it wasn't trying to play through 20 hour RPG, I would have needed like three streams worth of to check everything I wanted. Yeah, exactly. I've probably only really got time. Oh, I've probably only really got time to do like. I don't know. Oh, hell yeah! Fuzzy wav of Sonic OVA music. Hell yeah! Hey Nux, where are we meant to go now? Uh, are we on the final battle? I'm not sure yet, because this is a demo, so it's not the full game. Then what? <laughs> well, you go sort out the volcano, Robotnik has invaded the floating island. He's one dead man when I find him. Ooh, strong words. Have you ever made Sonic homemade games on Roblox? Yes, I know, Roblox. I know there is a sort of officially sanctioned Sonic uh, Roblox, which is really, actually looks really good from what I've seen. It's called like Sonic Speed Simulator. I think it's by fans, but it's technically official, like Sega sanctioned it. You get like these little chows that hang out with you and you can play as quite a few characters. I know they recently added um, like a Metal Sonic Sonic CD race to it. And you can play in like Green Hill and Hilltop Zone and I think Chemical Plant as well. It looks really good honestly. Like, I don't know if it would make me install- uh, ow. <laughs> so there's more levels guys. There's, there, there's more levels. We're still here. <laughs> How long have I been playing this now? I've been playing this for almost an hour. Maybe I should move on. <laughs> as much as I want to see the whole demo, I've been here for like an hour. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to get through every game, like loads of games, if I just sit here and play this all night. But, I don't know, maybe we are getting close to the end of it. This is a long demo, if this is indeed a demo. Let's just try and speed run through this without dying if we can. Up there? No, I need to go this way. Is this uh, Sonic 3D music? It kind of sounds like it. Oh, Christ. <gasps> oh, wow! That's new. That's definitely new. <laughs> that was not in the original. Oh god! That's scary. <laughs> it comes back down though, so that's something. Can't see what's below. Right, let's try and sneak over there. Oh god! I presume this is instant death, so I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to risk it for a biscuit. Oh god. Oh! I looked away for one split second and died. <laughs> uh, while I'm sitting here, I'll have a look at the chat. That speed one is good. Was thinking of the other one where son someone has ported Sonic levels and a level editor within Roblox. That's crazy, yeah. The things people do in Roblox is crazy to me. Like, it's amazing. Especially since, like, when that thing first came out. People were just like, look at this thing, it looks like a joke. Like, it's, it's for little babies. And, you know, it is mainly aimed at kids, but like... The fact that, um... Tell you what, if, if this stream has been going for an hour and I still haven't beaten this demo, I'll move on. <laughs> I'll give myself, like, less than ten minutes here. I think one hour should be the limit on these games, otherwise we're not gonna... We're not gonna see much. And I'm gonna have to do more streams. Which I just about have time to do maybe one more in the week. Ouch. No, I'm just gonna wait for this lava, because I, I assume it's instant death. Let's go this way again, it did work out last time. Yeah. Oh god, no, no! 
Oh, that was really close. Yeah, like when it, like visually, people were like, "Look at this weird roadblock." Oh, yep, it's definitely instant death. You know what? They removed an iconic oof. Yes, there's a very weird specific reason for that. <laughs> um, I don't know if you've heard of Tommy Carolico. He was a composer. I say he was because he hasn't actually made any video game soundtracks in years. But he used to do music for like games like Earthworm Jim, uh, the Aladdin game on the Sega Mega Drive. Um, he did some music for Sonic and the Black Knight and stuff like that. Um, cool spot. He invented the... Um, he created the... Uh, the oof that's in Roblox. And I think what happened is he was asking for royalties, like maybe too much too many too many royalties what's the word he was asking for too much money for them to use that sound effect so they just took it out i think that's what happened anyway um because tommy tarolico's kind of gone a bit weird in recent years yeah you know what <laughs> you know what i think we should move on i think we should move on because we've been playing this for a very long time and i don't think there's a way to quit out now I kind of want to see what the extras are real quick, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna close the game out and I'm gonna reopen it just to see what they are. We're not gonna go into Robo Blast 2. That's on here just because there's there's more content for you to see. If you go on SageExpo.org, you can download this and you can try it out for yourself if you want. <laughs> the uncredited artist from Pac-Man World Repack. Yes. Yes, he also did the soundtrack for that. And yeah, he's not even credited. So we've got extra levels, we've got bonus mode, which includes this really cool little art gallery. I don't know if this is the original concept art for Robo Blast, but if it is, if this is the original concept art for one of the first ever Sonic fan games, this is the cutest thing ever. I really hope it is. Can you imagine if these are just doodles from like the late 90s? They probably are. I have doodles of my Sonic fan games from like 2001, so they could be. Yeah, look at these old scans. Oh, they've even done like the, um, they're sort of done in the style of the Japanese instruction manuals for the Mega Drive games as well. First time here and good stream. Thank you very much. Good to have you. Oh, these, these, do these, Doodles are adorable. So there's credits. Let's just have a look what... Oh! So we have some extra levels. Like these are. The Sonic Jam Midi though. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Sonic Jam. Oh no, wait. Not Sonic Jam. But I didn't find out that Sonic the Hedgehog was a Japanese creation until sometime in the mid-90s when I got a Sonic 3 guidebook. And it said in it, uh, credit to all the developers of Sonic 3 yeah, from Sega of Japan. I was like, Sonic's Japanese? I had no idea Sonic or Sega were Japanese. I just assumed they were American. <laughs> but um, yeah, obviously then Sonic Jam came out. I got Sega Saturn. And uh, yeah, that obviously made it pretty, pretty obvious that uh, Sonic was Japanese because it had the... Japanese versions of the games, the manuals, the Japanese commercials. So we have some more levels here with like proper bannocks in them and proper scrolling I've noticed. It's just normal scrolling. <laughs> so I guess these are just like additional levels that are maybe in the style of the second Robo Blast. I'm not sure actually. It's down here. Already, this feels like a like a, a quantum leap from that last game, just because there's like proper scrolling. Oh, one thing I need to test: can you touch the walls and roll back and forth on them? No, you can't. That's how modern this is. If this was an old game battery game, if you jumped on the ceiling, you'd stick to it and you could slide back and forth and stuff like that. But yeah, there's other there's other content in this. I don't think we need to play too much of it. So yeah, we're going to move on to another game. We're going to move on to something a bit more modern. <laughs> so you can see how things have moved on. 
so this game's called this game demo is called oh, you know exactly what I mean oh awesome <laughs> I'll have to show you I'll have to stream my old fan games one day so you can see that in action I think I actually used it as a mechanic because I couldn't be bothered to come up with good programming so I was just like oh yeah you have to slide against the ceiling to get to the upper side or something but yeah we're gonna play Sonic Hoshi this is another demo with a couple of levels in it uh, I will just pick out the game capture. Hopefully it should come straight up. It should just pop up. Hopefully. There we go. Because I already had it set up because I've got a sort of order on playing these, I guess. So yeah, this is a demo in Mega Drive style. It's even in 4x3. So again, let me know if the audio levels are a bit too high. I've seen this one has been getting a lot of love. Ah, yes, I watched um, Lewis on Sega Driven. He said that the final boss of this demo is incredibly hype. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. Same press button. Ah, there we go. Got it. Right, let's check out the options real quick. If I can. I think it needs to be on the actual... Oh, no. Oh, it's analog stick. Okay, fair enough. That's fine. I can I can get used to that, I suppose. <laughs> oh, I can change the screen size. I could do with making that a little bit bigger, actually. There we go. Oh, I could do it. I could do it full screen. Nice. So basically, I've got my second monitor set up so I can play these games in full screen over there. Looks like I might see you in December. Oh, are you going to the uh, Nottingham Video Game uh, Expo? Uh, it's much more because, yeah, I'm going to be visiting that for the whole weekend. So, yeah, I'll probably see you there if that's what you're talking about. <laughs> if you're not talking about that, then ignore everything I just said. Alright, so we can pick Sonic or a very scared Tails. We'll just be Sonic. Oh, oh okay, it just sort of picked in without me pressing the button, but. Ah, yeah, so the unique mechanic of this game is this Star Dash thing. It's like a charging up, like, um, dash that you can do in any direction. So, we're going to give that a go. Just make sure the controls are all good. I, I'm pretty sure I got all these uh, games set up so they work on a controller, but if I have to do any team career now, I'll just let you know. Oh! You're... Really? Oh! Oh, okay! You're the host! Really? Oh, wow, that's amazing! That's awesome. I'm really looking forward to it, by the way. <laughs> it's nice to actually have something up here in Knots, you know? <laughs> Everything usually happens in London, and yeah. Or, like, other areas, but, like, yeah, we don't often... I've only lived up here for, like, three, almost four years. It is actually four years now, actually. It's just over four years. But, um... Okay. Jump seems to be... I think my controls are a little bit uh, messed up. I might have to check something real quick. Because left seems to be making me jump. I think I know what it could be. Uh, let me just close this for a second. Let's quit that and let's see if that fixes it. Because uh, I think this game does use controller by default. Uh, I don't think it's going to let me unpause now. Oh. Uh, mm, uh, mm. Right, let me just restart it because I think I messed it up by uh, doing that. I think this game uses control a controller. At least I'm pretty sure it does. Uh, hang on just a sec. I'm just trying to find where the actual app is. Where's it gone? There it is. Right, sorry about this. I just need to reopen it. Let me just check the readme real quick, just in case it's not controller -ness. Ah, that'll be why. I'm gonna have to play this on the keyboard. That's fine. I've got. I can. I can do that. It's it, it's a Sonic game. They're they're quite simple. Two D Sonic game. If it was a three D Sonic game, I'd be like, uh, I'm not gonna sit here and tinker the controls in my uh, thing. I'm just gonna play it with a keyboard. That's fine. Volume could come down just a tiny bit as well, but I can still hear you. Okay, I'll bring it down a smidge. I'll bring it down about here. Yeah, I brought it down a couple of decibels. Hopefully that should do the job. Yeah, I'll just play this with a... Uh, I'll play this with a uh, controller, it's fine. Um, I mean, a uh, keyboard. 
If it's a 3D game though, I really want to have like the... Uh... I could actually turn the volume down in the game as well, actually. That, that might help. Was that too quiet now? <laughs> Whoa, thank you very much. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. Thank you very much for the, uh, thank you very much for the subscription. Cheers for that. Much appreciated. I don't know why my character's eyes is, yeah, there we go. <laughs> but yeah, as I said, really looking forward to Knot's uh, thingy. get out of this menu. Oh, of course. I, I just picked up my controller again as if, like, I can use that, but now I can't. Hang on. <laughs> right. I think you have to be focused on the game for it to control, so there we go. I should be able to play it now. I think it's... Was it said to... Or was it P? I, I wasn't reading... <laughs> I didn't actually read the readme properly, did I? To see what button is jump, but I assume it's said. It's usually said. I had to change all the buttons for my uh, feed tuber, my PNG tuber. Because uh, they were assigned to like Z, X, C, but those are quite often used in these uh, fan games, so. or these indie games. This intro is very cool. Well, okay, it, it, it's directly after Sonic 2 by the looks of it, so between Sonic 2 and 3 or CD, I think, yeah. What's the, what's the canon order now? Because I know in Origins they sort of moved it around, didn't they? They made it so CD is before 2, I think, whereas a lot of people assumed... Right, what button is jump? A is jump, okay. So yeah, I've got like this little charging shield thingy. Yeah, this is fine. I can, I can play this with, one, uh, with keyboard. It's okay. I, I don't play a lot of games with a keyboard, so I'm not really super used to it. So one thing you've got to check does this have a super peel out? Oh, it doesn't! Oh, okay. Most Sonic fan games have one of those because they're all Sonic CD fanboys. But this one actually has its own unique uh, this star dash thing which lets you uh, charge in any direction. It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. You can tell I'm not super used to playing with a keyboard, but... I tried to set up as many of these as I could with a controller, but... I'm not gonna see. It. I'm not gonna spend this stream tinkering with controls just so I can use a controller if I don't have to. So yeah, uh, if Robo Blast was like the early days, this is what <laughs> I'd say. This is almost like I, I don't want to say the standard, the basic standard, but this is like if you download most Sonic fan games that have come out recently, they're on par with this. They're like this level of quality, you know? They're almost indistinguishable from Mega Drive games. Sonic R is a gem. Hell yeah it is! I'm so glad you're a Sonic R stan. <laughs> or maybe not a stan, but you know what I mean. I am definitely a Sonic R stan. <laughs> I love that game to pieces. I got that on the Saturn back in the day. and. It was the closest thing to a 3D platformer that I had at the time. So apparently the bosses in this are really good. I haven't really taken advantage of this uh, star dash thing much yet. Uh, it takes... you get like a little... wow, how many rings have I got? Probably zero in a second. <laughs> I really hope that sound's coming through. That SONIC! <laughs> Let me know if it is. Cause... Every time someone says the word Sonic, even without an escalation point. Incredible, right? There's some really good... I, I, I've yet to try them because I haven't actually got a PC copy of Sonic R, but there's some really good mods for that game. That, like, improve the controls and give it, like, a Sonic Mania skin and stuff like that. There are actually some really cool ways to play uh, Sonic R on the PC now. Four Sonic R streams in one stream. One, no way. This <laughs> this stream is like probably 25% of the world's Sonic R fans. <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel like that game got overly hated back in the day and still gets overly hated now. Mainly because they don't understand the drifting controls, man. You have to use the shoulder buttons to get around those corners. I think anyone... A lot of people don't realise that the shoulder buttons are there for the sharper turns. Ugh. That's pretty fun, just like 
dashing downwards to hit a Bannock even harder. So yeah, we're not just going to be playing Sonic games tonight, we're also going to be trying out some indie games, of which I'm going to pick one after this game. Because, if anything, Sonic Fan Games Expo is almost just as much about the indie games as the fan games now. In fact, the indie games are above the Sonic Fan Games on the list on the website, so... Yeah, checkpoint, just in case. Ooh, the Star Shield thing feels a little bit overpowered, but... And I haven't really felt the need to actually use it, because the level hasn't really dictated that I have to use it. It's just there as an option, I guess. Oh, well, I'm kind of going around in circles here, so maybe I do need to use it. Because I'm kind of going around in circles. Where am I going here? Because that's sending me that way, and then that's sending me back this way. I guess I have to get up this wall, right? Yeah, okay, that makes sense. The level design in this is really good as well, like that's, I think that's, I just noticed like the level in the background, like there's like rings and loops and stuff in the background, that's really cute. I have no idea if I'm going the right way or not, but, oops, accidentally paused. Anyone played Sega Sonic the Arcade game? Ah, yes, so did I, so did I, yes, I played that when I was about 10? in Sega World? Once. <laughs> I got to play it once because I didn't live in London. I lived sort of near London. But I went to Sega World the year it opened and they had that next to um, they had that next to Sonic the Fighters. And I only ever got to play it the once for whatever reason. I don't even know if it was there the second time I went. I went three times I think. I went in 96 I think I went in '98, and maybe sometime near when it was in, when it became. I did go a few times when it became like Funko Land as well. <laughs> oh, that's on its little uh, smirk there. That was like a little cutscene for a second there. Ooh, okay. Uh, ooh, I recognise that sound effect. Was that from like Dynamite Heady or something? Oh, wait a minute. I'm not quite sure. This this is like that boss out of Sonic CD, but except it actually does stuff and doesn't just bounce you back. Let's get every ring before I uh, shoot little bombs out. Yeah, I would have been the same age. Went about three times once it was Funland. Yes. Yeah, I went a few times when it was uh, Funland as well. When I was a little bit older and I could just travel there myself. <laughs> Yeah, you know, just get a train and go myself. I was a bit too young to uh, go there frequently when I was a uh, when it was Sega World. Unfortunately, if I was like a teenager or like you know a bit older when um, Sega World was about, I would have probably gone every month. Honestly, especially when it became free to enter, because obviously the first time I went there, it was like twelve pound entry, I think. This boss is kind of making me think of Sonic Chaos a little bit as well, like that boss with the spring. This music's good. Star Dash thing's coming in useful here, I think. Oh god. No, 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 get a ring. Just remember hearing Sonic screaming on any floor of Sega World. Oh, really? I have some home video of the first time I went to Sega World, but there's not a lot of it. There's only like maybe two minutes. There's footage of me and my friends, because we went for like a birthday party of mine in 96, the first time. It was like a couple months after it opened, I think. And we went, I went with a bunch of school friends. And my mum and one of my friends' mums, I think. I've still got like framed pictures somewhere of us standing by the Sonic statue there. But the only home video footage I've got is actually on my YouTube channel somewhere, I think. Um, I did do a video on a channel called Lucky Hit about it as well. Uh, I've got like two minutes of footage. Us going up the escalators, us playing in like the ball pit thing, and then just some random footage of like some of the arcade stuff. But not a lot. <laughs> oh, the intro to Sega Sonic intro screamed a lot. Ah, oh, I see, yeah. This clown music is a bop. Oh, okay, we've got a... What looks like a mashup of Labyrinth Zone and Mystic Cave now, by the looks of it. 
and a little bit of a quartz quadrant. Right, I'm just gonna have a quick hydrate because my throat is getting a bit dry. <laughs> Got a framed photo of me next to the sun, next to the Sonic statue as well. Ah, oh, nice. I might be able to very quickly find it. <laughs> Let me just see if I can uh, grab it real quick. I'll just pop it on the stream. I think I know where it is. It should be on this hard drive somewhere. I'll just quickly look. So you can see it. Uh, be under old. Ah, there we go. I've got a Sega World folder. One of these. Yeah, there we go. This one's just got one of my friends on it. But here it is. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. I'm the one on the right. On the half right, I guess. <laughs> but yeah. Pretty sure that was 96. December, no, dis not December. Like, or maybe early December 96, I think that was. But yeah. I have got other photos on here, but I don't have to. Uh, we're not going to sit here and just look at photos. <laughs> we're here to buy Sonic games. <laughs> but yeah. Let's, uh, oh, I, I grabbed my controller again. I'm just so instinctively like grabbing controllers. It's a good thing I, 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 I remembered the rules of the game, otherwise I'd be in a bit of trouble here. If I get trouble with water, can't I just like star dash my way out? Yeah, sort of. But yeah, I'm really. I might try and play for the entirety of this demo because I really want. Oh, that's a weird boss. Urbanic. It was like. You look like bubbles with eyes. Well, these guys are here. Apparently, the final boss in this demo is really good. It's really hype. According to Sega Driven. Pratty. Wee! Oh, that run animation is cool. I almost thought this sprite was mostly just Mega Drive sprites, but it does actually have a few, uh, oh gross. I was trying to get that bubble, but I ended up going the wrong way. There we go. I almost thought this was mostly just a Mega Drive sprite, but he does have a couple custom frames. Also, he's got more colours as well. Kind of somewhere between Mega Drive and Sonic Mania style sprites. Like, just more colours to the Mega Drive sprite kind of thing. I'm gonna just grab bubbles because. Yeah, that Bannock is like weird. Oh, I think I see what they're, go what they're going for here. That it's supposed to fool you into thinking it's bubbles. Yeah, that running animation's custom. That's pretty cool looking. Mystic Labyrinth Zone. Yeah, pretty much. With a little bit of uh, Quartz Quadrant, I think it was called. Like the crystals. Come on. Oh yeah, he's up animations custom as well, that's pretty cool. But yeah, this one's definitely going for like an authentic 16-bit style thing and all with more colours. It kind of looks a bit more Super Nintendo than uh, Mega Drive. It's got more colours, maybe even like closer to Sega Saturn level 2D maybe. Did you see that there was like rumblings recently that Chaotix might have originally have been planned as a Saturn game and then they last minute moved it to the 32X. I think it's been maybe disproven now, but there was like a Japanese interview that sort of suggested that it was maybe in consideration for the Saturn as opposed to the 32X or it include or in addition to the 32X. I still think that game should have been a Saturn game because then they would have had time, more time to work on it for a start. <laughs> it wouldn't have been rushed out the door. Oh, we're up to a boss already. Oh, it's a mid-boss. Looks like that guy from uh, Hydro City. Yes, I said Hydro City. That's the correct way of saying it. Oh, there's definitely some uh, like Gunstar Heroes like sounds coming out of this thing. So far, I have no idea how to fight it yet. Ooh. Yeah, that's, that's proper Gunstar Heroes. It's like losing bits. Oh, maybe you have to hit the bits that... Oh, okay, so they're like weak points. Wow. Uh, okay, this is interesting. Where am I going to get bubbles? Oh, maybe from... Oh, wait. Ah, wait. Oh, okay, bubbles come out of him when you hit him. Okay, that's cool. Kind of like that boss in Roboblast. 
Thank you for Hydro City. Yes, it's the correct term. It's two separate words. Just because they forgot to put a space. <laughs> They forgot to put a space doesn't mean doesn't mean <laughs> doesn't mean it's high property. <laughs> sorry, but sorry, but I'm gonna I'm gonna die on that hill. That's the hill I'm willing to die on in that argument. <laughs> so someone people are gonna unfollow and unsubscribe now because they're like, no, it's hydrosity. <laughs> but yeah, if that's what you want to do, that's what you do, I guess. Oh god, I'm gonna die. No. <laughs> Oh god. I don't think that star thing's really helping me out here. Bit of bubbles at the very least. No, I need bubbles and wings. Ah! Jesus. That came at me like a wrecking ball. Why would you keep saying hydrosity like some monstrosity? <laughs> yeah. Oh no, it's Roger what are those? <laughs> They just forgot to put space, or didn't have room for it. I think that's all it is. I'm also Team Rice Star, so make of that as you will. <laughs> team Rice Star, I don't think it's Rice Star. I just don't think it is. It's Dex Star. Did you not see the prototype where he's called Dex Star? <laughs> It's like the final game, but they couldn't decide whether they were going to localise it as Dexstar or not. <laughs> the title screen says Dexstar. Monstrosity Zone. Alright, I got that boss down. That's pretty tough. To be fair, I'm probably not doing it as well because I'm having to use a keyboard, but... Keyboard. Keyboard. I use it interchangeably sometimes, but I, I could but definitely understand it's Hydro City. <laughs> I do like this mix of like elements of different levels, but it still looks original just by I mean there's like Angel Island uh leafs here. These are oh whoa. Oh he's right next to <laughs> the bubble bannock is right next to the bubbles. That's harsh. Oops. I wonder how many levels this demo is. play after this. We're going to play a indie game that's Sonic styled after this one. Just to, just so you can see like how uh, basically Sonic style platformers are essentially a genre now. The only thing with this demo that I'm going to play after this is uh, I haven't quite gotten very good at it yet but I did try it out the other day. But yeah, we're going to start with an indie game that's Sort of Sonic styled. This uh, speed up music's pretty good. Oh, hello. Didn't we want that? Are they gonna come back out? Ooh, question mark. Mystery box. Ah, I missed it. <laughs> I want the mystery box. I want to know what's in the mystery box. Is it good? <laughs> what? 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 What the? He just made a party noise. He just went. <laughs> what? Why? Okay, I guess that's what the mystery was. I got a I got a cuddly toy. This is very silly because there's at least one other word you can point to that uses different pronunciation with the same logic. Yeah, exactly. My justification for both Rice Star and Hydro City is just thinking, well, you know, these games were developed in Japan, and I don't think. A pun like hydrosity would come up in like I don't know Japanese like coming up with English names. I don't think they would really come up with something like that unless the names were come up, were derived from Western developers. Because I know a few elements of the Sonic games were named by the Western team as opposed to the Japanese team, so it's hard to say. It's like Sonic 2 was developed in America. But Sonic 3 was developed in Japan, so... Ooh, goggles! I has goggles! For anyone that's not aware, these goggles were a unused sprite... Ow! Well, I lost them. 
I lost them, but I was about to say those goggles are an unused sprite in the original Sonic the Hedgehog, which I assume meant that at some point you were going to get goggles in that game to get through the Labyrinth Zones and Scrap Brain free. I should have asked Azuka when they did that silly scripted interview. Yes! Why don't they ask the important questions? They never ask the important questions. Like, Rise Star. Ask him about Rise Star and ask him about Hydro City. He, surely he must know. He, he'd probably like, what? <laughs> he'd probably just say, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, there's little waterfalls here. Oh, I like this uh, submarine. The star thing is definitely helpful for getting above, like, higher up. Ooh, oh, I like the missiles. Yeah. Oh god, There's a lot of missiles. These bosses are very good. I'm gonna just put that out there. These are very good. This is a, just a very good Sonic fan game in general. This just feels almost indistinguishable from an actual Mega Drive Sonic game, which is, I, I, as I as I said, I don't want to call it the norm. But 2D Sonic fan, fan games have definitely hit like a peak where like making a Mega Drive style Sonic game is not easy, obviously, because level design is not something you can just. It's something you have to learn, isn't it? It's not just a. Uh, you can just make. There are engines out there that have the sonic physics down pat that you can use that are open source. That basically, uh, the fact that it is Hydro City in the Sonic Mania OST and the music player for Sonic Origins, it is clear that they know. Ah, okay. Yeah, you're right, it is in the, um, the manual, the Japanese version, the soundtrack. Yeah, you're right, because I got that collector's edition. Oh, there's another level. Ooh, ice level. I want to see this last boss, just because I want to see what the hype is. So this is very, um, I can see launch base in the background. Uh, obviously, elements of ice cap, I suppose. Yeah, it's definitely elements of ice cap. Ah! Wow, I managed to miss that. Can I smash through those? Yes, I can. Rolling physics. Yeah, as I was saying, there are engines out there such as Sonic Worlds, which essentially have all the Sonic Mega Drive physics down. So you don't even have to worry about programming the Sonic physics right, they've pretty much been done for you already. You could get that Sonic Worlds engine for Multimedia Fusion and just start designing levels with that quite easily. And I think that's how games like this one have come about, is they're probably... I don't know if this one's using the Sonic Worlds engine, usually they say at the start if they are. I don't think this one did. But most people don't bother making their own engines now, unless they're using something unique. So I know some people are working on, like, a Unity engine that is essentially Mega Drive Sonic as well. I think last year there was a port of Sonic 1, or like a port of Green Hill Zone done entire, entirely with Unity code. Because Sonic 1's been decompiled now as well, so... In fact, even Sonic... Ooh! Oh, hello! Well, Sonic's shown up, and he just popped that TV for me, apparently. He's like, you can't have this telly. <laughs> maybe it's... Ah! Maybe it's complete, two completely coincidental typos. Rocket engine looks neat. It looks to be a Sonic Advance remake uh, framework. Oh yes, I haven't actually checked that one out yet. But yeah, there is a, a sort of Sonic Advance style uh, framework being worked on as well. And obviously there's some good... Oh, oh hello, there's a special stage down there. Oh, I want to go to the special stage. No! Let me go to the special stage. Ah, I want to go to the special stage. Let me go to the special stage. Let me go to the special stage. There. Oh, oh. oh, let me guess. I needed 50 rings and I just lost them. I literally just lost 50 rings. Cool. Alright, well, I guess we're not seeing the special stage. <laughs> Might not be done yet. Yeah, it's probably a work in progress. 
there's some really good like 3D engines out there now as well that are attempting all kinds of Sonic engines, you know, like original ones that have momentum. We're going to play a couple 3D Sonic fan games later as well. So we know Metal Sonic's going to show up at some point in this zone because he popped up earlier. Hopefully that means we'll fight him. Oh, check out these uh, icy crab meats. Frozen crab meats. Been left in the freezer. He left the crab meat in the freezer. It's got defrost now. The infinity engine is neat. I think I know that one. Oh, well, there he is. Time for another remix of a. Uh... Oh, good. Oh, nice. I wonder if this is the boss that was. Um... Is this Sonic 4 music? Pretty sure this is Sonic 4 music, but done good. I still attest that the Sonic 4 soundtrack isn't technically bad, it just has bad instruments. Like, if you do it in Mega Drive style, it sounds good. Oh, oh boy, now we're running. Ow! Ooh, I think this might be the boss. I think this might be the boss. I get that impression. Oh god, he's coming for me. I'm pretty sure that's a Sonic 4 song. Yeah, that was very that was very cool. That was a very cool Metal Sonic boss. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> oh that's adorable, he grabbed the sign! <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, wait, no, there's an Act 2. Okay. I guess that wasn't the final boss. There's more. That was just a mid-boss. Jeez. Oh, this is very uh, sandopolis, but with water instead. Or sand. Oops. Keep pressing that in the wrong direction. But there's some Sprat Spanix around. Ooh. Yeah, let's try and get lots of rings, because I really want to see that special stage now. I assume there is one, anyway. Am I trapped here? No. Ah, right into them spikes. Well done. Yeah, this is just a really solid, very well-designed fan game with good level design, really good bosses. Nice graphics that are sort of like a partially original and partially like made mish like a mishmash of stuff, but done in a way where it looks cohesive. But I can tell that's like launch base in the background, but there's like little Christmas lights on them. I just noticed the like ice capness of the music as well, the like the drums. The music's very good too. Just all round, very pleasant, well made little uh, 2D fan game. I don't want to say little, it's probably took a lot of work. <laughs> Especially the level design. Level design in Sonic games is a lot harder than people realise, I think. You can't just put a lot of loops everywhere and call it a day. There has to be a balance to like the platforming and the speedy bits. And you can't just make it so Sonic just runs forward and wins. You also can't make it really slow and plodding. Even the first actual Sonic game didn't quite nail it in spots, because obviously it was the first game and they weren't quite sure what Sonic was yet. <laughs> but I think they figured it out by the second game. So yeah, um, I don't know if you can still find it, it's probably out there somewhere. But there is actually a remake of Sonic Robo Blast that is done in the style of a game like this. It's like 16-bit, almost like Sonic Mania style graphics, and it's like a remake of that first Robo Blast. Oh, okay, here we go. Here comes the clown music. It's like a sad clown. Wow, 
I'm loving the Gunstar Hero sounds. They, they suit. Just makes me think of that one meme of that bloke that was doing like some break dancing and, and it was put to like Gunstar Hero sound effects. I loved it. As mad as Sonic 4 was, I think Metal Sonic was one of the best parts of Episode 2. I honestly quite liked Episode 2. Like, Episode 1 was kind of meh. But I actually quite liked Episode 2, especially the latter half of it. Like, the Wing Fortress... Ad Ooh! Oh, hello. The Wing Fortress adjacent level... Oh god, Giant Snowball. Oh wait, what? Oh, wow! Oh! Okay, okay. That's sick. <laughs> he used a bit of the animal capsule machine as a surfboard. That's sick. Now we're running away from the snowball, I assume. Oh boy. Yeah, this is this is cool. And it's doing the little points things when you jump as well, like in Sonic 1. Yeah, this is pretty hype. And uh, Oh! 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 Oh my god! I hope this isn't spoilers for any of you, because this is sick as hell. <laughs> it just keeps going! <laughs> oh, no way! This just keeps going, man. I t I'm telling you, people are trying to out... They're trying to outdo Sonic Mania now. They're like, oh, well, we'll show you. We can, we can make fan games... Ow! <laughs> I died. I was, I, was, I was too excited. This must be what Lewis was referring to. Yes! I did want... I was considering not showing this on stream, but I wanted to play it on stream so you could see my reaction, but yeah. Ah, oh, no! Is there a Twitch ad playing? Ah, oh, sorry about that. Let me know when it's finished and um, I'll try and make sure it doesn't do it because I have got a button to snooze them. Ah, oh, sorry about that. I should have um, put on a quick one just to make sure it doesn't do it because the way it works now is a bit awkward. Like it does one every like half hour I think. Unless you do one yourself. If you manually do one yourself then it disables it for half an hour. I think that's how it works. Ah, oh, it's finished. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> Hopefully uh, you'll be able to check it out a bit later. This boss is crazy. I love all the different steps to it. Oh. Like Metal Sonic and Robotnik working together on something. You rarely see them like work together like this. Usually Robotnik's just tagging along behind or something. And being like, go Metal Sonic, do your thing. But now they're like sort of working together and doing like moves together. Sick. I just love that friggin' slam dunk that Metal Sonic did, and then Robotnik followed, that was so cool! I don't know why I just jumped real clean into it when I was doing that. Let's just wait over here, because I think that's okay. Timing of the ad was hilarious on my end. Oh, was it? Oh, I'm really sorry, guys. I really should have double-checked that... I thought it was over, but it keeps going. Oh, no. No. <laughs> He's got to go super as well. Come on. How is this a demo? <laughs> this feels like a full game now. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Mate. Mate. <laughs> you might not know what I'm going to do. But... Oh, no. We've got Dragon Ball Z noises. <laughs> I was about to do OVA stuff, but... What? He got through Act 2, apparently. Off he goes, off he pops. Oh, Christ. Oh, my God, the Dragon Ball Z noises. They got me. <laughs> thank you! Thank you! Yeah, thank you for that incredible end to your demo. Holy crap. How the hell is the full game gonna, like, top that? Like, mate. <laughs> That was actually incredible. Like, that was one of the coolest bosses I've seen in a Sonic game ever. <laughs> and that's not even the final boss. What the hell? Mate. Mate. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, and it just booted out. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, we're done. Drops mic. <laughs> Drops mic. Thank you. They should have just had a little animation of the Sonic dropping on mic and being like, yeah, that's the demo, mate. That's the demo. Now what? 
Now what, other other Sonic fan game developers? Now what? <laughs> that was incredible. That was... Oh, I'm so glad I didn't see that before I streamed it. Wowly wow wow. Right. So, <laughs> so yeah. I think that was a pretty good place to start the stream. We started with like one of the first ever fan games being remade. And it's original graphics and stuff. And then we just saw that. And that's... That's Sonic fan games now. That's that's what about twenty odd years of like different hardware, like different software and different like engines and just tons of creativity from the developers has led to. You know, this oh oh <laughs> I had a bit uh, sweating a bit playing that. Honestly, that was oh I, I almost kind of just want to see it again. <laughs> uh. Well, you know, we're not going to play for the whole demo again. Uh, right, so the next game I'm going to play, I haven't played a lot of this demo yet, but this is actually from a developer who has already put out a indie game that's in the style of Sonic. And you can even buy it on the Switch, and it's quite often on sale for, like, not a lot of money, like a couple dollars. Uh, the game, and it actually features at Sage a few years ago, it was called Polyroll. If you've never heard of Polyroll, I commend you to look it up. It's on Steam and the Switch, and I think it's on other stuff. And it's quite often on sale for next to nothing. But honestly, it's a really cool little Sonic-style game. And that developer has another game on its way very soon on Steam. And it's called... Uh, what's it called? Where is it? <laughs> Panic Porcupine, if I remember rightly. Is it Panic Porcupine? Yeah, there it is. Panic Porcupine. So we're going to play this next. This is a demo, but as far as I know, this game is very close to... Oh, you played Polyroll recently. What did you think? I really enjoyed it. I thought it was like... It felt like Master System Sonic. Like in a good way. Right, let's pop on. Panic Porcupine. There we go. Right, I just need to adjust this picture a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. oh did I put it in? Oh, wait. I'm getting confused which one of these is game capture. There we go. So yeah, this is that developer's next game. This should be coming out on Steam really soon, and I'm kind of hoping there'll be a Switch version down the line, because I'd like to have it on a handheld. This one should just work on my controller. Yep, there we go. What's really neat, reminds me of free PC games from the mid-2000s. Yeah, definitely. It's like a, It feels like a home computer, almost like Jazz Jack Rabbit kind of style. It's got that kind of uh, feel to it. Uh, you know what, let's make this full screen just because... Analytics? Hmm, are they studying how often I die or something? Because this game is quite hard. <laughs> it's got a wishlist button right there, so... Let's just jump straight in. Ah, uh, look! Speaking of home computers, check out the floppies. I'm going to copy that floppy. I'm going to put a save on it. Ah, oh, and there's a magnet in the corner. You can't see it because I'm over the top of it. But there is a magnet in this corner to <laughs> erase the files. That's cute. No, I'm going to put it on the blue one, just because I'm just going to pick one. So here's not Dr. Rome, not Nick, I guess. <laughs> just grabbing, grabbing birdies and putting them in eggs. Subtle. <laughs> check out the, check out the, uh, the, the, the Sonic looking thing up there. He looks like that Sonic CD hidden image of like the Batman Sonic. But yeah, legend, a gallant hedgehog who would rescue us from he evil. I didn't realise this was going by itself. Unfortunately, he got a movie deal, so we'll have to settle for you. <laughs> That's cute. You alone must rescue the chicken burbs from the evil doctor... Oh, I didn't get a chance to read that. Actually, I, uh, I'm i just here for my therapy appointment. This hedgehog, this porcupine looks pretty... Uh, you seek serenity, and it can only be found by facing your fears. I just really don't want to die. I also think I might have left the stove on. <laughs> and the door unlocked. Did I leave the fridge open? <laughs> You. Take this, an ancient artifact. Pangolin, I see what I did there. A computer monitor we found in a palm tree. <laughs> It'll give you infinite lives. Ah. Unintelligible agony. <laughs> New combat Sonic. Uh, kind of. I think the game that it reminded me most of was specifically Sonic 1 on the like Master System and Game Gear. But mixed with like PC games from the 90s. With your newfound power, go forth on your quest. So I have infinite lives, which I'm going to need, because from what I've seen, this game is very Super Meat Boy-esque in its uh, level design. Don't count on it. 
like we do all that. But... Oh, you meant the painting, all right. <laughs> I was thinking you meant like Duke Nukem as in the original 2D one. <laughs> but yeah, I guess you could, yeah. I just need to quickly just type something on our chat. Look. Right. Oh, I'm getting more spam emails. Go away. I can get spam. <laughs> Heels that are green. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. I was too busy. On something. So there's, uh, there's quite a few levels here to try out. I guess we'll start with Hills That Are Green. <laughs> That's pretty good. My phone's going to keep making noises, so I'm just going to mute that, that app for a little bit. Mute. Or. Ah, well, I guess that's as long as I can do it. Yeah, let's try this level. Hills That Are Green. Ready? Right. So, yeah, there's spikes everywhere straight off the bat. You're collecting little egos. You can't roll, you just run and jump. Oh, and he's dead already. <laughs> oh, God. Like VHS filter as you come back in. So, this is quite different. Visually, it's similar to Poly Roll, but it plays very different. Or quite different. I've heard people comparing it to Super Meat Boy and like its difficulty and uh yeah, I can <laughs> I can see what they mean. There's there are spiky bits all over. It's like a it's like a it's like playing through the music land in Rayman. <laughs> oh well, I guess you can touch the tops of them as well. Not just you can touch the sides of them as well rather. Just trying now. Hello, happy day three of Sonic Expo. Hey, welcome to the stream, um, Rescue Squad Cult. Thanks for popping in. Yeah, this is uh, day three. I've spent the last two days uh, downloading and testing stuff out so I could do the stream. Oh, <laughs> for some reason I just assumed there was like more springs there. <laughs> they, they were, they, the designer was testing me to see if I was uh, paying attention, <laughs> which when I'm streaming is a little bit. I just heard Sonic! Yeah, every time anyone types Sonic, you you will hear Sonic! I should probably explain what that's actually from. It's like from a... I did it again! I did it again! I just assumed there were spikes... Not spikes, I just assumed there were springs there again. They're, 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 they're sussing me out. So these little things are springs. I like the music. Right, let's try and not... Let's try not to do what we did last time. Right, how do I do this? Because they're, they're going to spring me as well, aren't they? Oh, they're shorter springs. Okay, that's cool. Ah, no! Oh, take a Sonic the Hedgehog! It's actually from... Uh, I can't remember what language it was, but there's a specific language of the intro to Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog where it's the original intro, but every time the word Sonic is in the intro, this voice just goes, SONIC! What I really want to do, because he says it in so many different ways in the intro. Oh, there's a bird, eh? Hey, I did the level. Panic missed 10 eggs. Are they going to drop on my head like Crash Bandicoot? Oh, God, they are! <laughs> they actually kind of did. Yeah, I posted it on... Um... Yeah, I posted it on Twitter a while back. I just fell in love with it when I first saw it because I was watching like multi-language videos of like different languages of the Adventures of Sonic intro. Some of them have like completely different songs, like the really addictive like Italian one. Um, it's really catchy. And even like the Arabian one's really catchy. But yeah, I can't remember what language it was, but every time the word Sonic is on the screen, he goes, Sonic! 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 It's just like, I love it. It's so jarring, I love it. What I want to figure out is how to make it so whenever anyone types that, it plays one out of a pool of random sound effects. Wow, why does this level immediately make me think of... Um, oh, what's that game called? Aero the Acrobat. It's just so garish. <laughs> it's like that... At least it hasn't got the horrible circus music that that game had. <laughs> Already this is like getting more involved. 
Less spikes though. Well, he says that and then... Oh, this is very uh, oil lotion right now. Oh god. Let's just go that way. No! Originally I had it so it played like a Japanese commercial for uh, that, but I changed it. Because I just love that so much. I don't mind hearing it all the time. Especially on a stream that's specifically about Sonic games and people are saying it a lot. Already I know I'm going to love this game. Like, it's already giving me the same... Like, oh, I didn't even see those. <laughs> You definitely can't just like. What's this? Press the jump button to launch. If I want to get those eggs there, I guess I could try. Well, I've got some of them. I'm not supposed to get those. Is there anything to do with this? Oh! Bang! I like the noise that makes. Oh, I'm not going to worry about the eggs. We're going to miss out on eggs. I'm not going to worry about eggs, I'm just going to play it. Why do I <laughs> Why do I keep doing that? <laughs> I just keep like jumping to whatever platform is nearby. Shooting in cannons in platformers is weirdly one of my fave things. Oh hey there Hedgehog, welcome to the stream. Good to have you. DK barrel cannons, yeah pretty much. I mean, they're kind of making me think of All Ocean, but All Ocean, you can control them, they just kind of went off on their own, so yeah, they're more like DK ones. I love the noise these make! I could just bounce off those all day. <laughs> That's such a cute noise! I'm trying to reach that DK barrel. There we go. Oh god. Uh oh. Ah! <laughs> Hello. In a sec, if you want, I could um, show you what all the commands are. If you type in escalation point commands, you can see all the commands that I do currently have set up. Oh god, this bit's... Ooh. Yeah, this is very Donkey Kong right now. Oh, thankfully that bounced me back into it. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I got just sick. Oh. Well, for some reason I'm in caps lock, but that should work. There we go. I think that's all of them. <laughs> Not sure how I'm supposed to reach those eggs, but... <laughs> yes! The sound ever! He looks very nervous. I mean, he's literally called Panic Porcupine. And he, he was talking about, like, he was planning to go to therapy at the start of the game. He was like, oh, I'm here for my therapy appointment. I just don't want to die. And I think I left the stove on, he was. He's a, he's a, he's a very... I don't blame him with these level designs, being very uh, nervous. Yeah, visually it's very similar to Polyworld. It's got that very... I don't want to say garish, but it is a little bit garish, especially this level. <laughs> But it's got that very Amiga look to it, which, you know, I think is totally intentional based on the fact that it had like little hard disk, floppy disk. Ugh, uh... oh, I'm in a bit of trouble reaching this. It's alright, I get to bounce on these cute boys. Cute boys! Ah. Get out there. <laughs> I'm just trying to get to that barrel. He doesn't really move super fast, so. Try not to hit these. Uh, no, it happened again. 
I mean, you can go back and try other levels, I suppose. Let's have a look at some different levels, just for some variety. It also absolutely murders the bitrate. Oh, does it? Oh, what, the garish colours? Or that VHS filter? Oh, God. Oh, no! Oh, oh, he sliced it up! Right, friends, I've got to hop off now. Have a lovely stream and the rest of your day, all. Thank you very much. Um, thanks for popping in, uh, Asher. Good to see you. I hope to see you soon on one of your streams, too. Uh, see you later. Good. Good. <laughs> yeah, thanks for popping in, Asher. Uh, good to see you again. Ooh, I'm going to jump over that this time. Oh, God. There's, like, some... Oh! Wow, I didn't expect to hit that. I think I have to be rolling there. But you can't, like, activate a roll. It sort of just happens. Yeah, no, you can't, like... You don't, like, press down to roll in this. You just kind of run. I'm just going to jump over that. <laughs> I like the sound effects. Oh, God. Already I love this. <laughs> kind of hoping this one gets a switch port like the last one did. But if not, then I'll grab it on uh, Steam. I'm already well into this. Gary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ. Nah! Oh! But the levels are quite short, but they're short and sweet, and they're not too Super Meat Boy-ish, where it's like literally every inch of the level is like a task, like a chore, almost. Oh yeah, I can't, I can't go down there. <laughs> Everyone check, by the way, I'm just gonna quickly, I'm just gonna quickly do this. I know you've probably already left by now, but I'm just going to put this anyway. Hopefully that worked. Did that work? Did I do it right? Hmm. I don't think I did it right. Well, I'm, I'm still bad at Twitch. Oh, uh, Cherry Tea's on. Okay. She's working at the moment. That's it. Sorry, I'm just typing on the phone. Oh, dear. Get back on with it. Imagine if Porcupine was talking the whole while while you're playing Panic about his Figgy C's. <laughs> that would be cool as an option, but I think I'd probably turn it off after a while. <laughs> like, I'm now, I'm nauseous. Oh no! I'm gonna hit the shores. Oh, did I leave the stove on? Oh, did I? Did I remember to lock the door on my way back out? On my way out. What kind of voice do you reckon you'd have? You'd be like, I'm nauseous. Oh, there we go. Missed 32 eggs. I suppose they're gonna all come in. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, we managed to beat that level, so that's something. Let's try S Haunted Hill, Slime Valley. So they've got different names up there, To I guess these are levels within those worlds. Oh god, no! Oh no, what's this? Blood swords! Who put those there? As a, as a hazard! As a health and safety hazard! Get the health and safety on it! About. This slime will help you climb walls. Ah, now I see the Super Meat Boy. This, yeah, okay. I can see now what people were saying. It's like, it's like got elements of. Oh, bum! There were spikes right up there. Almost didn't see them. The birdo. Our swords are gonna become a common trend, I think, in these levels. Right, don't hit the green one, because that one will shoot you up too high. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, oh, ah! <laughs> moon big. That is a big moon. That is a very big moon. Oh yeah, I need to get the bird, don't I? Bird -o. Oh, there's four in the level, okay. I should really be keeping an eye out for him. I think there might be one in that corner, but one over there. 
Try not to hit the springy. Ah! ah. Ah! Should check up there, really, shouldn't I? Because I, I assume there's a bird up there. I'm not sure if I can get back up there now. Oh, yes, again. Oh, yes, there is one up there. I should have guessed there would be. I'm not going to worry about eggs. That's full when I play the full game and try to complete it, like, fully. I'd definitely be supporting this game as, like, as I really enjoyed Polyroll. I actually got that, I think I got that on Steam and Switch, actually. Right, so we need to go back that way, don't we? Oh god. Ooh. Oh, there's another one here! Okay. Oh, I just noticed the buzzsaws. I heard them, but I didn't see them. Yes. I presume we have to find all four of these birds. Oh, I've got three. I really like this funky music. And then the last one was over here, so I presume that's the whole level, actually. No! Um, I was starting to tread into more sadistic level design. Oh, definitely. This doesn't feel too overly difficult, though. It's not like, as I say, Super Meat Boy. It's not too overly crazy so far. These are probably just like the early levels, aren't they? Or maybe like the first levels of each world. Maybe he's got a little waiting animation. I hope he has. Yeah. That one. Right oh, this is the bit I'm having trouble with. That last bit. I have to do the whole level because of that last bit. It's just that one jump that I keep messing up. It's the, the bouncy pads. That one. Yeah. Wow. I'm gonna go back for all these different uh, birds before I get that one. Maybe I should just bullet must go towards that first one first if I die again, like the last one first rather, just so I'm not wasting my time getting the other three. Uh, yeah, his physics are definitely quite uh, heavy compared to traditional like Sonic style physics. Ever so slightly heavier. Got it! I missed seven eggs. Yeah, not quite yet, but I, I, I can imagine. <laughs> good timing on that. <laughs> Very good timing on that. Coming down the mountain when he comes. He'll be coming down the mountain when he comes. He'll be coming down the mountain. Oh, you get out of here. Oh, another bird. Oh, eight birds now. Ooh, there's one. There's one. There's one. Oh, I need to make that a, a command. Oh, wow. I'm supposed to get under there. Am I supposed to get under there? Whee. Yeah, I'm not actually sure I'm meant to get under that. <laughs> Maybe not. No, I'm not going to play every single level in this demo. I mean, we pretty much have played every single level in this demo, but we're not going to beat every level in this demo. Well, I'm not going down there, because I don't think... Wait. I'm not supposed to be going here. Oh, okay, you need to go fast enough to start rolling, okay. Oh, is this a... Uh, I thought it might be, I don't know why, I just assumed... I just assumed it was a scrap brain zone spinny thing. Just... So it's a circular thing in a Sonic adjacent platformer, so you probably spin around it. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Well, it kind of feels a bit different, but yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, I'm going to get up there. Uh. I have to get at that at full speed, I think. Well. Uh, there's three more here. There's three here. That's something. 
makes me think this level might not even be finished. Just a hunch. I'm gonna have to really build it. Oh god. Don't like the look at this. Hmm. Whoa! Just about made it. Right, so now I need to figure out that last one. All the way up there. Try to figure out how I'm gonna make build up the speed for it. I think I need to go all the way up. Oh no! I should I really shouldn't have done that. Thanks for popping in there, uh, Pocket. Oh, sorry, I, I'm having trouble pronouncing the second part of your name. Larry? Yeah. Thanks for popping in. <laughs> nice to see you. Hopefully I'll see you another time. Alright, now I've got to do the whole level again because I walked into the spikes like a fool. This one's pretty, like... Self-explanatory, regardless. You just got to go fast enough that no. Oh, I presume you have to use the the spring to get a uh, spinning, I guess. Yeah, because you don't just roll by default. You have to wait. Wait, that's a little bit confusing to me. Uh. I'm trying to figure out how you actually get him to start rolling because you can't like do it yourself. I don't know. Oh! Wait, yes you can. Yes you can. I just realised it's like Y. <laughs> the button Y lets you roll on wheel. See, I just assumed it would be down because I'm an idiot, I guess. Yeah, I have to go. Oh, there we go. Oh! Got really close. At least now I know how to speed up. Can I just restart? Yeah, you can go a lot faster if you roll first. That's good to know. Whoops. <laughs> Alright, so I clearly should have looked at instructions or something because I did not know why it was a button. It probably even mentioned it in the intro and I just wasn't looking. I've, spent this, I've been playing this whole game with just like... Whoop! Oh, I keep messing up that bit. Go fast, go fast! That is really hard to reach. I need to somehow make the speed. No! I pressed I pressed the button. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Honest. Oh god. No 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 no. Go up, go up! Ow! <laughs> this is embarrassing. Maybe I shouldn't roll there because it's making me overshoot the mark. Okay, just run normally here. Go on. Oh, okay, you can go around it like that. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Alright, we'll give this like a couple more goes and then we'll probably uh, call it. I presume this demo doesn't have a ending as such. Oh, well, where am I going? I haven't even done the second one yet. I'm just going to restart the level. I like how the pool stuff looks very Rugrats. Yeah. Probably a very bad imitation of that, but hopefully you get what I meant. <laughs> That almost makes me reach it. Ah, got it! Right. <gasps> oh, that was close. Right, now i just got to do this bit again. About dying. This nasty bit of platforming. Or slightly nasty part. Not too bad. Right, now i just got to get out of here. Woo! Alright, and then just grab those last three. Yay! Yay! New record! Ah, oh, I think I've got two hours on the body. You play three games. 
Alright, so the only one of these I haven't beat is... Wait. This time zero? Ah, I think that was the only one I didn't beat, wasn't it? I think. Full version has over 50 stages. Ooh. So this is like... 10% of the game? No. Yeah, maybe 10% of the game, something like that. Percent. Yeah, so that's uh, Panic Porcupine. That's going to be on Steam very soon. I'm going to just pop up a browser and just have a look when it's coming out. So this should be out very soon, if not already. Oh, release date to be announced. Oh, okay, so it doesn't quite have a release date just yet. Oh, even at full price, probably rolls like £4.80, so that's not bad at all. And then, yeah, this one's not quite ready just yet, but will be sometime soon. Right, while I uh, set up the next game, I'm just going to put a very quick add on just to make sure it doesn't play an ad in the middle of the game like last time. We don't want that happening again. So I'm just going to play a quick, uh, quick, quick little break, quick little thing. Right, so I should be back. I'm gonna have something to drink and then I'm gonna put a, pop another indie game on, something quite different this time. So we've been playing a lot of uh, platformers, in fact, we've pretty much all been <laughs> exclusive, exclusively playing platformers where you play as marsupial, uh, like camels with spikes that roll around. <laughs> so let's, let's. Time for a turn to pace! Time to jump. Yeah, that was a terrible impression. Uh, let's let's play something else. I'm going to play this one called uh, Lunas... Lunasters? L L L L if I can pronounce it. It's a shmup, so... We'll play that instead. At least I think it's a shmup, if it's the one I pick the right one. Just grab that, get that into the thing. It would help if I could pronounce things. Oh wait, no, this is something else entirely. Okay, it's not a shmup. We're going to play another platformer. <laughs> I'm getting the game's names confused. I thought this was something else. But this is a fantastic game. I'm really looking forward to showing this one. This is a very cool 3D, 3D platformer in the style of like a PS1 game. This is actually quite excellent so I'm kind of glad I put I, I wrote this one down as the next one to play figured it was something else but I'm glad I'm playing this anyway because this game's great uh, well, I'm just gonna tinker with some options just a real quick I can find my mouse there it is let's just uh, put it on full screen there we go it filled. Yeah, we don't want a CRT, it's fine. And there's a 20 frames per second mode, kind of like that Star Fox style game that came out recently. Um, yeah, I think I'm good. <laughs> I think I'll stick to... Uh... I was curious about this one, so it's nice to see you play it. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, I didn't actually write this one down thinking it was this game, but I almost forgot about this one, but I do remember playing it for like... 10 seconds just to test that it worked with the controller and be like that's good that's real good <laughs> yeah so this one is there is a tutorial but i'm just gonna go straight in we're just gonna go straight in this is a very very rad little 3d platformer so there's three levels here i'm not sure if we'll be able to play all three in this demo but we will uh jump straight in shrine home like i played this for literally 
three seconds and was like, yep, this is great, I will buy this. <laughs> like, it doesn't take long for me to know I'm going to like a game, and this literally started in like three seconds. I was like, yep, yep, <laughs> sold, <laughs> sold. <laughs> it didn't take long, it didn't take long. You're collecting little um, origamis, which is cute as hell. Oh, let me know if the... Uh... Oh, God, the debate's continuing. <laughs> this hedgehog think. Oh, look at these bouncy dudes. Look at these bouncy dudes. Show them how to kill them, really. They're quite cute. And bounciness. Maybe we can zoom in a little bit. Yeah, definitely, like... Going for that sort of PS1 aesthetic, but without all the shakiness of PS1 textures like jumping around all over the place. And they're definitely going for like a uh, Japanese mythology, like yokais, and I presume this character is a maybe a Tanuki? I'm not 100% sure. Or fuck, some kind of like Kitsune. Got a double jump. Got this attack. I think that's all your moves so far. Oh, what's this? A book? Collectible? H. I got a H. I'm not sure what a H does, but I got it. Oh, I see. I might be spelling out something in the top right, uh, top left there. Hydrosity is not a word. Yes, it is not. <laughs> Absolutely correct. You're one of us. One of us. Tame crumpets for you, if I could give them. <laughs> I'm not sure how that works, actually. I have to look into the whole... Uh... Oh, God. I don't know why, but this gave this bit gave me horrible flashbacks of that level in Crash Bandicoot. Just this bit here. I don't know why. <laughs> ah! No! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that! <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about that Crash Bandicoot level so much that I just did what you do in that level all the time. <laughs> well, it's cool. Looks like um, I'm back where I was, pretty much. Yeah, this just feels really good. Like, it feels immediately great. But these are like Donkey Kong. Uh... Oh, no! No! <laughs> <laughs> Why do I keep doing that? On the bridge, yeah, 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 the bridge. That horrible bridge in there. I forget which Crash Bandicoot it was in, but it was in one of the PS1 ones. The music's really banging as well. Did I get the collectible? I did, didn't I? Yeah, I seem to still have it, so. Sound design's really good. I like how when you collect the things in a row, they, the, their pitch gets slightly higher each time. I like it. I like that you can see the entire level in the distance, which I guess is like a... It was an option, wasn't it? Filled a few. I could have turned that off. Oh, I think there's more stuff up there, actually. Maybe I should... <laughs> the only thing I'm finding quite scary is the fact that it is lots of tiny platforms in a bottomless pit. <laughs> This whole level is a bottomless pit with some small platforms dotted around. It's a bit scary. But, the controls are just the right amount of floatiness. They've got just about the right amount of floatiness to them where you feel like you've got plenty of control over where you land. So, I don't... The times that I'm falling off the level are just me being, a, being silly, I think. N no fault of the game. I just keep slipping off the edges. Good. But yeah, of the indie games that have been at this year's Sage, this was definitely the one that I didn't even need to play for like, um, I didn't even have to play it for 10 seconds to know I was sold. <laughs> like, I was sold immediately. Just, just the game feel is immediately there. I'm not sure how far away this game is from coming out, but I'm pretty sure they already have a Steam page for it, I think. I'll have to double check that. But, again, kind of hoping this one comes to Switch. Ah, I did it again! <laughs> oh, God. Um, what I really like about trying out uh, demos at Sage Expo is 
later finding that they actually come out on consoles and they get like limited run releases, kind of like a throw gun. I think it was last year or the year before when a throw gun was at Sage, and then this year it just came out physically on limited run games. It came out on the Switch and the PS4 and 5. It's like a legit thing, you know? It feels. I mean, obviously it was a legit thing, but it feels even more legit when it's on consoles, if that makes sense. I just realised those triangle green monsters on the ground are... Yes, they are. They're like yokai umbrellas. They're like the umbrella yokais that you'd see in games like Pocky and Rocky and... Cool stuff like that. <laughs> right, so we've got another at here. At 2. Oh yeah, it is straight up at 2. I, I was just saying that, but I didn't realise it was actually put as at. It's just so pretty. Like, I feel like the PS1 32-bit aesthetic is kind of getting overdone lately. Like, I feel like too many games have been doing it, especially of the horror variety. This isn't a horror game, thankfully, because there's been way too many horror games in that PS1 aesthetic. But I feel like this is doing something kind of different with it, I'd say. Mainly because it's not got any horror, ele horror elements to it, at least not yet, unless it's going to surprise me later. Suddenly go creepypasta, like, um, what's that other game called? Um, it's, it's, it's names that escape me right now, but it was another, like, platformer in this style. With a little chicken, which is also on the Switch for, like, ATP, <laughs> like, full price. Tori, Tori, Tori 3D, that's what I'm thinking of. Far cry from the times where everyone made fan games in Click and Crate and they never finished. Yeah, exactly. Not only are we getting like complete Sonic fan games nowadays, but we're also getting these these fan game developers move on to make like indie games that they can actually sell on consoles. It's it's really cool. I don't know if this developer previously worked on. Uh, oh, there's some stuff over here too. I didn't realise I could jump on these. I thought these might just be decoration. But they are actually platforms. Oh, I love that you can just see everything in the distance. That's fun. And I think the thing I like about this aesthetic as well is it runs easily on my computer without making the fans kick off. <laughs> I had to buy a, um, a stand that has like fans in it for the bottom of my laptop recently just to stop it from overheating. Because it had been getting really hot lately. Right, where am I going? Am I going that way or this way? I'm going to go this way because there's more over here. I mean, I would say this is probably a little bit easier at the moment. I, I assume it's going to get harder in later levels. It is quite a cakewalk so far. Outside of me occasionally falling off the level, but... Like, like that. <laughs> exactly like that. <laughs> Oh, okay, I guess I was supposed to be going this way. Sometimes when I respawn, I'm not quite sure where I've ended up. But that's a minor thing. Oh, that's more my fault than the games. Oh yeah, there's those platforms again. Back over those again. Ooh. Oh. Oh, okay, I guess I wasn't supposed to go up here. For some reason I thought there was more up here, but just collect balls if I remember rightly. Music's really nice. Oh yeah, I came from that way, didn't I? Yeah, that was where the checkpoint was. So I didn't want to go back that way. Ooh. Don't hit these. Nah. I was hoping I could hit the crystals and then make a satisfying ching noise, but... Remember that game you streamed a few years back? That was an arcade Pac-Man style game, Amelin. It's just out on Steam now. Yes, it is. I really need to grab that. I was kind of hoping a Switch version would come along because then I could play it in Tato mode. But I could technically play it on Tato mode on this on this monitor that I'm using right now. Because I do have a monitor that can rotate. Or Tato. You want to be a weeb? But yeah, I, sh I need to pick that game up. I loved that. <laughs> that Pac-Man style game. That was like a platformer. That really cute, like, um, sort of like Splunking Girl. That was really sweet. And, like, the snakes looked almost exactly like the ghosts from Pac Man, but there were snakes. Quite on the nose, but 
that game was really fun. Uh, throw Gun's another one I still want to grab, probably on the Switch actually. You know, I heard there are some slight performance issues with the Switch version, but minor stuff from what I heard. But there was a limited run release for it, and I was tempted. But it's just the import charges for limited run games are so expensive now. I have to really, really want the game <laughs> from limited run now than to buy it from them. I was kind of hoping it would get a retail release just in general. Maybe it will. Um, oh, move slow. Ah, okay. So with the shoulder button, you can move slower, which I guess is for more precise platforming. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Make sure I don't under jump, please. Under jump? That's a term. I just did it. Because <laughs> obviously, if you try to jump these the normal way, you're going to overshoot it all the time. Yep. So, yeah, you're going to be a bit slower. Because I don't underdo it. <laughs> I should stop talking. <laughs> I should stop talking. Because every time I say I should not do a thing, I do a thing. I do it. <laughs> Yeah, the import charges have gotten a bit too absurd now. It's just too expensive to buy from them now, unfortunately. I used to buy quite a few games for them because I like having physical versions of games, especially if they're ones I know I'm going to cherish forever, you know? <laughs> like when they put out Scott Pilgrim, I bought that, so I was like, well, I've always wanted to own a physical version of that game, so... I've always wanted to own that. Come on, we can do it. No! <laughs> Bum hates. Do I need to go up here or is this an, an alternate thing? Is this like the end of the level? It's not just slow walking. I'm just gonna go quicker because it's quicker. <laughs> I'm gonna fall off all the time. Yeah! Oh! Wait, yeah, I could double jump back on if I'm. If I, hold, if I don't double jump. What am I doing? No! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry guys, I'm doing so poorly at this. I just want to get up here! Just let me up! Just let me fly up there. I, I, can, I can fly, right? I can use my big tail and spin it around like tails, right? Ooh, close, close, close. Alright. No! <laughs> oh god. Is this an alternate route or is this the route? I'm gonna double check. Is that. What's up there? Oh, it's just a collectible. You know what? <laughs> I give up. <laughs> I rage quit. I wonder if I can do that and then double jump. Oh, I can. Sweet. So I'll go smack, double jump. Okay. Nice. I wasn't sure if uh, attacking would get rid of my double jump, but it doesn't, so... Oh god, there's more tricky platforming over here. No! 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 <laughs> oh god, I'm so bad at this. I've never liked bottomless pits in video games. I was found them to be a bit but when it when an entire game is designed around them then I don't mind it so much like Super Monkey Ball that's obviously designed around navigating a maze in, in a void and this seems to be deliberately in that style too go 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 did that only count as two deaths? Oh, I suppose it did. Tory gates. Yep, plenty of Tory gates. Ooh, we got a new world. Nice. Nice. Alright, just gonna quickly check. New phone. Cherry Tea's at work today, so. I might have to end this stream when she's on her way back so I can go pick her up. But hopefully we can get through quite a few games. Or I could maybe just go on a break maybe. Depends what time she finishes. Not actually going to... 
not actually sure when she's going to finish until it's done, basically. Beach Summer. Beach Summer. This is just so gosh darn pleasant. I was kind of hoping there would be a uh, different enemy to- oh. <laughs> oh, well, the water's, um, that's some Sonic 06 water. Yeah, this game's definitely, um, based around bottomless pits, because even this water is a bottomless pit. Noted. I just thought I might be able to jump back out of it, but I guess not. I'm starting to wonder if this game is going to actually introduce some new mechanics. I think that would be cool. Because it is quite simplistic. Not in a bad way, but there's... I was kind of hoping maybe like a new move would be introduced. It's, oh! Well, there's... That, that's a thing. That's... You're getting... You're starting to add some stuff. Yeah, you're adding some stuff. Some bouncy things. You're starting to add some new... Uh, some new gimmicks. That's what I was looking for. I was just looking for some new gimmicks. New, new types of platform and maybe some new moves at some point, like a slide or I don't know. This might be re oh oh god! <laughs> well done. <laughs> oh no, my feet got wet. I'm gonna sink immediately into the water. Should we go for that again? It just makes nice noises, man. Just weep, weep. This is just an aesthetically pleasing game. And yeah, it feels really good too. It's just nice to control. Any me falling off isn't the fault of the game, it's just me being rubbish at games. No! <laughs> I think the collectibles save, so. Yeah, they do. I have my collectibles, so I don't need to go back up there. Let's go for this this time. Whee! She sort of T poses while she's in it. Yeah, yeah it's definitely giving me vibes of uh, Tori. I actually would be surprised if this was by the same developer. I don't think it is, but it's definitely giving me vibes of. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. Oh, we're underwater now. Really. I wonder if I can drown. And then bits. Oh god. I didn't realise you could cancel out of that so quickly. Ooh. That was a bit scary. Ooh. Whoa. Going super high. Like all the little origamis. Oh, I got the what is spelling out? I'm spelling out the character's name or something. Oh, that's the way I came from. I go this way, right? Oh wait, isn't that where I went? Whoops. I think I've already been this way. Oh, over there, perhaps? Yeah. Whee! Oh, it's taking me back to this bit. Uh, I guess that's just off the beaten path. Oh god. Tiny platforms. Whee! Oh, get off here, I guess. Yeah, there's lots of like little extra alternate routes to find more collectibles off the beaten path, which is which is nice. Not just a straight line to the exit. Yeah, I think I'm spelling out Nana or something. Nana Land. Yeah, that's what I'm spelling out. Get there, I'm enough of those. My depth perception is not the best, you see. <laughs> I'm gonna. That's my. That's my excuse. I'm not always the best at depth perception. 
Also, I think the uh, shadows in this game are not directly below you. They're sort of like based on the lighting. So that's probably throwing me off a little bit as well. Yeah, they are. Oh god, you see all that stuff over there? Well, I want to get that. Tiny trees. Nana! I spelt Nana. I presume that's the character's name. Spelt her name. Joe! Joe! This is really fun. I really like this. I'm officially sold. Hannah or Nana? It might be Hannah. <laughs> Ooh, there's. <gasps> theme park! Yeah, we're going to the theme park. So there's one act from the uh, desert, le uh, like beach level, and then we've got theme park. Hell yeah. Good lights. Kind of hoping for a bit more enemy variety, I guess, as well, in the final game, I guess. I kind of feel like every level has the same enemies, but it depends on the scope of this platformer, really. Because, like, for example, Tori was an incredibly small project. I think it started as, like, a game jam, technically, and then it just got released on the Switch for, like, 80p. 80, I think it was 89p full price. So if you want a good little PS1-style platformer, and there's a sequel as well, which has some extra content as well. So, and they're both 89p. This is good. I like the balloons. But yeah, it depends on the scope, really. It depends if they're trying to make a massive 3D platform or just like a little, a little one. Yeah. We boost pad. Either way, this is just a joy to play. I don't actually want to put this one down, kind of thing. Oh god. I thought these were gonna... I don't know why, but I just assumed these hoops were gonna, like, make me boost through them or something. I'm, I'm thinking in Sonic terms again. I'm just assuming everything's gonna be Sonic adjacent. Just because it's that Sage, but it's not. <laughs> but, oh yeah, that hoop thing is gonna make me shoot forward, isn't it? It's like, nope. No, no, no! No, 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 no! Hannah means flower in Japanese. Ah, yeah, so that's that'll be it then. <laughs> I'm going to give that one more go. I'm going to give the balloons one more go. The balloons and the hoops. Yeah, that would make more sense than Nana. No! <laughs> oh, God. I'm so bad at platforming in 3D. Especially in 3D. Yeah, let's move on. We've got lots of games to check out. Ooh, speedy bit. Oh, oh, hello. Whee! This is so good looking. Ow, I didn't see that enemy at all. The Sonic adjacent misleading environmental traps. <laughs> yeah. That's that's me. That's on me though. That's not on the game. That's that's just me playing a bunch of Sonic fan games and then moving on to something else and being like, oh yeah, that looks like a Sonic thing. That probably behaves like a Sonic thing, and then being surprised when it doesn't. <laughs> it's the it's the tonal whiplash of going from a, a Sonic game to a, a not Sonic game, I suppose. A similarly, like like what happened with Panic Porcupine, where I just assumed down would be rolling, but it turned out to be a button. I didn't realise I could roll until the last level. Like again here, I'm thinking, oh yeah, you can, it's, it's like a grind rail. You can just like press a shoulder button or something to switch sides, but nope. Ooh, there is a loop de loop though. So they know what they're doing. No! I missed the... Ah! I missed the booster! <laughs> I jumped like a fool. 
Yeah, most of the difficulty in this comes from like the platforming rather than the enemies and stuff. The enemies are just kind of fodder. The shoulder buttons do jump low, but it's just a normal jump. You can't like quick turn. Oh yeah, even shows it. You can't see it, but in the bottom right corner it will show. That, oh, this bit, you don't need your controller. Oh, I almost did it again! <laughs> I almost did it twice. That's the level. I think that's all the levels of the demo. At least I assume so. Right, so... We have played four games <laughs> in two and a half hours. Thank you for playing. I definitely like this. Right, I'm going to have a look at the Steam age real quick. I just want to see if it has a release date yet. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well done. So this one is coming soon. Is that so? Sockfembermus. Sockfembermus 2022? Is that a different language? What is that? Release date, Sock, Socked Fembermus. Is that like another language for something? Am I logged in? Ah, I'm not, I'm not logged into Steam at the moment. Remind me later to wish list that, I guess. Sock, Sock, I might look that up. Sock Fembermus. It was like S O C T. S O C T. The then socked emberness. <laughs> when I put in sock fembermus 2022 on Google, the first le the first result is this game on Steam. I don't know what that means. What the hell is a sock fembermus? You just made this term up. <laughs> What the heck is a sock fembermus? Explain yourself. It even says it on their website. I don't know what that means. Cute PS1 slash Sega Saturn inspired art style. Yep. Yep, every single result for that term is this game. So they made that up. They're making stuff up. They made me think that was like a language that I don't know. But it's not. <laughs> it's it's just something they made up. See, like I didn't even need a tutorial for that because that was just so immediately obvious what that was. Like you jump, you you attack. There wasn't anything complex, overly complex about that. I'm just curious if it will say like where the developers are from. That might help understand what's going on. Oh, Tori's in this game apparently. Look, it says guest character Tori. So Tori is playable in this game. I assume that makes so much sense. Well, it seems to it seems to suggest that. I wonder if, in, I wonder if Tori's in this demo. Oh, there's uh, some call me Johnny in the uh, special thanks. <laughs> I know that name. Literally everyone in the live stream community. <gasps> that includes me. Ah, oh, thank you for thanking me. Assuming you even know who I am. <laughs> November is probably a part of November. Must as in Christmas. All I'm not getting is the socked part. Yeah. So maybe they. Maybe it means like roughly the set. Like that sort of time period. Like sort of Christmas, November, December time. Maybe that's what they mean. Yeah, maybe, but okay. Let's um, bring up something else. Right, we're gonna go back to some Sonic games for a moment, and for this bit, we're gonna have to crack open an emulator for the moment because I don't have any means of doing this on actual hardware at the moment. Oh, set. Oh yeah, that could be it. Sept September, October, Sept. 
You're probably right. That has to be it. That has to be it, doesn't it? Sock t Yeah, okay. They probably... <laughs> They probably should have explained that. <laughs> That's, um, most people are going to look at that and be like, what? You what, mate? But, okay, yeah, when you think of it that way, yeah, end of the year was my, my guess too. Right, so we're going to open up a emulator. Because these two Sonic fan games run on a console. I'm not going to spoil what console straight away. All right, let's make sure that's coming up on here. Yeah. See if I can grab it as yeah, it. Pop through in a sec. All right, let's open the ISO. All right, so we shall put on. We'll put this one on first because this is pretty short. That should pop up. Or I'll make sure it's uh, the right resolution. So, this is a Sonic fan game being developed for the Sega Saturn. This is running on a Saturn, technically. That That is a Sega Saturn FMV of the Sage logo. <laughs> oh no, it's not Super Cream 64, but I should really get that one. I should actually get that one for the next stream, maybe, but I haven't got an N64 emulator currently. So yeah, this is a attempt to recreate Sonic Extreme on the Saturn. There have been other projects like this in the past, including Sonic Said Stream a couple years ago, maybe even last year. But this, as far as I can tell, is the closest we have got to a actual Sonic Extreme. Yeah, the controller stuff all working. So I can put the fisheye on or off. Um, I'm definitely keeping it on because that's the whole point. Uh, hopefully the sound levels are not too low. So I can have either sprites, or I could have a Sonic Jam model, or I can have Condor? I'm not really sure what that is. You know what, I'm going to pick that just to see what it is. So yeah, um, this is actually running. If you have the means to play homebrew stuff on a Sega Saturn, you can actually play this on a Sega Saturn. That's kind of the point. But, yeah, as you'll see, this is... I don't know if you've seen videos of this on Twitter, but one element of this in particular is wild. I'll go into the levels first, because we'll, uh, there's some levels here. There's three levels. Uh, yeah, four levels. So, we'll pop into it. Hopefully it's not jumping around too much. The audio sounds a little bit jumpy. Also, it might be a bit quiet. Is it a bit quiet for you guys? Shall I turn it up a little bit? It's a bit quiet on my end. Yeah, it sounds a little bit jumpy. Maybe it's the emulator struggling a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. That made it even more jumpy. Okay, I'm just going to leave it at that size because it's getting a bit jumpy, my emulator. So... Oh, backed out again. For some reason, the button that I assume is playing it is the opposite of playing it. <laughs> right. Oh, sorry if there's like some like weird noises. I think it's the emulator. Saturn emulation is still not quite perfect, but it's mostly there. But yeah, here we are. We're playing Sonic Extreme on the Sega Saturn. It pretty much looks exactly how you would imagine that game to have been if it came out. No, the, the, the draw distance, even when you jump high up, is pretty ridiculous. Like, it pops out as soon as... Uh... But I bet you, if Sonic Extreme did... There was an alternate timeline where this game did actually come out. This is probably what it would have looked like, and people would have hated it, and it would have been rubbish, but... It's just amazing that someone's making this, honestly. Like, has actually managed to make... Because I know there was another project that was recreating this in, I think, Unity? But the fact that this is actually on the Saturn it is absolutely bonkers. I thought I picked the uh, Condor option, but it seems to have given me the sprites anyway. There's no music, unfortunately, but... Oh, look at that sun flare. Whoa, this fisheye is wild. Are the trees supposed to spin? I presume so. 
Yeah. Obviously, there's no music. Yeah. Oh dear, yeah. I think it's because I'm streaming, and w when I was playing this on its own, it was working perfectly fine. Oh, look at this weird bannock. Oh, he's dead now. He just had like a spike ball on his head, and he just looked kind of. Oh yeah, these trees are crazy. They're going wacky. I I just surprised no other game has attempted this fish eye fish eye lens effect. I can't think of any other video game that's attempted this. I could probably guess why. It's because it looks ridiculous and really hard to tell where you're going. And I just fell off the level. Yep, I fell off the level. As I say, this is very early builds. This isn't even close to a. Uh... We. I'm just gonna fall into the nothingness. Bye. Right, we should. Um... You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna quit out. I'm gonna. Oops. I'm gonna back out. I'm gonna try one of those other options again. So you can turn the fish eye off, but I feel like that's part of the charm. If that makes sense. That's what Sonic Extreme is all about. It's about its weird fisheye lens that, yeah, as far as I know, no other game has attempted. Oh, I did pick Condor. Yeah, right, let's go with Jam R this time. Try that. Ah, uh, the good old unfinished level infinite drop. Yep. Let's try a different level. Because there's an ice level, there's a city level. There's like the lava level, and then I'm not going to spoil what the last thing is because that's the be the most impressive thing about this. It's insane that this is on this that the last thing that's on this. Uh... Is there a spin dash? No, I just have to sort of. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> I've already fallen off the level again. I can just restart, so that's something. Yeah, all right. I guess they didn't want me to go that way. As I say, this is incredibly early. Even getting this thing running as well as it does was probably an absolute Herculean task. And yeah, unfortunately, my emulator is kind of struggling a little bit. So sorry about the sound being a little bit um, a real cruel world. Yeah, apologies about the very echoey funky sounds, but that's just the emulator struggling to run while I'm streaming, I guess. Oh, the uh, points thing work. That's cool. What is that? Oh, it's a key. It's a giant key. Well, I've got the giant key. I'm going to try out all the different levels. As I say, I don't think any of these levels are like complete. Oh, this band looks cute. It's just a spike ball with eyeballs. Can I jump on it or is it going to hurt me? Oh, no, it's got no collision whatsoever. Okay, fair enough. As I say, super duper early build. I'm not even sure how long this has been in development for, but I can't imagine it's very long. Also, I just noticed the option for the jam model didn't work again. I'm really nervous to go forward just in case I fall off the level. <gasps> There's an end! And it's, it's just straight up a Mega Drive signpost. That's cute. Yay, I beat the level. Now what? Oh, it did actually end. Okay, cool. Now I'm out of here. <laughs> hey, so the levels do actually have an end then. That's good to know. They are technically complete. But yeah, I can kind of... S this kind of emphasises why this game got cancelled, if that makes sense. Like, it's kind of confusing to know where to go. It's quite easy to get lost. The fisheye thing does look hella cool, but it's also very... It can be a bit confusing. It's just like a really extreme field of view, so, so you can sort of see more of what's around you, kind of. But it's also distorted. That you just kind of... Uh, uh, have I got a triple jump? I think it's a triple jump. Right. Oh no, it is, a, it is a double jump, okay, fair enough. And then when you're going like around just a straight line like this, it can be very confusing. Oh god. 
Because I think like Jeff Gers Jeff Gersman may have actually seen this at E3. Like and they actually I don't know if they I think they had playable builds and I think he, I recall Jeff Gersman saying about him playing this and it just felt awful and it was just like really confusing and it just pop up everywhere. So this is pretty accurate to what that demo was probably like. To be honest. It's wild though. I, I, I do appreciate someone making this, even if, you know, this game was cancelled for a reason. You know, it was definitely cancelled for a reason. Oh, hello. Stuck in a box. Oh no, I'm alright. This is running at a pretty good... Pretty decent frame rate. I think that's the frame rate in the bottom corner, like the 30, I assume. I assume that's the frame rate. Maybe that's points. Oh, he's off again. God, that lens flare, man. <laughs> Someone had fun in Photoshop. Alright, we're going to try a different level. There's one more level to uh, mess around in. And then we'll go to that bottom option. Like the fact that these levels are pretty much exactly as they were in what little footage we have. Oh, this level looks a little bit like, um, what was I saying? There's no proper level yet, sorry. Oh, well, at least they, at least they let me know. <laughs> so this is just a test area, I guess. There's no, ooh. Oh, okay, well that did something. That was cool. That was fun. Wee, push me. Wee. What was the other end of that? So this is just that for now, I guess. I presume. Oh god, that's the end of the level. <laughs> we can get on this and we can go. Wee. All right. Well, that's that. Right. Let's go on to the bottom option. So I don't know if any of you guys have seen. Or, like screenshot, I presume you have probably seen screenshots and early footage of what this game was. There was going to be boss fights with like Metal Sonic and Nat the Weasel, playing the Sniper, whatever. But this is an attempt to recreate one of those bosses and it is crazy. I can't, oh, I pressed the wrong button again. <laughs> I keep pressing the wrong button and backing out. That's the button I want. I want the B button on my controller. Alright, here we go. Just a warning, this boss is quite tough, but the fact that this is running on a Saturn, to me, by someone completely from scratch, is insane. Look at that! It's like a proper cutscene, with a proper 3D model and everything. Oh, now I'm the Sonic Jam model, apparently. Oh, I died already. So the only thing about this boss is every time you die you have to watch this little cutscene every time. But it's so impressive. There are rings in this level, I just need to remember where they are and stop dying. <laughs> this happened to me the first time I played this, I just kept dying to that attack before I could find any rings. The rings are sort of over there somewhere. You have to jump a lot earlier than you think you do. Ah, there they are. Alright, I've got some. He actually kind of attacks you just like in like Sonic the Fighters, it's really impressive. That's us some more rings. Like he shoots little um, cork guns at you. Oh, when you lose rings they just kind of disappear. Gotta grab some more. Ah! Yeah, he like attacks you with all these Sonic the Fighters moves. Ah, he murdered me good and proper. So yeah, if they can like recreate the like Metal Sonic boss in this as well, that'd be incredible. This always was the most impressive looking thing about the original game. Like these uh, 3D bosses. They were like big models. For some reason they're really huge. Like Metal Sonic is like a monster. Oh Christ. This is very difficult. I apologise. If you haven't got any rings, you just die almost immediately. Uh, uh, get the rings. They all seem to be in this corner, so... Yeah, got it. Alright, let's step back. Oh, Christ. Yeah, you really have to jump a lot earlier than you expect for that. Oh, it's gonna get me again! No! 
Quick, 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 quick. Find the rings. Where are the rings? Ah! Yeah, every time you get hit by that, like, wave, it's a lot, uh, the hitbox on it is kind of harsh. Like, it hits you long before it looks like it's gonna. Yeah, see what I mean? I don't know if you can tell, but, like, it hits you long before it looks like it's actually touching you. You have to be very quick on it. Yeah, you pretty much have to jump the second you see it moving. Right, I need to grab some rings quick before you start shooting these pellets at me. There we go. Ah! As you can tell, the game's kind of struggling to run. I don't know if that's the emulator or uh, the game itself. It could be the game, because you've got to imagine. Programming for the Saturn's not easy, guys. It's not easy. It's not an easy system to program for. There's a reason the homebrew scene for this hasn't really kicked off until very recently. Oh man, these animations are really good, though. Like his kick where his foot comes out big and... Oh god, quick, 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 get some rings. Yeah. Ah! Did that again. No, 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 no! This rings. Nah! <laughs> Alright, I'm not going to keep playing this boss over and over. I don't know if he can actually be defeated or not. I presume maybe he can. Yeah. Yeah, the fairy in like slowdown and frame rate is making this a little bit difficult to time as well. Ooh, I have it. I presume I only have to hit him like three times or something. I can get him. Ooh, there he goes. Oh god, he's doing that again. Careful, careful, careful. Go get the rings. I like how Sonic's pupils sort of melt through his face a little bit. They're like not quite together. That's clearly like the Sonic R model, isn't it? Like that Sonic. Right, I've got him twice now. Right, don't collect too many rings, because as soon as you lose any rings, you, you, they just drop to zero anyway. Right, come on, do the foot thing. There you go. Oh god, he's doing that again. Go, 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 go. Get away, get away, get away. Where are the rings? No, I need the rings! Where are the rings? Damn it, I forgot where they were. I can't see them. Right, let's try and hit him once. No! <laughs> Alright, I'm going to stop. But, you get the idea. That's a... Uh, that's a tough boss, man. Well, okay, it gets all pixelated when he pulls it. Or, you know, more pixelated. <laughs> Ooh. Right. So we have another... Um, we do actually have not one, but two Saturn games to uh, show off, and all the other one is considerably less work than this one, but it's still really impressive that people were making Sonic fan games for the friggin' Saturn, man. Okay, we're going to boot this one up as well. So this one's incredibly early. This is like primordial soup form right now. I'm, I'm pressing the right stick as if that's going to do anything. There's a cute little bannock down here. Whoa. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can I can see him. I use the shoulder. Oh, the shoulders like turn off the scenery. He looks like a Pio Pio, kind of. But yeah, this is... The frame rate's a little bit smoother in this, but only just. This is incredibly early stages at the moment. This is literally just a little test area with no sound. And jump. And that's kind of your lot. <laughs> that's kind of all there is to it. I can tell it's using the uh, the BDP, I forget which one, but the one that does like the infinite floors that was used in like Panzer Dragoon. I can tell it's using the BDP one for that stuff, and then the platforms are obviously... Oh, there's a loop up here, so if we can uh, run around it, at the very least. Whoa! What did I just do? The physics got a bit funny there. <laughs> Crazy to think now, fans, indie devs are actually figuring out how to program for the Saturn. Yeah, exactly! It's bonkers. Like, they could be making Dreamcast games or something, or Mega Drive games, I guess, but they're 
there are people out there dedicated enough to try and to finagle the Saturn into doing something. There is actually a couple like indie games being developed, including like I think a visual novel and some other stuff for the Saturn as well. Like maybe even a platform, like a two D platformer. And now that uh, Sonic Mania has de been decompiled, some people are actually considering attempting. I can't imagine how easy that would be. It would probably require a lot of reprogramming and making it 4 by 3 and doing all kinds of stuff, like performance stuff. But if someone can somehow get Sonic Mania running on the actual Sega Saturn, because that's kind of what the game's inspiration was. Let's see if we can get on this loop. Ah, that's really hard to reach. I'm hoping I can get up there. Ooh. Yeah, it's showing these games don't really have any sound as such yet. But then, you know, just getting the basics down is a... Uh... Oh, I got it, I got it. No, no, I fell off. Ah, I wanted to go around the loop. I want to see if the loop is loopable. Is that too much to ask? I just want to see if the loop is loopable. I want to know if you can run around the loop and you'll run around the loop. Like, in some fashion, whether it will be scripted or... Like, you actually go around it physic physically. Is that the polygon count? 491. I think it's running at 10, I think. Right. You can see some stuff on the side. About... I can't really control the camera either, so that's kind of not helping. If I could, like, move the camera side to side, I could line it up a bit better. But yeah, there was also, it was, I don't know if it was last year or the year before, but there was another Sonic project. I don't know if it's by one of the same developers. But, oh, got a bit weird there. Alright, well, I think you get the idea. Let's see if we can just run forever. Oh, off he goes, into the horizon. Yeah, mm, fucking go. I wonder if you just fly up into the distance. Just... Yeah. there a wall there? Does it just keep going? It looks like he's, it looks like he's still going, I think. Into the non-existent sunset. Oh, okay, he just comes straight back. I think there must be like an invisible wall somewhere because he's not like going much further than that. Alright, well, you know. <laughs> I just wanted to show that off because I just think it's really cool that people were pulling this off. There is another game that I, if I do a second stream, I'm definitely going to try and get working. Uh, someone's working on a port of Sonic Adventure to the Nintendo DS, and it actually works on a DS. Uh, there is a NDS ROM for it, so I really want to try that out as well, but obviously I'm going to have to get a DS emulator before I can show that off. But I really want to try that too. But yeah, we'll move on. We will pop on something else. I'm going to go back to some... Uh, actually, I might play some... Oh yeah, I know what I'll do next. So we just played some Sega Saturn look at, like actual Sega Saturn homebrew. But now let's play a indie game... No, not an indie game. A Sonic fan game that has the aesthetic of a Saturn game or more so like Sega Model 2. So this was at Sage last year and it was like a Green Hill level and you ran around as Sonic but this year it's actually uh, I think it's the second level from Sonic CD and you play as Amy in this demo hopefully the controls will be all set up uh, let me just find that real quick where is it? it is Sonic AM2 Amy Edition wow that's loud Need to turn that one down. Also, I don't. Oh, oh yeah, I haven't actually put it on the thing yet. Probably hear it, but you probably can't see it yet. Amy edition. This one's full screen only, and I have to be clicked on it to have the sound. There we go. So yeah, this one's really loud in my ears. So hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. Let me know if it's too loud. I'll have to come back. Tweak that slightly. Yeah. This kind of stream is complicated to do, guys. It's uh, it's a lot. It's like ch the different resolutions and the different uh, 
volumes and all that kind of stuff. It's it's a lot to keep track of. It's, it, ta it usually takes me about two days to prepare for this kind of stream, just to make sure the games are working. Yeah, so just let me know if this is a bit too loud, and then I'll, uh, I'll um, do something else. For some reason my mic isn't... A uh, bit softer, please. Okay, cool. I'll bring it down by a few... Maybe there? Let's try that. Is that a bit better? Hopefully that's a bit better for you. Is the controller working for this? Yes, it is. Okay. Look at that cute Amy model! How cute is that? I like the, uh, isn't that artwork from like the IDW 30th anniversary comic in the corner as well, like the life icon. Whee! So this is made to look like sort of um, Sega Model 2. Ah, I just smashed that bin open. Oh yeah, if you go this way. Sploosh. No swimming allowed, Amy. No swimming allowed. No swimming allowed. Yeah, you can smash up the bins, which is hella fun. Uh, uh. This is very different from last year's demo. It's like a completely different game, but with the same graphics style. Oh, there's a banner. Oh, Collision Chaos. That's the zone that this is based on. You've got like a little target thing as well. You sort of do that. She doesn't control exactly like she did in a defense you, do, you don't have like that jumping thing. Ow, ow, ow. What's this? Oh. Oh, you can wall jump as well. You just gotta take note of these bayonets because they will home in on you from all over the place. Oh, sploosh. No swimming! I said no swimming! <laughs> How many times can you do that before it's like... I just know swimming! <laughs> yeah, I guess that's that. Uh, I lost a life. I like the little noises. There's like bandits in the bins as well. Oh, Jesus. Wow! Like, I haven't actually played that much off this demo. I just sort of tested it. But yeah, you can do the wall jumps. Mm, jumpy jump. It's not, it's not that Amy can't swim, it's just that she's not allowed to, you see. Ow! Come here. Whoa. Yeah, the camera's a little bit... Takes a little bit of getting used to. Oh, there's a switch there. Look at that. This is cool though, I really like this. I really liked the demo of this game last year as well, when it was just like a Sonic demo. It's just got a really nice aesthetic to it. Does it say I didn't get a chance to read it? Uh, yeah. uh, something about right tree. But... Oh, I see, you can pump them! Nice! Oh, that's what these are for. Uh... Uh, ow! Ow! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> this just escalates. Uh, swing him into the sky. <laughs> this is just in this is just fun. A little bit squirrely with like the camera and stuff, but. So even though this is going for like Model 2 aesthetic, it's got like really like modern lighting and like... Where's this song from? I recognise it, but I can't remember exact... I think it's from Sonic Adventure, maybe? Oh! Ah, it's one of those guys! Is he going to throw these little slices at me? I can't see! I can't see! Ah! Oh, he does as well. I really like the Banix, the, the Collision Chaos Banix being here. Sonic CD Banix are underrated as far as I'm concerned. Does that say? Ah, a little Metal Gear Solid noise. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Just making them spawn, aren't they? What's that say? 
RT also blocks stuff, but you knew that already, didn't you? Yeah. I didn't know that, but... <laughs> are you sure it... are you sure it blocks stuff? Oh. Ah, nice, you can knock them back. Just smack them into infinity, yeah, that was great. <laughs> the sprite of that bannock on the door as well. Mm. It's gonna run up this wall. Ah. Ow. Can I get over this door or do I have to unlock it somehow? I think I have to unlock it some way. You can also hit back some projectiles if you time it right. Oh, what does this one say? Uh, Amy probably needs a spin dash at some point, but she's not worried about it right now. I mean, otherwise she doesn't have one. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? She probably needs one, but she doesn't have one. Oh no, she died! Oh god! <laughs> oh boy, that was that was rough. Smashed into oblivion. Uh, don't get up there. Uh, oh god. Do that. Oh no, what's happened? Oh god! She's stuck in a. Oh, she's okay now. She's alright, she's okay. Yeah, she could do with a spin dash. Does Sonic had a spin dash. Oh, oh, I forgot she's got a wall jump, hasn't she? Yeah, maybe I can use that to get up there. No. I'm trying to get up there, because I think there's something up there. Am I missing something? I'm well into this low poly sort of Sonic the Fighters Model 2 look. I get up there. I presume I need to get up there as well. Oh, there's take that bin. Take that bin. There's a lot of bandits in that in that bin. really like the cut of this game's jib. I just wish I could get up there. Oops, let's just set that off again. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, there's definitely something up there. I think it might just be a ring box, but... There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, there was a life. Nice. I needed that because I didn't have any lives left. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm trying to figure out where I can go from here. Can I go over this gate? Example. Doesn't sound like any Sonic Adventure esque music I recognise. Ah, oh, no, I suppose not then. I definitely know it though. I just can't think what it's from. I definitely know it though. Oh, a little oof when I get hit. There must be some way to get over that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I made it. That. Bottom triggers are reserved for the Super Smash. Aim carefully, then release when the triangle lines up for a hit. Ah, bottom triggers. What do you mean bottom triggers? Oh, I have got a block. Oh, that's what I was doing earlier, wasn't it? Pickle! Oh, I get it now. It's like Furcher Cop. You've got to line them up with the uh, the arrows. Oh, hang on. I get it now. Took me a second to realise what they were talking about. But yeah, you've got to wait for them arrows to line up and then... I want to try and aim them this way, at that. Oh, I got it. Nice. 
Uh, oh god. This is fun. I like this. It's a little bit on the janky side at the moment, but, you know. 3D fan games are not easy to make, I shouldn't think. Break that box. Just over here. Oh, it's a. Uh, um, it's the. Um, the flower capsule from the end of the. Uh, can I get in there? Uh, probably not. No, nope, guess not. <laughs> Anything else here I can do? Or is that the. Is that the demo? Switch over here. Oh god. I'm not sure if I was meant to jump on this. Oh! Oh no! I fell off! Ah! Off she goes. Alright, I'm out of rings now. Gotta be careful now. I really need to know what this music's from because I definitely know it. I just can't think what. <laughs> Off the top of my head. Is this the end of the demo or is there more? Oh wait, this is a different door entirely. Ah, no, no, no! <laughs> oh, why did I do that? I just plummeted off. Play again? Yup. Yeah, why not? Oh, we're back at the start. Darn it. Right, I'm going to try and blitz through it. I want to see what else this has to offer because I'm really enjoying this. Uh. Ah, what? Oh, she died already. Oh, look at her little one! They're going to be like, ah! <laughs> this is tough. Look, it's if you lose your rings and then get hit again, that's it, isn't it? Just like Sonic games. Yeah, you know, like a Sonic game. Ugh, ugh. Oh, why did she jump that way? Oh, we'll jump. Ah! Oh, it's Bannock's just homing on you from all angles. Can't see. Ah! Don't don't you start? Go away. I'm not gonna set them off. Yeah. Move on. Some springs in there. I don't know if I can get to them. Nah. Uh, oh god. Those bandits, they just follow you everywhere. They just sneak up on you. What's the way out of here? And, uh, is it through there or this is gonna bug me all day where this music's from. I swear I know this. I just can't think why. It's like Toy Commander or something. I'll bugger it. <laughs> I thought I could maybe walk around it, but maybe not. I said no swimming! Oh god, I've been turned round. I'm at the start of the game again. I don't think the Bannocks have respawned, have they? Doesn't seem like it. Oh god. Oh boy. I think the wall jumping's a little bit janky. You'll be like touching the wrong wall, I think. There we go. I'm trying to remember how to advance past this bit. If you move even a little bit too fast, oh, maybe I have to do this. No, oh, my rings! Don't make me lose my rings! I need those. Let's figure out how to get. How did I get past this bit before? I actually can't remember. <laughs> hmm. I literally can't remember how I advanced to the next area last time. I think I just got lucky and jumped over at this or something. Can I jump on this? Ah. Maybe that's it, that's it. There we go. Oh, get the checkpoint, get the checkpoint. There we go. Right. I'm just gonna run over all of this. I can. Oh, 
How did I get over this before? I just got lucky, didn't I? Just sort of ran up here and then just did that. Yep, that'll do. So you have to sort of aim the camera in that direction. I can't really see this one. Oof. This is tough. I'm trying to aim this at that. Go on. But you have to be over this way, but the bandit's coming from the other direction. Hmm. There must be some way I can get that. Oh, hang on. What's this button here? What does this button do? Oh, it's another one. Oh, maybe that's what I was supposed to use to hit this button. Oh, God. No, 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 no. If you just stand on the button, they just keep spawning, so... I don't want to do that. There we go. Okay, I get it now. So you can aim after the fact. Because we'll aim and then... There we go, okay, I get it now. Smashed it. Ooh, look at all those different coloured rings. Get out of here! <laughs> Just flies into space. Oh, there's another one here. I don't know. I'm getting to hit that button all the way over there. Oh, no, not quite. Hmm. There must be something that opens that for you. Oh, we should be able to do it from here, right? Go on, hit the switch. Ah, I was too far away. Whee! <laughs> I just love watching them fly off. Yeah, because that one's really far in the distance. I don't think I'm supposed to be able to get to that one yet. What am I missing here? There must be something I'm missing here. So I hit that... Oh, I haven't been through here yet. Oh, that'll be it, yeah. Ha! <laughs> here you go. Mm. Oh, God. No, my pink rings! There can be any more bannocks so I can hit them into this. Oh, there's a few here. I can get him to come at me. Come at me! One. Ah, I just missed it. Oh, God! I didn't even see him. Ah, oh, I keep losing my rings. I need those. Hopefully this isn't too choppy on the stream, because it does look a little bit choppy on my end, but... Uh, hopefully it's not too bad. It's smooth when I'm playing it, but I'm just not sure if the stream's there. Uh... I could just run down here, I guess. Oh god! Robotnik Kelly. I can't see! No, they got me! Oh, she's down a little, little uh, hit bit again. Oh god, I'm all the way back here now. Oh wait, this is where I was actually, never mind. I was trying to get those bat things to follow you. Oh god, what? No! No! Ah, I fell off the level! <laughs> get on it! Right, let's get this back to... Ah, I just missed again. Oh, well, yeah I can... Ooh, grind! Oh god, I'm grinding on my hammer! Ah! Oh, that's scary. Oh, I did it, I did it, I did it. Ooh, ooh, stealth section, I think. Alright, we're almost there, Amy. One last battle. These are some heavy hitters, so you've got to choose. Do you favour combat or a more stealthy approach? Hmm, well, I've only got one ring. I could try stealth in it. These egg robos over here. Hmm, 
Oh, there's a couple boxes that says not Amy on it. Can I get in that? Oh, I hope so. Please, please let me get in that box. I want to get in the box. Oh, what's that say? Press E to... E? I mean E. E's a, let... E's a keyboard thing. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I need to do this. No, no, no! Ah, he spot me! Ah! Oh, God. Get in the box, get in the box. Letter E, right? <laughs> yes! Oh, no, he... He, he gave me away. Oh my god, this has stealth, I love it. Well, usually I hate stealth in games, but the fact that I can get in a little not Amy box is amazing. Could it be Ratchet and Clank music? Oh, maybe. That's what it kind of makes me think of. That's all it's reminding me of. I haven't really played enough of those to really know. What is going on over here? This bandit was just going wigging out. Right, get in the box, get in the box. Leave me alone, I'm just a box. I'm a box. I'm living in a box. I'm living in a cardboard box. I'm living in a box. Hey, what's this one? Can I touch it from here? Does it say? Door won't open. Try breaking stuff. That's what I'll do. Says the little telly thing. Try breaking stuff. Oh, I can attack while I'm in the box. That's awesome. Alright, well, I broke that. What else do I need to break? Can I break you? No. <laughs> I can't break the telly. The Knuckles Emerald Hunt hint thingies. It's just there. What's this? Can I go through this door? <laughs> I can glitch through it. <laughs> oh, that set him off, I think. <laughs> this is amazing, I love this. This is way better than last year's demo. Last year's demo was just like a... It was kind of a standard 3D platformer. But this is more interesting, I think. Uh, uh, have it! Have it! Oh god! What happened? Ah! <laughs> What's going on? I knocked him into space and then something else hit me. I'm, I'm scared. Uh, get out of here. There's a big red button! I asked to touch it. Oh god, I'm inside her head! Ah! <laughs> Don't do that! Generator. No. Oh, there was a generator, wasn't there, but... Oh, look at this! Look at this friggin' Sega AM2 ass, uh... No. Oh, keyboard arrows, okay. Look at this friggin' Sega AM2 initial screen. Yeah, beat that cat. Beat that various cats. I beat your game. Okay, that was fantastic. Oh my god. I really enjoyed that. It was a, it was a little bit janky, but then I kind of expected that, to be honest. I don't know why it's got like that Japanese... Uh, whatever. Right. Right, we played that. <laughs> Okay, I enjoyed that far more than I expected to, <laughs> compared to like last year's demo, which was like, it was just kind of like Sonic running around in Green Hill, and you could collect things, and that was kind of all there was to it. Oh, my neck. Alright, so what else have we got? Oh, we got loads. We got so many games. I might play uh, another fan game, but not a Sonic one this time. Uh, I'm just going to put on a quick ad break, just so I can stretch my legs and whatnot. So, see you in a sec. Right, so we're back. 
Welcome back. I'm eating crisps. I browsed through the... Ah, oh, I see. Audio file named Ratchet Amy. Ah, that could possibly be it. Yeah, you might be right. I definitely know that music. But I haven't actually played that much Ratchet in playing, so... I don't know how I know that song so well. Either way. That was cool. Hopefully my fans will calm down now. So I don't know if you can hear it, but the fans on my laptop are going crazy. But luckily, since I've got this little fan thing, thankfully it's staying pretty cool. Let me just double check. Yeah. Yeah, this fan thing I just bought that just arrived like two days ago. Is actually keeping my laptop quite cool despite how loud it is. Despite how sort of like intense that game was in terms of like making my uh, laptop chug pretty crazy. Right, so next up we are going to play because I just really fancy playing it. This is actually a complete game as opposed to a demo. Put this on. I'm going to play a Pac-Man fan game called Pac-Man Brothers and wow that yellow is the exact is almost the exact same shade of yellow as uh, my character so I'm kind of blending into it but yeah this is a Johnny and Louie Pac-Man but this is the Pac-Man Brothers I might actually turn that border off because that is an option yeah, I could try that Right, so I have to use an analog stick for this, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, full screen on. I could, I could just turn the side side art off. Boost. Nice camouflage. <laughs> yeah. So this is pretty much just straight up an arcade Pac-Man game, but it's the things it does, the unique things it does. Uh, if I can just remember how to actually start a game, that'd be cool. Button starts. <laughs> I can't remember. Put that. Hmm. Just try and remember what button <laughs> starts the game. Uh, restart the game. I just really like these designs for the ghosts, like this artwork that pops up. I think they're really cool. <laughs> like they've got like little jackets and weapons and things, and you'll see in the game as well. Look at that! Freaking inky, you look so badass. I'll put the volume up. I mean, there isn't actually much sound on this one, but. Oops. It also just disappeared as soon as I clicked away from it. Hang on, just a sec. I haven't actually got to any audio in this yet, so. Other than the boop, 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 boop. Get real DOS Pac Man clone vibes from this. How do I actually start a game? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Because all that seems to do is... There must be something like insert coin or something? I don't know. I, I definitely have played this, so... How do I start? Hmm. I literally can't remember how to start this. Is there a... A file like a txt or anything. Double check. Yes, there is. Right, I'll just double check because using controller. Ah, oh, I see. So even if you're using the controller, you have to use the keyboard to insert a coin. Okay, fair enough. All right. By that logic, oh, I'll have to press enter. There we go. Yeah, this game's quite quiet, so I'll bring the levels up. A wee bit. Alright, there we go. Hope that should be all set up now. Okay, I inserted a credit. Now what? <laughs> Why didn't it let me start still? Uh... Oh, and then I have to press 1. <laughs> oh man. Just, just let me press start on the controller. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> It literally says it on the screen. It, it it literally says it on the screen. <laughs> it says it right there. Press one or two for one player. Oh my god. 
I can't. I, I wasn't even looking at that. All right, here we go. Oh, this uh, music's from um, Pac-Man Arrangement. So what makes this game pretty damn cool for a Pac-Man game is you have a dodge move that like throws you forward or backwards, depending on which way you throw it. And you can sort of use it to thrust yourself towards the ghosts as well. So you can use it to evade them, but you can also use it to shoot towards them. Like that. Ugh. And there's loads of other mechanics to this that I haven't even figured out yet. If they get near you, you can just roll out, like dodge roll out of the way. Ugh. This is just this just feels really good. Ugh. That dodge is really useful. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> It almost makes you a little bit too invincible, but... Wow, I've really uh, just gone through all the power pellets way too quickly. The ghost behaviour seems pretty accurate to... Yeah, it's a shame I can't seem to use the D-pad. Oh yeah, when you, <laughs> when you die that happens, you actually get to see like the ghost attacking. Like a bit of artwork, and there's really weird artwork when you pick up a power pellet. Oh, I need to at some point plug my headphones in because they're starting to run a bit low. Oh, there's one more power pellet up here. Uh. Also, some of the ghosts turn into letters that you can use to spell out Batman. If we can beat a level with no power pellets, it's going to be tricky. Uh. 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 <laughs> oh, that dodge is so fun. Oh god, he's gotten angry. <laughs> no, no! He's like enraged. Right, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna just pause it real quickly because I need to hook my headphones up because they are running out of juice. Yes, a second. I'm running out of USB ports, I've literally got one at the back somewhere, I need to find it. Get in there! You just love when you're trying to plug something into a USB and it but they keep turning it around. Go on! Is a USB? Yes, please. There we go. Even all the stand thing uses a USB port, it has a USB port in it, so you don't technically lose one, which is handy. Right. Wow, if I can somehow miraculously beat this level. Oh! I just did. <laughs> nice. I just did. Yeah, the dodge is almost too powerful, but. I think the game is balanced around that by the levels being so big. Oh god. Whoops. <laughs> so you can get this one on, uh, itch I on itch.io and yeah obviously it's a freebie because it's a fan game technically. Hmm. For some reason this happens sometimes. Oh god. <laughs> Wow, I'm, I'm not playing a good game of Pac-Man today. Obviously if you dodge you also miss the uh, dots as well. Shut up. Oh god. <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah, this is definitely balanced around the fact that you have a dodge move. See you! See you! A high score, I smell. Oh, how do I. Uh...
So apparently I can play as one of the two brothers. So let's try two, just to get a different brother, just in case they're different in some way. Five lives. Don't know if there's a difference, but... I do like this way. I'll have to make this Tarte if I can. I don't know if it had any uh, rotation options. I presume it did. Hold on. Get away. Uh. Uh. Get away, get away. <laughs> oh, the dodge is so fun! And the fruit seems to make the dots into like harder dots that you have to eat twice. I think that's what what's going on there. Uh. Uh, uh, uh. No. Come here. Here we are. I'm in, I'm in a Pac-Man state. I've got Pac-Man fever now, so I might not be checking out the chat too uh, easy. Oh, okay. I guess it doesn't. Uh... Oh, it make. Oh, I see. The fruit traveling through the dots doesn't make them harder to eat or anything. It makes them worth double the points. Okay. Oh, I'm out of uh, pellets, so. <laughs> I won't play too much of this because you probably get the idea and you probably don't want to see, see me sit here playing Pac-Man all day. Because I could very well play this for ages, but I'm not gonna. I'll probably play a few games, like two or three games and then call it. Ah! Wait. Yeah, that's a stage. Oh, this looks like a Miss Pac-Man stage style. Gonna camp here for a sec. Come here. People the dodging as you do end up leaving a bunch of dots around. Ooh. Definitely makes you act more risky with your uh, stuff by having that dodge move. Ghost, ghost behavior definitely looks accurate despite the much bigger map. Definitely managed to get the ghost down right. I noticed when they change from one mode to the other, they sort of go for a chase mode and a panic mode. And you can see them doing it as well. So whoever made this has definitely done a good job with like the the actual. Because there are some nuances to Pac-Man, like basic Pac-Man, that are not always immediately apparent unless you. I've really studied the game a lot. Oh god, I missed a dot there. I'll have to go back for that dot at some point. Uh, 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 no! <laughs> I've got two more lives. Let's see if I can. Uh... Red seems to always be the one that does that. Like, comes raging at you. Right, let's get our last dot. Yoink! Thank you very much. Oh, okay, we've got a more traditional top-down level, but it's still taller than the actual screen. Yeah, I guess it's a bit of a shame you can't see the whole board at any one time. This is more just like old-school stage layout. Ah! 
Ah, ooh, I thought I pressed the button, but I guess I was too late. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be playing lots of this. I really like this. Not tonight, but off stream, I'll play lots of this. I don't want to bore you one one certain game at a time. Like I did with Robo Blast earlier. Once I came over here, well, which is pretty much now. See you! Now, if this had online leaderboards, that would be amazing, but I really doubt that. At that left hand man, I guess that's the Twitter handle of the developer. So there's a two player mode as well. Yeah, I really enjoy that. And that's really cool. I could reset the leaderboard if I so chose. Oh, that's volume, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's Pac-Man Brothers. I really like that. Um, and that one. Right, uh, what shall we try next? Ah, you know what? I want to show this one off because I just thought this was pretty wild as well. Um, it's Again, it's technically a remake, but it's the way it's been remade. It is... Bonkers. So we're going back to the Sonic fan game here. I'll do some more indies after this. Uh, yes, this one. Right, so this is... Ooh, yeah, it comes up with an epilepsy warning at the start of the game. That's good or not. Not, not a lot of games do that. <laughs> Just assume this is Sonic the Fighters Blitz. I think this might be running in Mugen. Oh wait, it says what it is in the bottom corner there. I don't think it is Mugen actually, it's something else. This is a 2D remake. A 2D remake of Sonic the Fighters with like sprites and like proper like really nice 2D graphics. Oh, Oh, I guess it's just starting there. Right. It's got online. This game has friggin' online. You could play this over Parsec or something. Yeah. So... We're gonna just jump into Arcade and we'll pick a character. So, we've got all the characters here. We've got Tails, Sonic, Knack, Fang, Bean, Bark, SBO, SB yeah, Knuckles. Uh, you know what, let's go with Beam, since he's like a Sonic the Fighters character, so we'll do that. This has some really nice, like, 2D animation. And it plays quite a bit different to Sonic the Fighters, actually. In some ways it's similar, but it's also different in other ways. Quite a few Sonic fighting games being worked on at the moment, isn't there? I haven't actually played this beam before, so I think I only played this as like Amy and Sonic, I think. Yeah, this definitely plays more like a Street Fighter style game and less like Virtua Fighter or Fighting Fibers with weirdness. You still got that uh, shield system as well. I'm not sure what button does that. Oh, up on hyper. Should probably take advantage of that. <laughs> oh, that's pretty sprite work. Yeah, it really is. Like, it's kind of like got like a bit of a hand drawn feel to it. Definitely. Oh, he's got super. Oh, that uses up your shields. I get you. I still haven't figured out what button does the shields actually. Have my little uh, Russian dance. Uh. It's dodging. <laughs> You're allowed to do that if you so want. Uh. 
just animates really nicely. B minus on the scrub. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Got quite a unique art style as well. That's all of its own, you know? Oh, wow! Wow! Okay, I haven't seen that before. This is getting a bit loud. A bit loud in my ears. Oh, I can't pause it. <laughs> it has no pause. Wow, she's definitely got some moves she didn't have in the 3D game. Yeah, this is definitely more of a Street Fighter style. It's like, what if Sonic Fighters was done by Capcom kind of thing. Hold pause. Uh, oh, it's Celeste. Okay. Right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna bring this down a wee bit because it is uh, really loud. I'm also gonna see if. Hmm. Well, I guess there's no uh, options for making a full screen or anything. I'm gonna play this in a window, but it's fine. Don't do that thing you do in the actual Sonic Fighters where you just block for days just to break all your shields. I'm not really sure how the shield thing works in this version yet. F. Wow. Scrub. This is like Street Fighter Third Striker ranking. Oh, okay. Shield isn't a button, Shield is holding back just like a Street Fighter style game, so that makes sense. Hmm. Love! Ow! And obviously if you use the hyper thing that gets rid of all these shields, it's like a sacrifice I guess. Bean is definitely more of a sort of grappler type. This is a bit slow compared to the other characters. Look at the grapplers. Watch him do like duplexes and like same gift shit. <laughs> He's got some same gift stuff. Mind you, he had that move in the original, so. This is bloody good, though. It's pretty much a complete game as well. All the characters are there. I don't even think this is technically a demo. This is basically done, as far as I can tell. Well, as far as I know, anyway. I don't know if it has like Robotnik and Metal Sonic or anything, but. Ah, no! Oh, I like how they've used the remix as like the second act. Ah, oh, nice! This is the this is from that remix album. Uh, what remix album? Oh, I'm thinking of Sonic Gems. This was a remix in Sonic Gems collection. Oh, that's cool, using that as that too. The Daytona guy. I'm not going to try and sing it, I don't know the lyrics. Oh god, Bean is actually... Bark is actually whooping me. Whoa! I wonder if I can change character. 
surprised in character. Oh, that is straight up just a Street Fighter Alpha font right there. Can I change characters? Oh, cool, we can, okay. Let's try... Yeah, you know what, let's try that thing. See if he's got his little pop gun stuff going on. Oh, he even does that same animation there. Yeah, didn't that extreme boss? <laughs> oh, that's a cool throw. Yeah, he has got that. Ow. Yep, he's got all his pop gun stuff. Nice. Whoa. Oh, he's got the bounce as well. Nice. This is so good. This is really good, man. <laughs> in some ways, in some ways, it plays better than the original. <laughs> I mean, the original was kind of programmed as a joke, <laughs> as far as I know. Like, they, they put Sonic and Tails hidden within Fighters Mega Mix just for a laugh. And they were like, you know what, let's just make this into a whole game, just for a laugh. Like, Sonic Team had absolutely nothing to do with Sonic the Fighters, and it kind of shows. Because, like, it's got eight Chaos Emeralds, and... It's just kind of weird. Well, I love Sonic the Fighters. I think it's underrated. It's not a great fighting game, but it's a fun fighting game. Just keep juggling in for days. <laughs> juggle, 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 juggle. <laughs> balance. This is balanced, guys. <laughs> right, let's try that again. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> have it, have it, have it. <laughs> <laughs> Bark doesn't know what to do, he can't do anything. Oh, okay, he found something. Ugh, that did a lot of damage. No, no, no! No, I was doing so well with my pop gun. I need him to be far away. There we go. Go over there, go over there. Stay over there, stay back and let me shoot you. Don't get near me. Nax Fangs Sprite. Man, it's so good. <laughs> I love that backwards walk he does. He looks so badass. <laughs> oh, look at the fangs on that fang. The, the, the Jiroba or whatever he is. <laughs> he's not a weasel. I have to keep remembering he's not a weasel. He's a, like half Jiroba, half wolf or something. Oh god, oh god. Have it, have it, have it, have it. Have it, have it, have it, have it, have it. Have it, have it, have it, have it, have it, have it. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> this is not in any way balanced. <laughs> oh god. I could just, I could just pop him. I'll just pop off. I'll just pop off in the corner here. Yeah, but look at that. Look at that. Look at that. The fang is so goddamn cool in this. <laughs> More so than usual. It's about as cool as he was in like. Uh, Sonic the comic. I always thought I always thought Knack was really badass in the comics. Yeah, the British comics. Not so much Archie, I don't think. I didn't really care for him in Archie. I don't think he was great in STC though. Like. That one story where he had that that, shr that shrink. Uh, what was it? He had some kind of like shrink serum, didn't he? And he shrunk all the characters down. The artwork in that one was so bloody good. Like Richard Elson just drawing knack of like veiny eyes and stuff it was <laughs> i think like knack slash fang has always been one of my favorite sonic characters just in general i just think he's really un underutilized he needs to come back in some way you know outside of just being a part of a boss in sonic mania well tail's gonna do what he does in the in the original game and just throw me for days all right <laughs> I mean, this is a good button. This is a good button. <laughs> this is a good button, guys. If he's got that throw from the 3D game that he does over and over again, I'm just going to keep him away from me. <laughs> 
Oh. Knack is banned from online play. <laughs> I could do that, I don't that. Yeah. Does that mean these are stronger and faster or what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to keep doing this because it works. <laughs> it's like the computer doesn't know what to do. It's like, help! Help! <laughs> I'm getting like pretty decent ranks for it as well. I'm getting like C pluses. You'd think it would give me an F for being like cheap as shit, but it doesn't seem to care. Alright, let's see what the computer does. Let's see if the computer does the same thing. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Bang! All this needs is Nat to have um, the voice of that guy, the, the policeman from Final Fight Revenge. So every time he does it, he goes, Bang! 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 <laughs> that would make this the best thing ever. I want to mod that in. I want him to go bang every time he shoots. Bang! 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 Even Fang doesn't know what to do against Fang. <laughs> oh, they've kept it so the second player colour scheme is black and white, that's good. I really like this, this is the most fun I've had tonight, and all I'm doing is pressing the same button over and over. <laughs> Should I see what else he does? If I do that, yeah look, oh look at my technique, apparently my technique is really good. My technique, my technique of pressing the same button over and over again is really good technique, guys. <laughs> Alright, bean now. Some of the sound levels on this game are a little bit uh, off, like that round one start thing is really quiet. I should probably see what else he has, but I don't know if I should bother, because... Yeah, I should actually try some other stuff. He's kind of going off screen a little bit. Look at that strut, man. <laughs> I just got like a perfect. <laughs> Very technical. Yep, definitely. It all depends on your skill. Nope, 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 nope. See what happens when I don't just shoot my gun? <laughs> That's what happens. You see? Ooh! 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 That was nice! See that air combo, man? Probably because I was super, I don't know. Ah! Oh, mate! Mate, did you notice, did you notice, when he hops, he has the sound effect from the Mars System games, or oh, the jump noise. Let me see if we can do that again. Oh, maybe not just that. Yeah, sound levels on this game are a bit uh, all over the place, like the music is way louder. Oh, you heard it, yeah. I'm pretty sure that was like a Master System noise, <laughs> like from Sonic Triple Trouble or something. Right, Sonic now. These sprites are so good. I really like the unique art style. Oh, Sonic's found a Sonic's found a way around it. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Sonic, Sonic's not fooled by a gun. Yeah, you can spin dash under it. Okay, might actually have to start playing seriously now. Yeah, it's like the spring noise from Sonic Chaos or something. Ah, I love this. Uh, uh. No, no. Are you sure you don't want a pop gun? Are you sure you don't want to be pop guns? Oh wow, yeah, Sonic's actually the smartest. Sonic is the smarterest. Oh god. 
See if we can do that air combo again, that'd be nice. Oh my god, I love that so much. Why is it whenever they put like little references to like Sonic Chaos and stuff in the like the 8-bit games and stuff, I I just lose it. <laughs> I don't know why. It happens with Sonic Mania when that little uh, Metal Sonic showed up in the Metal Sonic boss. I, I actually couldn't play the game for a few minutes because I was just losing it so much. <laughs> you find like the Let's Play of me playing Sonic Mania on Lucky Hit. Like, I literally spent about 10 minutes just going, Oh my god, it's Metal Sonic from like the Game Gear 1. <laughs> like the Master System, Metal Sonic. <laughs> That little silver Sonic, yeah! These little, the little arm that comes out of his stomach and stuff. Mate, this is actually better than the original Sonic of Fighters. This is more fun. <laughs> I'm gonna say that right now. I do like the original Sonic of Fighters, don't get me wrong. But I think this might be better. I think this might actually be more fun. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe because it is a Street Fighter style, I don't know. Oh, okay, I guess there's no uh, Metal Sonic or Eggman fight. Yeah, I guess not. Ah, that's a shame. I was kind of hoping they would have Robotnik and stuff. I can't want to see what the other characters do. No, I'll just go into first the CPU and I'll try some other characters. Let's try SBO. Yeah. Hmm. Now, maybe this isn't complete then, because it doesn't have Eggman or Metal Sonic, and it doesn't have the final level. So maybe... I kind of want to... Um... I want to see if uh, Maximilian's aware of this. <laughs> I might actually tweet him this. <laughs> Because I know he's played, um, I know Maximilian and um, yeah, the Yo Video Games guys have played um, Sonic Smackdown, which was from a couple years ago. Oh, I think that game's still going ahead. Yeah, I kind of want to see if uh, Maximilian and that would enjoy this. They might. I might tweet them this. I was about to wonder if it would have had Super Sonic or if they were the final boss, but there's no more with Eggman now. I guess not. Yeah. As I say, I'm not actually sure if this is a complete game or not. I, it, it could be still a work in progress, but what's here is like 95% of the way, pretty much. Or, you know, like 90% of the way, I guess. It's pretty much got all the content, almost all the content the original game had. Yeah, I'm not so sure about SBO right now. I think Knack's my favourite. And he has got his spinny thing. It doesn't look quite as cool as it did in uh, the original though. Oh, I like how Knuckles did his uh, Super Sonic pose, or Super Knuckles pose, just then. Ah, oh, he's got the run from Chaotix, that's nice. Bitch slap, yeah. Oh, he can only do that run when he's super, I think. Yeah, he can. He can only do that run when he's super, okay. That's fun. Oh, I just about won that. Yeah, you know, I want to try Amy again because I want to see if I can do them specials. Oh, there I guess. Just try Amy out. See if I can do that weird stuff she did with the cards. She's been given loads of new moves that she never originally had. If I can figure out how to do them, that's the hammer. Yeah, I wonder how you do the uh, 
Oh, there we go. I did one. I think it was like a quarter circle thing. I don't know. I'm not very good at fighting games. I can't really do... I can't even really do Hadoukens consistently, if I'm honest. I'll stop playing this soon. <laughs> but this might be one of my games of the show, honestly. I don't know if this one's been around before, but... I've only noticed it this year. My god, is it fun. <laughs> I'll move on to some indie games after this. Where's the time anyway? 10 o'clock. I was, I was planning to go to about midnight tonight, so another couple of hours, I guess. I can get through most of the... Oh! Oh god! Wow, that throw is definitely different. Yeah, when you do the super thing, you can sort of do alpha combo stuff, kind of. I'll shoot by alpha. I'm trying to pull off the card thing, but I only accidentally did it once. Now, I'm kind of into this art style as well. It's quite unique. Like, the characters have got really long noses. and I'd kind of like to see additional characters added to this, if possible, as well, since they've done most of the characters. Maybe put Mighty in here. Uh, put Ray in here. You know, like, stick to... Ooh! Oh! Thank you very much, uh... Ah, oh, missed the name. Oh, hang on. At Quakuga, thank you very much for following. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Right, I'm going to stop playing this. But... Uh, let's get, let's get, oh! That's cool. One of Tails... That's really neat. One of Tails' uh, colour schemes is... He's sat in colour scheme. That's really cute. No worries. Love the work you've got on here. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. I really, I really appreciate the follow. Uh, yeah, I'm going to stop playing this because, mate, this has online. I really want to try that. Honestly, not right now, but sometime soon I might stream an online game of this, maybe, because I feel like that's something that needs to be done. I have actually got Parsec now as well, so if this is compatible with Parsec, I will definitely uh, look into it. But yeah, for now, let's uh, quit out of that. Wow, that game was... I don't know if that was too loud for you guys, but that was really loud. <laughs> like, the sound levels on that game are a little bit all over the place. They're kind of like, some of the music's quiet, the sound effects are pretty quiet. I don't know if there's options for that, but I'll look into it. Right. Uh, let's go. Let's. I don't. I don't feel like we've done enough like indie games tonight. So I'm gonna go find some. I fancy playing this one called Drill Buster. This was quite fun. So if you've ever played Mr. Driller, this is kind of a Mr. Driller. Kind of. Arcade. Ah, so it's Adventure Kitty Drill. Drill. Uh, whatever I said. <laughs> See if I can make it full screen for myself and whatnot. They're coming through? Yeah, there we go. S straight off the bat, the artwork's just lovely. Yeah, let's see if we can uh, full screen it. There we go. Alright, let's just get straight into this. Right. I just really like the style of this one. I think the characters are cute. And yeah, it's got Mr. Driller style gameplay, so... Oh, hang on. It's, um... I was kind of hoping I could start a new game. Because it's put me where... I kind of wanted to show the story. I wonder if there's a way to start a new game. Oh, I played this demo and managed to finish it. Oh, nice. I was just trying to see if there was a way to uh, start afresh. Hmm, I wonder if I need to... just a sec. I'll just see if I have to like delete the config file or something, because I did want to actually put the, like, the story up. Because I didn't actually properly... Hmm. I'm not sure. Because <laughs> the game clearly saves, but I don't know... How or where it saves. 
like in what fashion because it's a unity game all right i'll have to just probably not worry about it and just play it as is because i was kind of hoping to show you the story but i don't think there's any way to start a new game yeah it's got a really cute like yeah sort of simple art style that just is really appealing yeah, I was kind of hoping it would give me the option to... I could always bring the audio down here if it's too loud. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I was kind of hoping it would... Oh, is it not coming up? Hang on. You can hear it, but you can't see it. Oh, is it showing up there? Did you please? Hmm, that's weird. It was up a minute ago, but now it's not. Now, just a second. I figure this out. Yeah, I'm on. I did have it up, and then now it's not. <laughs> not showing it for some reason. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's try and get the game to show up in my capture. Uh, for some reason, it's not. Hmm. That's peculiar. I'm not sure why it's doing that. No. I'll quit out again. Hmm. Right, let's try that again. Go about this, guys. Uh, for some reason, OBS is not picking the game up. <laughs> it's not picking up the actual picture. Could you please? Ah, yeah. Wait. Whoop, yeah, what? I think I got it. Find out. Loads. If it will load. What's going on? <laughs> okay, now the game's not booting. Oh, it might be because I'm not on it. What? <laughs> What's happening? Ah, there we go. <laughs> I was worried there for a second. Alright, well, I guess we'll just have to continue from level 2, because I can't go to... You can go download this demo yourself, and you can see the... the, the... So yeah, it's just D-pad stuff to drill. And you've got to avoid enemies as far as I know. There's no air stuff like Mr. Driller, so thankfully you can wait around. I just really like games like this that are just like D-pad stabbing like this, if that makes sense. I was like, this is a lot less complex than Mr. Driller, but... It also looked like there were multiple save slots. I couldn't move left and right for some reason. I think they're supposed to be like different modes. I don't know. It looks like you didn't have enough coins. When you don't have enough, you'll be sent back to your most recently destroyed barrier. Oh, okay. There's no penalty, so if you really wanted, you could get... Oh, so you have to get, like, a quota. Okay. More times than not, there will be a sign at the start of every barrier letting you know the amount of coins. Oh, I see. So this says two, so I need to get two coins. Okay. Gotcha. But... Ow! Bum. There we go, so I've got two. Uh, I'm gonna get four now. Whoa, this is not the best place to do this. Oh god! <laughs> wow! Oh, I definitely want to approach this one, right? Ah, oh, no! Wait, I got four, that's good enough. Right, I got the. I got the bare minimum, so that's good enough. Alright, cannons? Where? So I only need one here. Oh god. At least they give you time. Alright, what? Oh. Oh, you can hold it as well, but it's not as quick as mashing it. Let's get these two. There we go. Right. Now we need four. Right, there we go. Right. 
that too. Oh god. Now they're mixing in the other enemies. Ah, I'm trapped! <laughs> Oh god. Sometimes you can just stick yourself in the corner and just mess yourself up. Oh god. If you don't die but make it to the end with not enough coins, you keep the coins you already collected. Ah, yeah, that's handy. Yeah, I really like this one. I want to play lots and keep dying. I don't know it looks, honestly. Uh... Oh, I keep doing that, I keep putting myself in the corner. Yeah, exactly. Because it's generous in that respect. Right, I only needed two, so that's fine. I didn't actually need that one. But I presume this is going to be one of those games where if you want 100% it, you have to get every coin. Yeah. Right, three now. Oh god, that's getting there. Uh... Oh boy, that's a lot to keep track of. There is a window of time that you can get past them. There we go. Oh Christ, I think I've messed this up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to be in. I, I can see where they want me to be now, right there. And, uh, yeah. No. <laughs> so, like, they were guiding you to where the centre of them is going to be with the coins, and now they've taken the coins away. So you have to sort of remember where their pattern is. Makes sense. Wow, I've got three coins out of that, nice. Uh, kinda glad there isn't like a time limit either, kinda like Mr. Driller where like you only had so much air and if you hung around too much you would run out of air. Luckily this doesn't have that. Have I picked the right direction to do this? Yeah, I think so. Let's go. Bop, 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 Done. Alright. Whoa, that was close. Wow, that was close. Wow, this is getting complicated. Oh, there we go. Not as complex as it looks though. I had five there, so sweet. If this game had a time limit, I would have thrown the controller out the window. Yeah, that would have really spoilt this, I think. Directional drilling. Oh, okay, so these ones you have to drill from a certain direction. Okay, so you can't drill down on that one, it has to be. Okay. But you have to get these ones from a certain angle. Fair enough. Well, oh, boy. Oop. Oh, I got the bare minimum, so that's good enough. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> oh, wow, these ones are interesting. Oops, messed that one up. Whoa, that's tight. Yoink! Wait, did I... Uh, I needed every coin, didn't I? Yeah, at least I can go back for the ones I missed. And not have to re-get all the other ones. That's good. This is another one of those games that if it came to the Switch, I would buy it. Just so you know. <laughs> I mean, if it came to Steam, it's coming to Steam, so... You made it out alive. Not that I doubted you, of course. I like these character designs. I think they're really cute. From what I can see, 
If I had time, if I wasn't like animating stuff, I would sit and draw some of the characters from this year's Sage, but I really don't have the time, unfortunately. <laughs> from what I can see, it looks like you've made it to Safe Haven. It's kind of like a transition point for what's to come. This is also a good time to take a break before you get back into the action. Oh, okay, so this is just like a, a chill bit. Ooh, it's zooming in. Getting all close up, it's getting all close. Ooh. Oh boy, what's this? This is starting to really turn into Mr. Driller now. Is there going to be like blocks falling on my head or anything? <laughs> Don't tell me if there is. Halfway through this biome. Biome! Where did the term biome come from? When did games start using biomes for like levels? They're just levels. Stop calling them biomes. <laughs> it's weird. We'll have to start adapting from the original plan at times. Right. Remember what I told you in the beginning about coins? Just balance the risk reward factors, it should be all set. Oh, okay, so it's starting to go in different directions now. Alright, next bit I need five. Secret room in this area. Okay. Oh, wow, again. Oh, is that what you're talking about over there? Have I already messed it up? I think I already missed it. Yeah, I think I already missed it. I just saw it up there. There we go. And that was enough? Yeah. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Music's pretty banging. Ah, I missed one. Yeah, that was, it was enough. Wow, these ones are fast. There you go. I did not see him coming. <laughs> oh, and again. <laughs> oh, it was a shortcut. Oh, okay. I thought it might be like some bonus mini game or something. Guess not. Alright, let's be wary of these guys this time. Oh, hello. Oh, time limit. I smell a time limit. To... Ooh, oh god. This music's great. Oh god! Don't like these guys. Nah! It's making me recollect these ones. Ooh. Oh, how'd you get to that one? It's like a blue block here. Hmm. I don't know. I like how this game's mixing up the layouts quite a bit already. I feel like this game has a lot of, like... It seems like it has a lot of uh, variety in its design, which is good. That was like my one complaint with that... Uh, platformer with the Katsuni character, the 3D one earlier, was there wasn't a lot of variety to it, whereas this seems to be throwing ever so slightly new ideas into the layouts. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not really like contemplating what I'm supposed to be doing here. I'm not really thinking about it. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I just ran headfirst into that. And that one. That was fast. Oh, 
god. Okay, so I, I sort of had to sit and watch the pattern, really. Know what they're going to do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was so close. There we go. Oh, what the heck. This is going to be really hard to keep track of. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna oh I need five here. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, right. Alright. Just trying to remember what they where they're gonna go. Doesn't seem to be saving my coins anymore. <laughs> oh my god. This is a lot. This is a lot! <laughs> It's almost like I've got to sit here and just watch what they do. Oh. <laughs> no. It only saves when you make it to the barrier and don't have enough. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. Oh god. Fire. <laughs> yeah, that makes perfect sense. This one was frustrating. There's a there's a lot to keep track of. Like I sort of get what it's going for, but oh, ow. No, I keep forgetting I can't just go there. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Just getting sandwiched. Cat sandwich. Oh, Christ. No, no, no! Oh, I guess that guy's. I'm having a very hard time. You know what? I'm going to try and get to the barrier. Even though I haven't got enough, just so it saves them. If I can. Oh, Christ. Try and get that one there as well, if I can. Oh, mate. Oh, I had enough. Okay, that's even better. Yeah, that's fine. Oops. This is really cool. I really like how they keep mixing things up. They're doing a really good job of keeping you on your toes with like new, slightly new ideas. Oh, okay. I didn't realise I had a reserve. Ow. Alright, so I need three here. Like a couple cannons. Oh, I see. I didn't realise like it, they accumulated. Oh, I see. You cash them in. I see. Whoa. Nope. I didn't want to be there. Or there. Right. That'll do. Yeah, so I've got 12, but I only need one. Ah, oh, okay, I get it now. I didn't realise you were like accumulating them over time. Oink. Oh, we're doing this again. I'm not sure about them blue ones. And again, it's doing like a zoom in. Oh, alright. Oh no, I missed whatever these were. Oh well. Whoops. Ah. Yeah, so you could technically just not even bother getting some of the coins as long as you don't run out of coins at some point. Yeah. Nah! This is fun. I really like this. Keeps you on your toes in really fun ways. This is just a demo? 
Like, this this is a pretty substantial demo. Makes me wonder how much content, of, how many levels, biomes, final game we have. Oh, it's just keep completely eating it. No. <laughs> I shouldn't even bother, should I? I should just go down the middle and die. <laughs> I think I'm taking the harder of the two routes here. <laughs> like, it's technically frustrating, but it's also really fun. Yeah, it really gives you a good sense of where it's going, yeah? Because a lot of demos, they just show you like the first couple levels, and it's like, well, that doesn't give you an idea of how it's. Yeah, it gives you a better, a good idea of what the difficulty it can be. Yeah, they've done a good job of like giving you a taste for it. Because if it was only the first few levels, you'd be like, oh, that was kind of boring. <laughs> I mean, you could be. You'd be like, oh, is that it? You know. But the fact that they're giving you plenty of the harder levels, like some harder levels. Shows you what you get. Ah, come on! It's really close. Yeah, this is a really smartly done demo. It's a sign of a good demo. Wow, that thing got me again. I think if you kind of zigzag through the layers one at a time, you can dodge the cannonballs. Yeah, that makes sense. You're quite into doing that. Like that. Ah, I sort of did it. Ah! Wow, you gotta go really you gotta be real quick on this. Ah! Whoa. I just wanna survive! There we go. Right, arrows this time. They want six at the end of it, so. Ooh, oh. oh god, I didn't think of that one. Nope! How far does that go? All the way across? Yeah. Try not to just go all the way down. Enough. Wait, I need two more. Oh, okay. That's weird. Oh, because the arrows are a different currency to the coins, right? Okay. I get you. Yeah, it is actually counting them down as well, so I've already messed this up. Yeah. But now I just need to get these ones. Okay, I get it. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Right. What? How was I ever supposed to get those? <laughs> wow, this just keeps going. How many coins have I got now? Eight. No! <laughs> Yeah, oh, okay, so the arrow ones are like more strict. Ow! Right, I'm just gonna go down. It's good now. I had seven in reserve, so that's not so bad. It's not so bad. Based on my readings, it looks made you to the final area. The element of this biome should be right under here. Okay. Be careful though. This area looks tougher than the others. Tougher than the others? Oh boy. And you won't be... You won't just be drilling down to get to your destination. Okay. We've got this carton. Is that my cat's name? Carton. Yeah. Bob. Hmm. I still don't know what these other coloured pieces do yet. Nope. Right. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm rushing. Good luck! Hmm. 
I got. Wow. Uh, maybe go for it. Wow, I wasn't quick enough. You gotta be like right on it. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's tight. Yeah, I don't know what that's all about over there. Oh, not these things again. I ain't got the patience for these things. Right, there's one little gap in there. Ooh, alright. Wait. What's all like little secret things I definitely can't get to? Ah! <laughs> this is scary. Ah! No. No. Quick, quick, quick! Oh, that was like. Nope. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, Christ. I least I don't need any coins here, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. This ain't good. Like, what even? I think I need to go down a straight part with no blocks in the way. Oh Christ. Like, what? No. It's like a tiny gap. One little gap. Coming up. Oh, I missed the gap, but... This one was one of the worst. Oh, was it? It's fun to see someone else suffer as I did. <laughs> suffer like G did. Gagaman, I guess. Uh, it's trying to figure out where that. All oh, right, okay. Nope. <laughs> I was trying to watch the red one and see where the gap was, but if I just go down two really quickly, just two. Ah! Oh. This one's alright. But this corner, they're coming at me faster. No. <laughs> Ooh. No. Wow, they're just so fast. Ah, but now I've got to go that way. Yeah! I miss. <laughs> Mind the gap! Yeah. Uh... What the hell? How? Oh, it's to hurt my head. No! Nah! <laughs> it's too quick! This one you can easily get through. Everything else moves too quickly. There. So I need to wait for the last one. There! No! Oh, I got greedy! I got greedy! I almost had it though. Alright. There. Wait for the red one to come back. Alright, no. right, let's not get greedy, let's just wait. No! <laughs> Wow! <laughs> I knew that was wrong as soon as I did it. Oh god, you have to just sit and watch the red one. Oh mate. Ow! I need to get him just as he Yes! Oops, well. I'm 
Where did I get? Okay. Oh. Okay, I need one more. If I can get to it. No! Oh, I need to reset them all! Ah! Why? Why did you have to reset them all? I only needed one. What the? There's a coin as well, for some reason. I don't know why that's there, but I'll take it. Right, I know I haven't got all the arrows, but if I can get this one, I should be able to get this one easier. Now. Ah! No! <laughs> no. So if you miss one, you can just get the one you need, but then if you die again, then they reset. I get it. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes! Right. The hell are we doing now? The hell are we doing now? This is intense. Element should be somewhere around here. Once you grab it, an elevator should be there to help you get out. Sus, sus. I'm suspect. I'm suspect now about what's coming. Don't spoil it. Whatever is coming. Oh, sorry. It does that sometimes. Hang on. There we go. <laughs> There we go, that should be right. I can't see... Oh! Is that the thing I was after? I was expecting a boss or something. Unless... 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 Ah, oh, little thumbs up. I mean... I'm, I'm still... I'm still not convinced this is over. I'm expecting something to pounce on me any minute now. Oh, okay. No. Alright. Okay. Interesting. I was expecting like a boss to pounce right there. Seems an intruder was able to get through my machines and retrieve the element. No matter. We'll be so lucky getting the next one. Oh, Johnny Warren, soon, my friend. Your deletation, your deletion is inevitable. Ah. Ooh, that was a cool sound. I like that. Can I hear that again? <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun noise. That's great. Oh my god, that is. Oh yeah, I need this. <laughs> this is fantastic. I really enjoyed this. Hey there. Oh, just going over to the tram stop. Ah, okay, right. Um. Right. So, I'm gonna have to pop off for a minute. But I am going to continue the stream, but what I'll do is I will come back in a bit. Hello again. Alright, uh, I know I said I was going to be about 15 minutes, but the tram uh, that Cherry Tea's waiting for is actually going to be a little while. So I'm back for a, a short moment and then <laughs> I'll have to go back out. Oh, hey there, so Fox. Welcome to the stream. Sorry about me not being here when you got here, but, uh, hello. <laughs> nice to see ya. Wait, did I just get raided? Did I just get raided? <laughs> Seriously, did I get raided as I was away? <laughs> oh, mate. Who was it? Hang on. Hang on, I just... Oh, so Fox. Oh, you raided me. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks for that. Um... I'm going to play something quite briefly because I haven't actually got like a lot of time <laughs> before I need to pop out. But I will keep the stream going because I do actually want to keep going tonight. Uh, but yeah, I do need to pop out for a little bit shortly. But I'll see if I can find something that we can play quickly before I pop out. Something that's not going to take a long time. <laughs> oh, I know. I know what we could play. A little windy 3D platformer that's just got like one level in it, that'll do. Let me find it. Yeah, sorry, um you've caught sort of caught me at a slightly awkward time. I, it would have been nice if I could just 
keep going, but you know, I really don't want to have uh, the other half walking on her own at this time of night. So I'm gonna go pick her up once she lets me know when she's nearby. Uh, where is it? The game I'm thinking of. What's it called? Ah, here it is. Alright, let's play this one. Because this one's quite short, so I can. It's not like that last game. Ah, it's okay, no worry. No worries. Where are we going to find such a game in the Sonic themed collection? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good point. I, I'm thinking more uh, demos that are quite short. I'm going to go with this one. Because I seem to recall this was pretty short. I thought this was cute though. Oh, it's got a little... Let's take it out. Oh, it's got like a little trailer. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to play this one. It's called Honey Bunny. <laughs> it's... Currently, it's got like, you know... See if I can skip this. Can I skip this? Am I allowed to skip this? Oh, 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 there we go, there we go. I'm spoiling what the game is. Yeah, this one, I don't think this one was like. The icon for it wasn't very good, but then I clicked on it and I thought, ah, oh, it's got a cute look to it. So. Uh, yeah, let me know if the sound levels are good for this. Uh, also, is the controller working? I just want it work before. Oh, the trailer's playing again. <laughs> Come on, I ain't got time. I need to. I need to play the game. I did play this with a controller earlier, so uh, I'll go into the how to play. Oh, for some reason, it's defaulted to. Oh wait, no, it hasn't. That's fine. There's like a tutorial level, so we'll jump into that first. Bunny ears to grab items. Yes. So one, it's got this Neo Geo Pocket music. So you like this little bunny girl strutting her stuff. And yeah, you got like... <laughs> this animation, right? The first time I saw this, like the ears popping out, it freaked me the hell out. I was I was proper freaked out because it's just, it move, it goes so far and then the way it shoots background is really sp kind of spooky. That's straight up the Undertale font, is it? I mean, it's a pixel font, I don't know if it's... You mean this font or the one on... Oh, okay, well. I think this is incredibly early in development because all the music is clearly placeholder because it's from Sonic games and stuff. But what's here so far is kind of alright. I think it's quite cool. Like, it's simple, but I do like the concept of grabbing things from a distance like this. Uh, wait, wait, wait. There we go. Yeah. I recognise that sound effect when you grab things as well. I'm not exactly sure where it's from, but it sounds familiar. Jump. Even just jump. But <laughs> you could just smash people with it as well. Cake! Cake. Yeah, this is like Neo Geo Pocket Sonic music. But yeah, obviously all the music's a placeholder at the moment. Uh, oh yeah, you can grab stuff as well. How do you do that again? It's B. Okay, yep. <laughs> so I've just got a dice on my head now. The music doesn't seem to be looping for some reason. I can chuck dices. <laughs> Did you hear the streets of rage? <laughs> oh, silly. You can put a little aimer on if that's uh, easier. It's kind of like the dotted reticle that you get in Buster Move when you, uh, yeah, Puzzle Bobble when you die one time. Yeah, for some reason the music's not playing again, but. <laughs> yeah. The sounds are definitely placeholder, but at least it had sound, because like if it had no sound at all, it would be a bit dull. Oh! Oh, okay, I'm drunk. <laughs> so now I'm invincible because I'm all I'm 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 pissed as a fart. <laughs> oh these are one ups, okay. God. Uh, uh, grab it! Ooh, that was that seemed a bit close. <laughs> I just thought this had a cute art style. Yeah, it's obviously really early in development. 
Oh god. But I, I like what I, I like what we've got so far, and I, I want the developer to keep it up. You know, <laughs> I want him to make a full platformer. The distances on these for the tutorial level are a little bit scary. Like trying to reach that is actually a little. I think the first time I tried this, I actually died here on the tutorial. <laughs> Can I grab it in midair? No, nope. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> Whoa, <wee. laughs> that plonk sounded familiar. Yeah, I can't think what it's from. Oh god, I think I went under the level. Oh god, look, you can see the tutorial level above me. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely like early, but I mean, we don't have to play the tutorial. I can just go back to the main menu <laughs> and play the main level because there is a main level. I'm just going to have to keep an eye on the fan. And then I'll uh, right, let's play the actual game, which again will have some familiar music. I made this mistake once. But yeah, this is the main level with, I think, this is Sonic Lost World music? If I remember rightly. Oh, is it? oh, where's this little cup here? I'll take a red hot shot to calm your nerves. It's so strong it can raise the dead. Oh, I got it, okay. Whoa, Christ, this guy's just trying to club me. What the hell? Get out of it. Get out of it. So you can chat to a load of people. What's it say? Get on what you got. Use your ears to headbutt these dorks back to their to their casino. What, are they like rival casino people? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what it is about the animation on the ears that kind of freaked me out a little bit. <laughs> it's a little bit... I don't know how to, ex to explain it. I think it's the way they come back. I'm trying to think what the art style was making me think of. It's kind of like... A little bit Katamari, because it's like the like sort of pixel art kind of textures and... Like these characters, they're kind of... Not exactly me's. But like, I don't know. I'm not. I, I'm not saying it's. A, I actually think it's quite a cute art style. Game encourages alcohol. Banned in Australia. Yeah, this would be a uh, 18 plus in the UK as well because it's got gambling in it. <laughs> Spelunky on the Switch is an 18 plus because it has gambling in it. <laughs> so yeah, that. Surprises me that they don't count Sonic 2 under that, you know, for like Casino Night. I'm just trying to remember where to actually go in this level. That's that guy again. Oh yeah, there's some higher levels to go to. Get some cherries. I don't have a tail, there's something stuck in my eye. I'd love to help you, honey bunny, but I'm on my break. You know, it's kind of distracting to play with all these corks flying around. Oh yeah, there is a lot of corks being shot off up there. Ooh. If I can get up there, I think there is a way up there, but maybe along here. Let's see, how do I get up there? Ooh. You can sort of just grab anything with this, sort of. Within reason, it seems. Ow! Something hit me. Oh, it's him! <laughs> I love the Streets of Rage sound effects. I know the placeholder, but it just made me giggle. It made me giggle. Alright, let's see if we can get the. Wow, those corks are huge. Fang the Sniper's got nothing on them. Wow, then the gambling noises are very loud. Ah! Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I hit him, but try that again. Enticing outfits, but real guns where they draw the line, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's a difference between just getting hit by a court and falling over and being murdered, I guess. Uh, uh, yeah, got him. Uh, <laughs> good. Alright, this is about as far as I got in this demo before, I wasn't quite sure where to go from here. 
Can you need something quick enough? Hmm, where do I want me to go? There's a lot of platforms about, but I'm just trying to figure out where I'm supposed to be going. There's a lot of floating platforms above my head. But they're, they're a bit too high up for me to get to. Can I get to them ones? Down. Ooh, oh, there we go. Nice. Right. Now we can maybe navigate up here. Can I reach him from there? Because the range on this is pretty ridiculous. It goes so far. Or maybe I can grab the cherries? Ah, no! 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 Darn it. <laughs> now I've got someone to get back up there again. You got to say. Oh. Why are all the cool cats stealing all my cherries? So not cool. Yeah, alright. <laughs> Hopefully, this isn't choppy on your end. Oh. Oh, okay. Right. Uh. I might have to just leave you guys with Honey Bunny for a bit. <laughs> I guess, because I need to. Or I could just, uh. I could just do a be right back. I might as well just leave this music playing, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be back in about uh, 15 minutes. I'll be straight back and then we'll play some more stuff. Right, I'll be back shortly. Hello, I'm back. <laughs> as I just said, hooray! Oh, glad to see uh, people are still here. Oh wow, it looks like there's been a bit of chat going on since I uh, left. Uh, let's see, let's have a quick, quick look. Oh, first call collapse. Oh yes, that pinball game. I remember that from last year. Unfortunately, I couldn't get this year's demo to work. I'm not sure why it just didn't open properly, but I might try it again in the week. Yeah, I really like that. Uh, I really like the aesthetic of that game. I really like black and white pixel games in general. It was really fun. Yeah, I think I did. I downloaded the one that they had on Sage Expo's website, but for whatever reason, it wasn't there. Uh... Let's see if this. Uh... Oh, was the music playing the whole time, or did it decide not to? Or well, either way, you'll probably get sick of hearing that casino music if it was playing. I guess I'll keep playing this for a second. Oh god. Some of these platforms do feel like they're a little bit hard to reach. Yeah, there's been a few games I haven't been able to get run in this year. Um, I can't reach this platform. <laughs> if people want me to move on from this game, I can. I did kind of want to see what else there was in the level, whether there was more to it, but... No, can I grab that sand chandelier? Is that a thing? Ah, yes, I can. Okay, cool. Ah, okay, so you can grab the chandeliers. That's good to know. Uh, most of the time. <laughs> can I grab him up there? Oh, the club? Nah, probably not. Uh, hmm. If you have any trouble playing it, let us know. Don't know how many others have the issue. Yeah, I'll have to have a look what it was. The problem I always have at every stage is some games will work and then they'll suddenly not work, or the other way round, they won't work, and then I'll try them again and they'll just suddenly work. Computer games are weird, man. Ooh, what happened? Uh, ooh. The game sort of hung for a second there, I'm not sure why. Oh, got it. Yeah, some of these jumps feel like they're a little bit hard to reach. But how am I going to get to him? Can I grab him? Uh, not. It looks these these ears feel like they have more. They they look like they've got more range than they actually have. I think. Yeah, I keep thinking that's going to reach, but it feels like. Nope. <laughs> oh dear. I'm not quite sure why I can't reach any of these platforms. I'm having a bit of trouble reaching anything. But yeah, I picked up a cherry tea from the tram stop. Sorry if that took quite a while. It's just a... Uh... 
I don't think if there's any other way to get up here, because there's a lot of, uh... There's a lot of stuff high up that I can't reach. Look at this guy. I don't suppose I have a drink of you, Sherry's. I will fight you! Alright, Mr. Drunk. Game needs a target reticle that changes colour. Oh, um, there is an option to put a like little target thing on. So you can get like this little reticle thing, but it doesn't change colour. It just kind of shows you where you're pointing. Yeah. So I'm not sure how useful that is, but oh hello. I haven't been up here yet. There's a little uh, jackpot machine now. I wonder if I can reach that. Uh, sort of. <laughs> sort of. Alright, uh... If you try playing Vertical Claps again, try re-downloading it just in case. Yeah, I, I tend to re-download things if they don't work the first time. Uh, alright. Let's see if we can reach that. We'll get right in her face. Ooh, she looks like she's crying on her texture. She's got, like, tears. Tears in her eyes. Ah, there we go. Right, I've hit the roulette, so I've got to do something. Oh, where do they want me to go now? <laughs> it's been kind of this game in a nutshell. It's like, now what? <laughs> like, where do I go from here? Obviously, it's incredibly early in development in the pla uh, platformer, 3D platformer for like one person, so I'm not going to complain too much about the state it's in right now, which is you know, it's not in a bad state, it's just some of the platform is a little bit difficult. And it's a bit hard to tell where I can go. Like, how do I get up here? Can I get on there? Like, there's just not a lot of telegraphing to where you can do things. Oh, there we go, there we go. Alright. There we go. Might want to delete your previous save. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably try that as well. Oh, there we go. Right. Yeah, I think this game needs to telegraph more what you can actually stick to and what like, what you can grab with the ears and what you can't. Because it seems like most walls can be grabbed, I think. This is quite useful for lining up the jumping as well. Because the shadow is not really that dark. Uh, do I have to collect all the cherries? or? <laughs> Oh, yeah, there we go. I think this definitely has potential. I'm not... You know, I, I... Uh, this is obviously quite early on, I'd say. Hmm. Yeah, I can move on from this game if you guys want me to, because there's loads of games I could be playing, and it is getting quite late, but I do want to keep going. Uh, yeah, unfortunately I haven't had much luck getting... making much progress. I'm not really sure what else there is to do in this level. There's a guy up there that I haven't attacked. Maybe I have to get him next. Perhaps. Ooh. Try and grab that chandelier. There we go. I want to try and get these guys if I can. Just knowing where. And those casino machines are so loud. Right. Let's try and grab that chandelier again. You can sort of float in midair while you're doing that. Yeah, you know what? I think we're going to move on from this one just because obviously you've been waiting ages and we should find some other things to play. But I think that has potential. I, 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 I kind of want to see that continue, I guess. I want to see the developer hone his craft, if you know what I mean. All right, let's find something else. Oh, you know what I want to try out next in terms of fan games? There is a Pulseman fan game this year, which is not something I thought I'd ever see. <laughs> but 
it's cool that that's a thing. I have actually got that set up so I can use a controller as well. Like this, it should be set up. And just bring up the program that will let me play it. Because it is currently keyboard only. But I've got this program called uh, Anti Micro X, which lets me uh, configure a controller with uh, stuff. So, let's turn those to none for now. Is this the. Oh, wait, this isn't actually. I need to load the file. Hang on just a sec. There you are, that should do the job. Now the button's a. Yep, that's cool. Yeah, perfect. Right. With that, we will find. Uh, what is it? The under film games. All these files. Pulseman. Add a bliss. Let's do that next. It pops up because I haven't really played a lot of this one yet, mainly because I was just setting up games. I've got this one here. This one's really slick, man. This is like the Sonic Mania for Pulse Man. You know, Pulse Man <laughs> of all things. <laughs> yeah, that one, that Game Freak platformer that. Stayed in Japan and barely anyone played. Uh, I'm just not sure it's uh, focused. There you go. Alright. Well, my um, VTuber's sort of talking on his own at the moment. Let me just double check that real quick. Sort of going a bit. What's peaking him? Oh, that's weird. Why is that set to... Oh, that's weird. Hmm. Just a second. <laughs> I'm going to reboot my VTuber. Ah, he disappeared! Ah, he's gone. He seems to have... He's having issues. I'm having... I'm having issues. Hang on. Oh, uh... Boot him back up. Right. Is he okay now? Oh, this is weird. Ah, maybe it's to do with the sensitivity there. Ah. Oh, I know. Right. Just need to chink some things. There we go. I think I've got it now. Yeah? Yeah, there we go. That's better. I am fixed. Right. Again, let me know if the sound levels on this game are a bit loud. It does seem a little bit loud. But yeah. I'm gonna pop this one on in a sec. Just need to check some things. There you go. A little bit, uh, just had to do a bit of a long walk. But, well, longish walk. Wow, thank you. I'm, I'm surprised. I. I'm, I'm really grateful that you all hang ar hung around and waited, because, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. I didn't want you walking on your home in no, the dark <laughs> at this time of night, so... Yeah, I know, that's the one from earlier. <laughs> Just as I was about to leave, that happened. <laughs> I haven't actually watched this intro yet. Um, I'm this probably one. just going to go through this just yet, but I'm going to start winding down. I yeah, think. I'll shut this door in that. I'm probably going to keep going for a little while. We'll yeah. just do a few more games and then... I'm quite happy with what I've managed to get done tonight though. Oh, I forgot to set this to full screen, whoops. <laughs> The pixel art is really nice in this because it's obviously it's it's using assets from the original game, but it's also got a lot of custom stuff like that shot just there. I'm pretty sure was completely custom. Um, whoever's making this game obviously really freaking loves Pulse Man because like the amount of work that's gone into this, this just looks so professional. And as I say, it's like. It's like this friggin' Sonic Mania. It's got voice acting. There's a rampaging train running through the city. 
The train seems to be without a conductor. It's got like proper voice acting and everything. Along the outskirts of populated areas. Police are on route to attempt to block in against it's, the shuttle. It's just Sightings gorgeous just looking. Like, I mean, the original Pulse Man was gorgeous looking, but this is like even more so. This is like if they made a sequel for the Saturn or something. I know I keep saying Saturn tonight, but you know. It's not going to be PlayStation, is it? It's a Sega game. It's a Sega game. Chasing this guy for half an hour. It's going to be longer if we don't get a move on. I guess. But how much? I just want to see if I can set this to full so screen fast. so I can see it a bit better. You could enter the car's network by the news station. We need to check if the crew is okay anyway. I'd be curious to see who like the voice actors for this are. They're just like the people that are working on it or anything like that. Let's see if I can. Oh. No, no, sorry about this. I'm just gonna pop back out. I am going to. Full res it. There we go. Yeah, so the gamepad stuff is under construction at the moment. So this will have controller support, but currently I'm using another program to make it work. I'll skip all this. We just watched it. <laughs> we just watched it. Yep, 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 yep. Rocks are falling on her head. All, all, all play. Right, yeah, so I've. This is a key. This is only keyboard at the moment, but I have set this up on a controller. I've got a little sparky move. I haven't actually played that much Pulse Man, so I'm not going to be very good at this. Nice remastered version of the music, like remixes of the music from that game as well. I've never really played a whole lot of it. It's always one of those games I've wanted to play more of. Definitely. I want to say this has slightly more moves. <laughs> the only thing, right, the only thing with the voice acting is every time he says that, I keep thinking that he's saying something like Bullpecker. I don't know what he's actually saying, but I can't unhear it. I'm not sure what he's actually saying, but... Yeah, so there's re they've done a really good job of like, all the voice acting in this, because the original game did have like voice acting as well, to some extent, and obviously it was really scratchy because it was on a Mega Drive, but... but... Yeah, even these sprites, which are from the original game, have been given more colour and... Flash Arrow! Flash Arrow! Flash Arrow! And get him to go bull pecker again. Bull pecker! I shouldn't be taking the mic. I think this is very good. <laughs> I think this is very well made, alright? I'm, I'm taking the mic out of the voices, but they're great. It's, I'm actually super impressed by the voice work for this. It's, it's, it's way better than you would expect from a fan game. Just, in, just having full voice acting at all is... It's fun to have voice acting, yeah, it certainly is. It really, really enhances this, I think. If it didn't have that, I think it wouldn't stand out quite so much. I mean, it would, because look at the friggin' thing. It's gorgeous. Can someone do this for Dynamite Heady? Can we have a Dynamite Heady fan game that's like, you know, got more colours and... I don't know about voice acting. I don't, I don't know if voice acting would suit Dynamite Heady, but because they're puppets. It's a puppet! <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to be the best at this. Wow. I've only, I've only played this for like a couple minutes just to test it, just to make sure it works with the stream. Can I look down on the button? I guess not. Whoa. It's so much detail. Like the just all this stuff falling out. Ow. Was that blood as well? Oh, whoops. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Butter fingers. I'm just slipping off the sides. Fucking idiot. Whoa. I feel like the game's actually slowing down a little bit from all the, uh, all the stuff going on. Oops. Just walking into everything. Oh, yeah. Have it. This really is making me want to play more of the original game. I, I just seem to die very quickly in the original game. It's quite difficult. 
get my head around. It doesn't play like most other platformers. Ooh. It's kind of a shame that you can't like look down when you duck. That would be useful. Can I jump on that or is that a baddie? It's probably a baddie, right? I presume that's not a platform. Oh, it is. Okay. It looks evil. I thought it was a platform. I didn't think it was a platform. I thought it was going to hurt me because it had evil eyes. Oh god, boss. What? Look at this creepy fucker. <laughs> All the villains in this seem to be cat robots. That's what I can tell. Ooh. I do like that up kick thing. I don't recall if that was in the original or not. I assume it might have been, but that's a fun move. <clears throat> I don't even know if I'm hitting it, if I'm honest. Yeah, I am. Teabag it. PSA, landing on spikes hurt. Yeah. <laughs> in. Get in! Get in! Get in! Ooh! Ooh, look at this! This is, this is cool looking. So I know like the gimmick of this is you can yeah you sort of have to like rev up didn't you you have to walk around a bit to get uh to get your spark going I know that much you sort of have to run a bit to get more powerful attacks and the uh... oops <laughs> yeah I'm still bad at pulse man turns out <laughs> Kind of like Mega Man, but not, I guess. I don't know, it doesn't really play like any other platformer I can think of off the top of my head. Kind of its own thing. Like a lot of those like later Mega Drive platformers like Dynamite Heady and Ristar and that, they kind of do their own thing. That was cool looking. Oh god. No, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Am I supposed to be in here? I mean, there's enemies in here. Oh, it's a secret. Okay, fair enough. I wasn't sure if that was like a glitch or... What? Oh, pecker your way up there. Go on. Oh, this music's good. Ow. I'm trying to... I'm trying to... No! I'm trying to rev up so I can ball pecker. There we go. Ah! Still couldn't reach. I'll do it from here, it'll be safer. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go bounce back. Even these enemies are a little bit uh, Mega Man, but they don't speed up when you go near them, so. Ooh. Ow. Ah, oh, bugger. <laughs> Alright, thanks for the stream, but go ahead to bed. Take care and good night. Oh, thank you very much, So Fox. Thanks for popping in. Um, thanks for the raid, especially. That was really good of you. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Especially since I was, I, I wasn't even around when that happened. Like, oh god, what keeps hitting me? Oh, there's like a little tiny bug. Get it? Because we're in in the microchip land, we're inside a computer or something. <laughs> there's like a tiny little bug thing flying around me. I think it's these things. Yeah, sure. Those enemies are so tiny. <laughs> yeah, really, I should be going to bed. Uh, at some point, but I kind of want to just keep going until, like, uh, I've played most of the stuff I want to play tonight. But I'm definitely going to do a second stream, I just don't know what day yet. Uh, it's going to depend. It'll probably be like, hmm, I think. I don't think one will be a good day to do one. If I just break certain ones. Oh, well, never mind. I can avoid letting the little bugs out. I'm getting there. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh god. There we go. Man, this is just really slick. 
If you told me this was like an unreleased Pulse Man 2, I'd probably believe you. Like, oh yeah, we we're gonna make a 32x... 32x Pulse Man or something. So well made. That is a cute pool screen. Just there like, Hello! You gonna resume the game? Do you wanna get on with it? Oh, I'll just keep blinking. I'll blink for you. Alright, bye. Oh boy, what's all this? I kinda wish I could look down. That's the only thing I'm kind of like... Oh, and pecker your way out there. Oh god! No, 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 no. Whoa, this level's confusing. It's like trains. But I'm, I, uh, uh, uh. I don't want me to go this way, I guess. Yeah, full pecker your way out there, come on. I'm gonna have to look up what he's actually saying. I stop calling it ball pecker. Oh, oh god! No, don't want to be there. Don't want to be there. Don't want to be there. Go up, 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 up. No, bugger. Let it be known that I'm not. I'm not very good at false man. Turns out. I was never good at Mega Man either, so... Up you go, up you go. But I'm just so impressed by this. This just looks incredible. Oh, there's a life there. I could do with that. Oh, he sort of surfs on these bits. I mean, I don't know how many lives I've got. Oh, I seem to have four. Alright, we don't want to touch the floor here. Elements of this have given me vibes of uh, Freedom Planet, actually. Is this, is this working? Am I hurting this thing? I don't think I am. Ooh. Okay, now I've got to be careful going across these. Because there's electric -ness. Yeah, that. Go up, go up, go up, go up! Whoa! Whoa, okay. I guess that was... That was intentional. Oh god, there's more of these little tiny bugs. Damn it! <laughs> I keep dying to these tiny little bugs! I'll play this until I game over, I suppose. Whatever that may be. Oh, can I get that life again? Ah, oh, nice, I can. Alright, well, as long as I can keep getting that, I'm not gonna... Oh, just be careful here. Oh, there we go. Nice. Music is bloody brilliant. Can I go down? Or... Oh, no. How did I get down here before? I did something. Probably something to do with the. This. Where are you going? Oh wait, no, 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 no. Nope, 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 nope. Down there, down there, down there. Go on. I'm not sure how I did this before. How did I... Hmm. Am I supposed to... Am I supposed to be down here? <laughs> I'm not convinced. Hmm. 
Did I... Did I go out of bounds? Am I out of bounds? <laughs> and I can restart. Will it take me back to... Yeah, okay, that's fair. I think I may have gone out of bounds or something. I don't know what happened there. There you go. Oh, Christ. I didn't expect him to do all that. This is just fun to do, you just like jumping bouncing around as an electric ball. Wasn't like I seem to remember like Pikachu's attacks were sort of inspired by this game. Because they literally made they, they literally started working on Pokemon sometime after not long after making this. As I know. Oh, okay. I don't know what I did different from last time. But... I'll try and rev up a little bit. Come on, down you go. Down you go, down you go. Oh, those little baddies are here again. Oh, 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 I didn't want to go back up there, but okay. Wow, this just keeps going, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright, I'll stop. <laughs> what are we doing now? Oh, I'm heading off. I've walked about four or five hours today as a training for a walking event, and my body's like, go to sleep at me now. Go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, thanks for, yeah, cheers for popping in and hanging around for as long as you have. It was awesome. Uh, good to see you again. Uh, I'll see you another time. Bye bye. Let's, uh... Oh, well, there we go. Bye bye. See you later. Oh, where do we want to be going now? Down there, maybe? Um, I'm going to admit, this level design is a little bit confusing to me. Um, there we go. Right, we want to be up here, I think. I'll avoid this worm thing. Ow. Alright. I managed to go, I think, out of bounds earlier. Uh, I'm not quite sure how. Oh, okay. I think this is the right way. I think. Mm, that's just fun to do. More of those little flying enemies about, so just be careful. Ooh. Ow. Ooh, what's going on here? Oh, I guess that was the end of the area. Cool, cool. Oh god, what is that? Oh god, that's a boss. Third thing. Aviator something. I didn't get to see the rest. Oh god. That doesn't look good. Yeah, this is really giving me Freedom Planet 5, which, you know, Freedom Planet was kind of like a combo, a wombo combo of... Ah! A wombo combo of, like... Sonic, Mega Man, and Treasure Games, and that's kind of what this is as well. And I guess it did have some influence from Pulse Man as well. That's why I wouldn't. Yeah, this boss is really Freedom Planet with all the segmented parts and stuff. But then I haven't played enough of Pulse Man to really know what the bosses in that are like. So. Oh god. Yeah. I died. <laughs> I have seven lives, whether I'll actually yeah, play through this whole boss, I don't know. Oh hey there, uh, Gabby AP APF. 
fight against syntax. <laughs> yeah, it's a syntax error. Inside this computer. Oh, that keeps that keeps getting me that. If I can, uh... I wonder if I can ball pecker my way around this. I guess not. Stop. I'm not actually sure if I'm hurting this thing or not. Well, I definitely seem to be doing something. Keep like charging up my little flash arrows. Oh, jeez. What I was going to do there. <laughs> I'm going to charge up my thing, but I need the room. Okay, I'm going to die. Oh, hello. His face is red now. That's a good sign. Right, try not to get hurt. Oh, did you? Ooh. Well, <laughs> oh yes, of course, yeah. Syntax from Freedom Planet, yes. It's been it's been a few years since I have played that. Honestly, I've got it on the Switch, like physically, but really I should be playing it again on there. It's been a few years since I beat that game. Yeah, this is really Freedom. I I thought it did feel very Freedom Planet, and I'm, I'm I guess I'm not wrong. <laughs> Whoa, right on top of me. What? Ooh. Have a fresh arrow to the face, mate. Yeah. I really hope that's actually hurting, otherwise I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Ow. Ooh, uh... Be Ow. Well. What about hitting with that? Where am I? I don't know. <laughs> I was wondering what was going on there. I managed to get his face red earlier, so I presume that was a, a good sign. Ah, bum. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to beat this, guys. I, I haven't got the. I ain't got the skills, and it's late, <laughs> and I'm not going to be great this time of night, I guess. Aviator Fizz or something. I'm not actually sure, because I've never really played much Pulse Man, I don't really know what the nuances of how it plays are. I presume that noise is a good noise, that pew, pew. and not like... Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's gone yellow now, so that must be a good sign. This gives me pretty good tells when it's going to do stuff. Yeah, I think that's doing something. It sounds it sounds like a good thing. Right. Yeah, that looks good. Just got to hit his face a few more times. Ah, I shouldn't have stood there. Or there. Now I can't see what I'm doing. Right. Try not to get hit now. I think I. This is the first time I feel like I actually know what I'm doing, and then I die again, but. Yeah. That was the first time I felt like. I kind of wish I could pick this up later, but. I can't go back for it, can I? Oh, wait, yes, I can. Ah, okay. Maybe I should come back to that. Can I come back to that, or is it going to lock me off? Alright, we'll give this a couple... Well, I've got three, I've got three more lives, so that's going to be my... Ah. Alright, let's get a few shots in... Oh! we just going to do the... Yeah, I'm Turned around, I don't know why. 
Yeah, Freedom Planet was hard. That game got tough, man. That game got real tough. It's turning that way. Ah, no. Ah, I'm so rubbish. <laughs> I kind of wish I could grab this. Maybe I should try using this more. I don't know. Oh, this. Oh. All right. Well, I've got two more goes. If I game over, I game over, and I'll move on. <laughs> I'll be all, all night playing one boss when I've got so many games to try out. Ah. What's he gonna do? Right, that's... Yellow. I feel like I'm really close on this, but I just keep like messing up somewhere. I just keep getting cheap shotted by stuff like that. No. I hope you guys didn't come here for like good gameplay or anything, because. Uh... <laughs> That's not what this is. Why did they put this here? I can't have it. I want to see if I can go back for that. Because that would actually probably make this doable. Nope, I can't. Ow. Yeah, I feel like... Ow. I feel like if I play through Freedom Planet again, I'm not going to be much better than I was the first time I played it. But I kind of want to play it again before the sequel comes out, whenever that may be. Uh, sometime next year, I think. Uh, red face. But then I've also only got one hit, so... Alright, it's doing the flame one now. Come on! Who's facing? Yeah! I think I got it! Woo! Woo! To be continued! Yay, I beat the demo! Have you played it with all the characters? Oh, what, Freedom Planet? Uh, I played for it mostly just with... Um, Lilac, was that her name? Lilac, the main character? Um, I played a little bit of the other two characters, but I never actually beat it with them. Well, I say two characters, I think there were, I think there were extra characters. Wasn't there like a fourth character that they almost put in, but it wasn't quite finished? I can't remember. It was like this little green dude. It was like a green bloke. But yeah, that's, a, that's the Pulseman demo. That is amazing. Like, that is seriously like the Sonic Mania of Pulseman. <laughs> But, you know, I don't think Pulseman has a massive following. It's like, it's not even like Nights into Dreams small. It's even, I'd say it's even smaller than that. But it deserves more. And the fact that it's getting a fan game of this caliber is incredible. I played it with Lilac and Miller. I think both were fun. Yeah, uh, Miller, is Miller the, 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 like, the rabbit girl who shoots like the green splodgy things? <laughs> You know what? I might even... Well, how do I quit out? He doesn't want me to quit out, apparently. Nah, I didn't want to start... <laughs> I didn't want to start again. Let's play it again! That's okay. <laughs> right, so that's Pulse Man. What else we got? I'm gonna just shut the door real quick. Yeah, I might even consider streaming the game and all just ex just anticipate that I get salty because the latter half of that game was ridiculous. Like there were like bosses on bosses on bosses and levels that went on for like forty minutes. Or well, at least they took me forty minutes. I don't know if they were meant to go on for forty minutes, but like that game just gets ridiculous. Like the bosses are absurd. Like not in a bad way, obviously. It was frustrating, but it was also very, very well made. Uh, yeah. Let's find something else to plop on.
Try it. There's a few here that are like multiplayer only, so there's not much point doing them ones. Go for another indie, I guess. And... Oh, I'll tell you what, oh, what was the shooter? The one that I thought was something else earlier. Oh, mate, what was it called? The problem, I'm trying to remember what they are, but oh, you know what, let's go for this. This is a nice chill thing. We'll play this instead. It's nice and chill and cute. So we'll play something nice and chill and cute so I don't have to worry about dying to a boss a hundred times. What we will do. On keyboard only or I don't think it is. Popping up? Oh, not yet. Hang on. Uh, hmm. yeah. Sometimes they don't always come up straight away. I don't know why. Maybe this one wants a window instead of. Yeah, let's try windows instead. Oh, that's just plain white for some reason. Uh, that's peculiar. Let's try game capture again. That's really weird. And can <laughs> can OBS capture this game or can it not? That's just the question. Well, you can hear the music probably. Oh, I really want to play it. All right, I'll I'll reboot it. Sometimes it just wants you to open it a second time for some reason. I don't know why. This to me earlier, no, it just didn't pop up. Come on! Can we not have technical issues when everything's been fine? Mostly. Come on! Why isn't it like this one? For some reason, if you try to do it in. Uh... Oh, hello! Oh, I got it. It's really pixelated because it's really small, but if I blow it up... There we go, we got it. That was awkward. I don't know why it was being so funny, but... Yeah, this is Seaside Fireflies, and I don't know why, but immediately it gives me Tojo Manel vibes, with just like the aesthetic. Specifically the most recent one, that back into the groove. I don't know why. Let's go drink some tea. It's got really cute artwork. Tea before it gets cold. Right. Like this. Dot dot dot. Dum, 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 dum. On a beautiful summer's evening. Whoop! Bird! There's a bird! Hey kid, I know it ain't none of my business. But you doing okay? Uh, there's some kid. Sorry. I've just been trying to catch fireflies all evening. But I've been having no luck. Dot dot dot. I didn't know chickens talked. I'm just gonna quietly ignore that you thought I, a seagull, that I, a seagull, look like a chicken. And instead help you out with your little dilemma. Kids shouldn't be worrying about whether or not they can collect enough fireflies to be happy. It should be free to roam and eat Twizzlers as they please. This, this game is brought to you by Twizzlers. Uh, in fact, I'll collect every firefly on the beach for you. BRB. Yeah, there we go. So, please collect as many as you can. We need them to save the world. Of course we do. So, I'm this little seagull, which again, I, I thought it was a chicken as well, or maybe a duck. If this was a duck, I'd be so much more into it. You make it quacks. I can jump. Ah! Uh, ah! Oh! Oh! There is a squawk button. Okay, I'm into this now. Is this game too quiet? I'm gonna bring it up. Here's the wee bit. There we go. 
me up a little bit. So you can hear the squawks. Let me know if the sound levels are decent. If there's anyone in the chat right now. Oh, hello. That's what I say. I don't know what that girl's blabbering about. It's not that the world's going to render anything. I mean, she seems to think it is. So, I'm willing to believe the lady. Did he fart as he jumped? No, it's just like a little cute squelchy noise, but it kind of sounds like a fart at first. Mm, I just think this is cute. This is really cute. I'm gonna grab the fireflies. Who's this weirdo? If I was gathering fireflies, I would totally press the spaceball or the said button to grab ones flying high in the air. Yeah, I, I, I figured that out. Cheers. Wait, what? There's a time limit? What the hell? What's this time? What's this time of stuff? Ah! Why are we being? Why am I being panicked with a timer? What the hell? Ah! I didn't realise there was a time limit. I've only got seventy odd. Oh! Did you see that? Well, I got in the water. He got in the little dinghy or something. Ah! What is this creepy pasta over here? Oh god! Oh! Uh, okay, that was. That was weird. What happened? Dang, am I dead? I'm sorry to tell you, little seagull, but the world has come to an end. Well, she did warn us. With one hit or from a meteorite, the world as we knew it shattered into pieces. Everything died in one hit. Despite you having gathered 87 fireflies, it was not enough to s for us to save the world. Oh, dang, you're dead too. But there was, like, a lot of fireflies on that beach. I don't think I could have got all of them in time. I also just thought you were some kid that wanted Twizzlers or something. This game is brought to you by Twizzlers. So if you really wanted the Fireflies to save everyone, why didn't you just ask them for help? Dot dot dot. Fireflies can't talk. Oh yeah, huh? Oh wow, okay. That's, that's that, is it? This, this just has a, <laughs> this just has a time limit and that's, that's your lot, is it? Alright, let's try that again, because I'm really curious. You have 87. Oh, I have 87. Doesn't mean I just need to grab the rest. Alright, well, we're doing this again. Does that mean... Oh, no. I need to collect them all again. Yeah, I want to get in the water. Because look at this, look at this. Wait. Oh, I can't do it here. That's weird. Yee! That is adorable. Get in a little dinghy. Alright, well, I'm definitely not going to be able to get these all in, in time. So I guess it's just like a time-limited thing and you just have to grab as many as you can before the world ends. <laughs> Spent too much time, like, walking. See how many of them I can actually physically get. Let's not dilly-dally too much this time, let's just grab them. I thought this was going to be a nice chill thing and then it's got like a freaking end of the world time limit. I want to talk to the cute mermaid that I saw over there. I don't think I'm going to have time. <laughs> Unless I just dedicate time to a dog person or something over here. This, it costs at least $75. There's a lot of these things. There's like 200 of the buggers. I don't know how you're supposed to get them all within that short space of time. Oh god, here we go again. It's kind of like, uh, what was that game called? Minute? I don't know if there's like a difference each time I play this or if it's just going to be the same every time. Maybe it's just a score attack thing. There's a dog. Let's talk to the dog. Woof G. Woof G. Well, I got I got more than last time. Should I actually try and aim for like? All right. Well, you now oh you now have two hundred and one in total. What does that mean? Okay, this is mysterious. I'm I I, I kind of want to keep playing just to see where it goes. It's like it's one of those games where it, like it looks like it's looping, but then maybe it's doing something in the background to uh. 
Wait, what? What's this? Oh, there's a shop! I'm your digital assistant. Use your mouse cursor to hover over an item and I'll tell you all about it. Alright, I guess I'll use my mouse. This item's locked! You need 200 fireflies. Well... Oh, okay. Boost your running speed. Ah, oh, I see where this is going now. Ah... Uh... Wait, what? See the cube! The cube is near! Oh, so there is a way to just play it normally without the... Oh, okay, so I can just explore. That's alright then. I kind of wanted to just explore anyway. <laughs> Press R to reset the level we've collected all the bugs. Press escape back or use the creepy computer to leave. Okay. Oh my god, what is that? Monstrosity. I've got high hopes for this free hugs start up and running. Every free hug gets a hole punched in your card, and five holes punched gets you an extra free hug. I'll have the hugging market cornered in no time. It still squawks, so I'm happy. Well, look at this robot lady. Someone has been messing with timelines. I wouldn't happen to know anything about it, would you? Mm, no, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just a seagull. I'm, I've got nothing to do with it. How was that mermaid? With this weird thing. They tell me to keep waiting for the good times, but it's hard to do that sometimes. I still get up and to try anyway, though. Okay. Oh, there's a mermaid. What's a mermaid? Oh, I'm sorry, but seagulls are not permitted to drink at midday. Company rules, I'm afraid. Okay. That's fine. There's many perks of the afterlife. You'll be able to read all about them in the upcoming book, How to Phase Through Walls. Right. A lot of ghost people here. It's a little bit worrying. I think most people are dead. Hmm. Okay. So... Am I faster now than I was before? Let's go back to the computer. This is really interesting. I'm curious where this is going now. Ah, okay. So yeah, this is just like a... So have I got this now? Welcome to Fluffy OS. I've got 15 now, so I guess you have to just like grind for fireflies like accumulatively so you can unlock this stuff. Okay, take an exit. Go back to the original game. This, oh yeah, wow, I'm a lot faster now. Okay, that's good. Oh yeah, that makes this way easier. I. I'm really into this concept now. It's like it's a one-off thing, and you you have to go as quick as you can, but you can eventually speed yourself up and maybe make maybe the fireflies will come towards me at some point, like as like a magnet or something. And you can just explore if you do want to just talk to the NPCs and stuff. As long as I get to squawk occasionally, I don't mind. I've just got to do so many loops. I feel like this is going to be one of those games that gets cursed very... I mean, it's sort of cursed already, but I mean, like, it's going to get really cursed. Maybe got to say. No, okay. Nothing interesting, really. Seagulls don't tend to sound this cute. <laughs> they tend to be more like... Horrible. Oh, I've got 104. This is the rest of my night, I think. Just grinding fireflies in this thing. Is this a full game or is this a demo? I think it said it was a demo. Yes, it is a demo. It does straight up say demo. I'm well into this, though. Right, I've got 124. That's pretty good. I don't know where the rest are though, they must be all over here. Oh wow, yeah, there's a lot more over here. More characters. There's an arcade machine. A ghost arcade machine. Alright, well, that's that end 
100 again. Oh yeah, huh? You got 151. You have 166 in total. <laughs> Let's go through again. Let me just check if uh, I think I need 300 to get the next thing. That's if the demo allows me to play beyond that. Let's see if we can go over this way a little bit and talk to some of the things over here, like this Dr. Robotnik looking guy. It's like old man Dr. Robotnik. Arcade machine. I'm gonna still concentrate on choosing that my hair hang down like this. Very riveting. This was my house. There's a lot of ghosts hanging out around here. Let's get this character out. Yep. It doesn't really give you an idea of how much time you've got until the last 30 seconds, which is quite stress inducing. Just all the stuff on that side. Right, let's just run around and grab as many as we can. As many as we can. Don't worry too much about the ones that you have to jump for, just get all the. Run around and grab as Alright, it's about to kick off now. Just notice. Definitely getting more on each run now, which is good. But at some point they probably want you to get all of them in one run. Because obviously that would be the proper ending. Oh, God. Oh, I want to get loads. Wow, I've almost got all of them. Kind of. Obviously I haven't, but... Alright, so I have 337 in total now, so let's go around again. This is really interesting, this, this has more depth than I was expecting. Alright, so... Let's just do it then. Instead of coring when you press X, you'll instead burp, releasing an excess of seagull gas. Oh, that's useful. Alright, what's this one? Oh, that's 75. Okay. Oh, I have that now. Wait. I thought that was supposed to stop me from up... Hmm. Down. I didn't seem... The, the thing I just unlocked didn't seem to do anything. Ah, there we go. I can see it. There we go. I'll try it now. Oh god! Oh boy, that doesn't seem terribly useful. That was worth 300 fireflies. Yeah. <laughs> right. That was well worth it. No, you're talking about that was worth every penny. Or by every penny, I mean every firefly. Right. Well, let's try and grab at least 70 for the. Uh... Definitely yeah, seems like a good idea to get the ones on the uh, the left hand side first because they seem more to the ground. If this is a demo, then I presume it's not going to let me see the ending or something. I have to see if this game's like out already or something, like if it's on HIO or something. Is They've got me. They've got me good now. I, I want to see how this goes. I'm literally like well into this. Trying to get under um, something. What a strange thing to show up at Sage. <laughs> like, this is not the kind of thing you expect to see at uh, Sage at all. It's, like bizarre little indie game but it's cool I'm glad it was there because I might have not known about it otherwise uh, well, I've 
damage to 150 something. Okay. I'm not gonna keep playing this. Just gonna see if I can see what the next unlock is. And dead. Alright. Oh. Yeah, let's see if we can uh, buy something else. <laughs> I really don't see how that's useful, but. So there's an 150 thing, what's that? Catch more fireflies with this visible expanded radius. Ah, nice. That seems more useful. We'll use that. Oh, I can buy this as well. When in evening mode, display the timer of your entire run instead of only seeing it for the last 30 seconds. Ah, that's also very useful. So I have 120 seconds, basically. Ooh, bigger radius. That seems very useful. Still think getting all of them is going to be difficult, but this is definitely going to help. All right, I'm going. I'm going to do one more run, and if I don't get it, I don't get it. But I really want to try and get it. Like I'm determined now. And then it'll probably go, oh, buy the full game to see the ending or something, I don't know. I really don't know what kind of, what this is really. I don't even know if this is a game you can buy. It might not even be out yet. She's actually offering me drinks now, but I don't know if that's an actual mechanic or not. I, I can buy a thing. Alright, well, I've got 123. I think I've cleared that area out. Cleared that area out. Alright. I've only got 3 seconds. Don't think I'm gonna get every single one, but I can try. The ones that you have to jump for that waste your time the most. Uh, come on. Oh god, come on! <gasps> I did it! I did it! I did it! I got all the fireflies! Wow, you got all the fireflies! Ah, I did it! Not sure what's up with that. Can I eat those fireflies if you don't need them anymore? Yeah, seagulls love fi eating fireflies. Actually, it did just kind of save the world, maybe. Wow, they kind of just blend in with the. Do you yearn for your past? Oh god, here we go. Now we're getting now we're getting creepy pasta, probably. Oh, forgive me. Yet, my employer can offer you all the time in the world. Oh yes, I was that computer. I already trust out the computer, but no fakes are necessary. Oh, it's the devil or something. That's my personal Mr. Sales guarantee. Okay, oh, okay. that was weird. Seaside Fireflies will return? Question mark? So I guess that was like kind of an ending. Okay, that was really cool. What the heck? Oh, I'm blocking out everyone's Twitter names, hang on. I'm gonna turn my face off for a second. Oh, it's a bit late now, but you can see the see the credits. Oh, so it was like a game jam thing. Or like it was originally a game. Oh, sound sources, Shrek on the Xbox and Drawn to Life. What? What? <laughs> I love the art style. That was really cute. Thank you for playing. Well, weren't that lovely? Wasn't that lovely? And a bit strange and a bit creepy. Press A to return to the title screen. You finished with 16 seconds left. Nice. So this says it's a demo, but that felt like a full little game jam thing to me. That was like a full game jam 
thingy. Is there anything else? Like, have I pretty much done this in? I think I've done this in. But, loved every minute of it, honestly. Like, if I go to the computer, is there anything else to buy? No, there isn't. I can go to... Explore mode for a sec. Just talk to people. What a beautiful day at the beach. Will you clap butterflies with me? Oh, so are they butterflies now? Is that what they are? What happens if you catch all of them here now? There's that devil guy. Yeah, okay, I guess it's... This mode seems... This mode seems to have a lot more ghosts around and a lot less... Uh... Oh, I can't use the burp here either. It seems. I think a lot of these characters just say the same things. I'm just curious what happens if you catch all of them in this mode now. Oh my god, what is this monkey? Monkey says bugs like to hide in bushes and trees. Ook. Alright. <laughs> Thanks for that advice. I mean, I've technically already beaten this, but I just kind of want to see what happens if you collect everything in this section. If anything happens at all. Yeah, the dog's not here anymore. Unless that's the ghost of the dog. Nope. Oh, pressing the F button makes the screen go full screen. Oh. Why tell me that now? <laughs> Seems a bit late. I think I've got all of them except for that one there and that one there. At least I don't have to waste my time. I don't have to rush around in this mode. I can just... I can just do a bit of this. I'm still going to run around and grab them all just in case. But let's actually try and talk to some of the characters. Our scout troop has got to practice gathering fireflies by gathering butterflies? What kind of hokey baloney is that? Yeah, so this is kind of like practice mode. They're all in the exact same positions, it seems. Got some more characters over here I haven't seen before. Don't swim out too far, okay? Mummy can't get her hair wet today. <laughs> Wee! I'm drowning! <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is an angry penguin. This is the worst ski resort I've ever been to in my life. Life. What like fuzzy ghost people. Our oh, guys are so beautiful that we'd love to put them all in zoos if we could. Oh, you can't go beyond these uh, boundaries, I guess. Oh, the way everything like fades out in the background into like flat colours is kind of cool looking. It's like you can still see all the stuff, but it's just like. Yeah, you can still see characters in the far distance, but they're like flat colours. That's really cool looking. Maybe there's a party going on? Okay. I'm not sure if there's more to it. So, is there seriously sound effects in this from Shrek on the Xbox? Was it the burp by any chance? Oi, oh, howdy! At this rate, I'm going on. I'd say the mighty bridge fence will be completed by this evening and no later. That's a Mr. Winker promise! Alright, there's a raccoon on a scooter. Find the garbage, full time tail. Full time job, let me tell you. Did you know some people just throw stuff away? Oh, hello. There is a party going on. Hello. We drive all the way across the ocean to dance to these groovy beats. Intense polka music and audible to see Coles is playing. Yeah, they're dancing to my music. This this music right here. Mm. This is rabbit. Ah, oh, yeah, this party is rocking. Those can dance too, unlike cats who don't. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't remember this area even being here. Is that Sonic? Sonic the Hedgehog's here. Wow, I love Sage, especially when I put a little bit of it on top of a chili dog. Ah, finally, finally, someone made a Sage reference at Sage. <laughs> it took 20 odd years, it took about 20 year, 21 years I think, or 22 years or however long it was, 
Maybe if I stopped ending my sentences with insults, I would be able to sell more of my fuzzes to you rats with wings. <laughs> Please stop touching my buttons and pulling my analog stick. I'm not an arcade machine. I mean, you look like one. I'm a small, charming town, cozy shop, and activities to pursue. <laughs> is that is that the jag is that the jaguar mascot is that the jaguar logo? I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Do the math, bird boy. How many bits does the jaguar have? Oh well, there's there's your answer. There it is. That's that's, <laughs> that's totally what that is. More funky dancing people. I can't access. I cannot access them. I cannot talk to them. Look at them go. I love that Sonic's just here. Well, it's a guy in a Sonic costume, maybe. I don't know, but he's just here. Oh my god, I can't, like, you know, believe this is maybe the biggest dance party this island's ever seen, and yet, like, everyone is dancing to, you know, intense polka music. I oh, wonder the last two fireflies. I must have missed them somehow. See the cube. Oh, now I know what they were talking about by see the cube. The cube is near. Ah, it all makes sense now. It all makes sense now. Right. Uh, yeah, I somehow completely missed this area before. Where are the last two um, fireflies? I somehow missed them. We don't have bounds over there, or I guess not. Yeah, I missed two, but I don't know how. They're in the bushes, near the monkey. Oh, there's one. There's the other one. How did I manage to miss two? I honestly couldn't tell you. Now I've got to run around the entire level finding the last one. There it is. Well, I got it. I got the last one again, but it obviously didn't do anything because it's just explore mode. leave now. I guess that's what that is. I kind of want to see if that party is in the other mode. If I turn the burp back on. I just want to see if that party's there. Oh, I see. The party's closed. No, I know I couldn't go there before. Okay. Alright. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop there. I said I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> wow, that was that was an experience. That was certainly a thing. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, Alright, I think I might do like maybe one more game or something. I want to drink this. Uh... Yeah, let's let's get this thing to like seven hours, I guess. <laughs> Even though a chunk of that would be away, but you know. I'm really, I'm really glad I played through that now. I've pretty much crashed the whole thing, but you know. Uh, right, what should we try? What should we try next? Hmm. I think we could. Have another fan game or another indie game. Some of these were. I actually wouldn't have got half of these were, to be honest. Stella Nova the Shmup? Have a look. I just wanted to play this one tonight, but I forgot about it, or I got it confused with something else. Might be this one? Stella Nova. Yes, this is the one. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap up on here. And I think this game might be a bit loud, so I'm going to bring it down a wee bit. There we go. Let's, let's play with some settings. Look at that full screen. There we go. It's got a bunch of filters, but I think I'm going to stick with what I have. It's nice. There we go. Oh, I just need to... That's it. Oop. A wee bit. There we go. 
There we go. This game looks amazing. I, I haven't played much of it yet, but visually it's like Thunder Force 4 or something. It's got that kind of look to it. It's got loads of crazy effects. So, yeah, let's play it. I'll make this the last game tonight, I think. Oh, jeez, I've died already. <laughs> Stop. And again. You know what, I'm going to restart. I don't want to, like, get halfway through the level and then... So, B. Charge into rocks. Ah, uh, oh, died again. These rocks make weird, cute noises when you charge into them. It sounds squeaky. Oh, I died again. Wow. I'm already sold on this one as well, by the way. This, this is another one of those games that I played for like five seconds. It's like, yep. Yep. <laughs> it feels good. It looks good. It sounds good. It's good. Sold. I'll just keep doing this. Oh, uh, that. I can only go up that high, I guess, yeah. Oh, I've got a charge. Yeah, very vulnerable, it's right down to the, like, the weapon selection stuff. Played immediately. Fire flight, showtime! Whee! Oh god, oh god, oh god. Help, help! I wanna get, I wanna get down there, but I don't wanna get hit. Like that. That's exact. <laughs> wow. Woo. Yeah, I wanna continue. Gonna make me start the level again, though. Like. Yeah, I think so. Well. Get good sun. Right. As you're killing things, you seem to be upgrading the weapon. So the more you use it, the more it's gonna. Yeah. I can see a percentage on the weapon, so maybe once I get to 100 it will work. Yeah, so if I start using the other one, more. Ah, oh, yeah, that, that just shot the uh, XP right up for it. Yeah, so each weapon has XP then. That's cool. This one's a bit harder to use, but... Oh, I think it's faster now. Oh, what am I doing? That might be good for the boss. Yeah, it's got a bit of a like XP management system going on here, which is pretty cool. Adds a bit more depth to it. Don't like how I can't get anywhere near this boss. Or maybe I'll be that dodge thing more often. Ah! Boss seems tough, man. I can use that dodge thing, but then there's not a lot of room to. Well, Christ. Yeah, this is hard. The boss just seems like an immediate, like... 
boss seems like an immediate like leap in there. If I die straight away there, then oh okay, there's a uh, comp and then give you another one. Twenty-five-year-old star pilot consistently top of her class. Yada yada yada. Shit. There's me arsenal. There's me enemies. Anything else I should know about? Like easy mode? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. I've already died like once, so I really need all those lights for the boss. This part's not so bad. I can do this. Whatever that is. No, I missed it. And I'm dead. Yeah, if you lose even one life before the boss, you're kind of doomed for the boss. Better weapons as well, that'll help. Yeah, this whole XP system for the weapons is really neat. I don't think it's unique to this game, but definitely doing it's adding to it. I don't know if hitting the rocks with B is giving me XP as well, I'm not quite sure. I don't think so. That's about to show up again. Ooh, triple blaster, nice. I just hope I can actually survive this boss for more than two seconds, that'd be nice. Nope, get it ready. Ah, my weapon's about to square one, or are they? Oh no, they're not. That, uh, uh, I don't think I'm going to get to see much of this demo because this boss is ridiculous, like, three lives is really making this difficult. Oof. Ouch. Ouch. So there's no, like, play it with, play it with more lives mode. <laughs> I don't really mind the difficulty, it's more the fact that I only have three lives and I seem to just eat them all up on the boss. <laughs> Ouch. I really want to play more of this, but I think I'll leave it for now. I will play this another time, I think. <laughs> but uh, it does look stunning and I do really like the XP system. I think that's really cool. That's a random readme file open, I'm not sure what it is. Um, yeah, I might try like one more game and then I think I'll save the rest for another day. I'm hoping I can do another stream real soon. Well, to be honest, we went through quite a lot of stuff there. I, I, I've kind of lost track of how many games we actually played tonight. But there is still some other ones that I definitely want to do, but I'd like to do them for another stream. I'll, I'll save them for another stream, I think. Ooh, oh no. But yeah, I think I'll leave it at that, actually. If that's okay. Yeah, I think that's I think that's a good place to wrap up. We, we got through quite a few games there. I'm not actually sure how many. It was a lot. It was a lot. It was like one, two, three. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I think we got about 14 games done. So that's quite a few. Especially since I spent like an hour on uh, Robo Blast <laughs> somehow. That just ended up being an hour long. I didn't. Did I beat. Yeah, I beat the main story, didn't I? I think. Of that demo. Oh my god, what were the highlights? I've got to say, that final boss of 
Sonic Hoshi was incredible. That was probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen in a Sonic game, let alone a fan game. That was sick as hell. Um, I really liked uh, AM2 uh, Amy Edition. That was really fun. Sonic AM2. It was a little bit, you know, fiddly, but I really enjoyed that Amy thing. Like, that was really unique. Um, the Pulse Man fan game is incredible. The Sonic the Fighters thing. Oh, God. Sonic the Fighters, what was it called? I forget. Well, there's a Sonic the Fighters game on Stage Expo. That's 2D. And it's really goddamn fun. It's arguably better than the original game, I would say. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's not saying much, but, you know. The original game was... It's kind of apples and oranges, really, because... The original Sonic the Fighters is fighting fighters with a different skin. It's a 3D fighting game, whereas this was more of a Street Fighter style, which is arguably... Well, yeah, again, apples and oranges. Uh, yeah, oh, Drill Buster as well. Drill Buster. The, the Drill Buster game. The Mr. Driller looking thing with the, the, the cat or whatever it was. Yeah, Drill Buster. That was fantastic. That was really good. But yeah, we played some really rad stuff tonight, and I have to thank everyone that has been in the chat tonight, and including So Fox for the raid, and I got a few followers out of tonight as well. Uh, there was Aqua Aqua Cougar, uh, and also JJ Forty Three, JJ Forty Three also followed. And we also had It's Much More as well. It's Much More, it's much more who is actually the founder of the Nottingham Games Expo. If you're in the Nottingham area, go check, uh, just Google Nottingham Game Expo and it'll probably come up. Or we'll have a look on Twitter, it'll be on there somewhere um, in December. It's like sort of late December, it's actually kind of close to Christmas. It's like the 18th. 18th, I think. Yeah, the 18th, if I remember rightly. But yeah, that's going to be rad. I'm going to be there for the whole weekend. The guys from the Dreamcast Junkyard are going to be there. And uh, Wave Media, the guys that have been publishing new Dreamcast games, are going to be there. Uh, Nintendo Nottingham is going to be there. There's going to be quite a few people. Uh, the guy that's been collecting all the Sega magazines and is trying to find the last few he hasn't got and is actually willing to pay 50 quid for them going to be there selling loads of magazines so i'm probably going to be buying loads of magazines loads of old sega magazines that's another thing at some point i want to start doing streams where i just flick through magazines on a webcam and just talk reminisce that'd be fun at some point but yeah um, i'm just rambling now to be honest <laughs> but uh yeah there's i i i'll have a look if there's anyone to raid but it's so late here yeah, I'm not 100% sure. I could have a look. Oh, yes there is. Yes there is. Yeah, know what? Let's go on over to Asher the Game Genie, who was here not long ago, actually, a few hours, just a few hours ago. Um, yeah, let's go for that. Um, they are currently playing a game I have never heard of, which is an RPG called La... To sell Ragnarok? Yeah, I don't actually know this game, so yeah, let's uh, do that then. It looks it's an RPG. That's all I know. I know it's a long, it's a long RPG, as Asher said. So yeah, let's uh, let's hit that off, and I will hopefully see you sometime in the week, and we'll do some more games because there's quite a few more I still want to play. So we'll do that sometime soon. Goodbye.